OK, tonight we are opening our doors for our first ever quinceanera. Celebrations like this only come once in a lifetime. Yes, yes sir. sir. All the appetizers must go out like clockwork, because at the end of the appetizers, there's a very important waltz. Clear? Yes, yes chef. Good. How should the kitchen run? Clockwork. Let's go, guys. Let's make some history. OK, Jean-Philippe, open house kitchen, please, and welcome our guests. Thank you. We should. Let's go. We're not going down. We're pushing tonight, Chef. You're pushing tonight, are you? Yes. Zach's pushing tonight, by the way. Yes, you better believe yes, that. Yeah. yeah? Good. I can't let her down. I know, I <laughs> Senoras y senores, all rise for la quinceañera. Brianna Rojas and her escort, Eros Science. She's gorgeous. OK, let's go. Stations, let's go. Man up. Got this. Tonight's menu includes the winning dishes from yesterday's challenge. Chicken? The chicken. Chef Ramsay has both kitchens working together to deliver appetizers to the head table. OK, top table. Here we go. Feast of each day, two Reveille, one Caesar salad. Yes, 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 chef. Let's go. Yes, chef. OK, top table. Here we go. Fire. Two Caesar, three tuna, one ravioli. Yes, yes chef. chef. You guys good? You know what you're doing? Yes. yes. OK, three tuna, two Caesar. Three tuna? The first table, red and blue, gotta split the abs. Tuna's going in the pan, girls. We gotta be on the money. Ladies, ravioli's out. Let's go, ladies, pick it up. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. I'm slicing. Move, let's go. Shit. Ravioli's here, chef. Let's go. Amanda, wake up, please. It's not working. Come on, please. Bring the tuna now. Where's the noodles gone? I got them right here. It was broken. Why is all this tuna broken? Hey, hey, look at this one here. Look, look, look. Oh, God. <gasps> Come on, Amanda. Get your shit together. Come on, then, Amanda. I'm sorry, Chef. I'll get one in the pan right now. Fucking hell. Need that tuna? Yeah, she's fucking butchered it. While Amanda starts over on the tuna, over in the blue kitchen, it's up to Anthony and John to finish the blue team's share of the head table appetizers. Come on, where's the draw? Yes, chef. Working, chef. Three ceviche, two ravioli, and a Caesar first. Yeah, let me, let me do this. Dude, dude, right. come on, man. Like, too many people on my fucking team. Right. Go, go Ray, talk. Ray. Go talk. Thank you, thank this. you. We're good. Okay. Come on, Ray. Let's go. Yes, chef. Working it. I'll set with this. Can I walk it up? Go. Let's go. go. Good. Guys, let me help you with the app, please. Ray, we're good. You're good? Yes. All right. Thank you. Yep. Okay, off you go, yes. Ladies, I've sent blue teams, top table, let's go. Amanda, where's the tuna? Right here, chef. Let's go, Amanda. Let's go. Behind you. Let's go. Go with that tuna, please, quickly. Top table, let's go. Amanda's tuna finally makes its way out to the dining room, and the head table's appetizers are complete. Thank you. And the quinceanera is off to a reasonable start. Okay. Service, please. Six covers, table 21. Two ceviche, two revenue, two tuna. Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, chef. Let's go. Amanda, get it together. Yes, chef. One minute. You need something, Amanda? Nope. I got it, I got it. No, you don't. Man, I'm going right over there right now to help her out. While Nedra pitches in to keep the red team on track, over in the blue kitchen. Go. Thanks to great teamwork from John and Anthony. Chef on your right. Service, please. A steady stream of appetizers are making their way out to the dining room. Madame is having the raviolis. Behind you, chef. Nice. Let's go. Service, please. Let's go, please. All right, that's it on apps. That's it on apps. Oh. That's not nice. Anthony, I love you, man. <laughs> yeah. While the blue team is busy congratulating themselves, over in the red kitchen, Amanda's struggle with the tuna has her team playing catch up. Ladies, yes, yes, chef. the blue team have finished. We're two tickets behind. Yes, yes chef. chef. Oh Starting my now. God. Here's the tuna. You are kidding me. It's ice cold. Hey, all of you, come here. Hurry up. Just touch that. Touch that with your fingers. Stone cold. St it's ice cold. Fuck. Something so easy. Who seared it? Ned just seared it. Fuck it, Amanda. If you skating on thin ice. That's not the one I seared. 
Fucking hell. I just don't know where to go. A piece of fish that big. That can't be seared. Man! Chef, I did not take it out the pan, Chef. Nedra seared it, Chef. I got it. Nedra seared it. I got it. That's not the one I Back off the station. I have it. Chef, it was a poor mistake. I'm trying to fix it right now. Fucking bitch. It's almost an hour into dinner service, and the red team's backlog on appetizers has left some of the party goers without food. And put the guest of honor and the entire party on hold as she waits to perform the traditional quinceanera waltz. Chef Ramsey, we still have two tables that yeah, haven't eaten. Just come in now, my darling. Bear with you two seconds, please. We're almost I'm, done with our food. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. We have the other tables out. Just We're not even up. We gotta get them up. You gave it to me. Come on, guys. Half the time we're finished. Hey, guys, don't, don't, don't let us down, please, yeah? We need to start the vaults here tonight, yeah? Everybody else is finished. It's coming right now. I need a minute. Come on, now. Uh. Let's go. Here. Fuck oh, me. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Take control of your station, Amanda. She bumped into me, Chef. Chef, I can't hold them anymore. This is an absolute joke. Serious. She took over searing. I'm going to take it over. Who is in charge? I'm in charge, Chef. Tell her then. I'm in charge. All right, get your tuna. Can I fucking stay over here. Only? If you don't want my help, I ain't going to fucking give it to you. Figure it out on your own. What the fuck is going on there? I don't know, Chef. Look at that. This is extraordinary. I mean, that is not my fault. Chef, I can't hold them anymore. They need, they need to start dancing, Chef. Oh, fucking hell. Move, 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 move. This cannot be real. It's coming right now. Senoras and senores, the court will now perform the waltz. They've started the waltz. I've never seen individuals screw the easiest fucking appetizers in the world. I'm more embarrassed than you are, trust me. Oh, please. Sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Fuck off. fuck off. Hey, fuck off. Fuck off. Do I need to drop another ravioli? Hey, hey, all of you, come here. Hey, waltz has started. Hurry up, look at the speed of them. You guys are moving slower than the fucking waltz. Yes, chef. Entrees on firing now. Top table first. It has to go together. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. What is difficult here? Lovely, yes, chef. Blue team, away now. Two salmon, two ribeye, one chicken, one linguine. Yes, yes sir. sir. Red team, two linguine, two chicken, one ribeye, one salmon. Yes, yes sir. sir. Hey, blue team. Yes, yes sir. sir. I want it in six minutes. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. Get some yes, momentum. Sir. Move. Yes, sir. Thanks to the red team, Chef Ramsay is pissed off. We really need to be on our game because that anger is just going to be multiplied by 10 if we start fucking up. Garnish to the window. Let's go. I'm ready. Beautiful. Out behind you, gentlemen. Put it down. Hey, I want more potatoes. Look what I'm getting. Look. Substantial. Yes, chef. Get some more fucking potatoes on. We got to go. Yes, chef. More potatoes, please. Heard that. John and Anthony really killed it on apps tonight. We're off to a great start, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Potatoes! Yes, chef. Move, Zach. Yes, chef. Are you about to go up on that first ticket? Yeah. Yeah, this is going. Go for it. Linguini, where is it? Pasta. Oh, leave it down the end. OK. Bye. Hey, hey. Time out. All of you. Yeah, it's not fucking good. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Uh, hey, hey, I don't want you to taste that. I want, you to, I want you fucking taste it. Hey, no, no, taste. hey, just taste it. Get in there. Get in, you. Get in, get in, get in. Taste it. Just taste it. Crunchy fucking linguine. No spinach. And look at that. The all stick. Look. I'll fix. It. I'll fix it, Chef. I'll fix it right now. I'll fix it right now. Oh, come on, guys. Zach, look at that. Yeah, I know it looks like shit, Chef. You fucked me on the garnish as well. Little portions. Linguine. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Behind, behind, behind. There you go, Chef. Service, please. Sorry, John. All right, guys, two linguine, two salmon, two chicken. Let's go. Bounce back, motherfucker. Bounce back. With Barrett bouncing back, entrees are now leaving the blue kitchen. The food is delicious. So good. And back in the red kitchen, it's up to Nedra on the meat station to make sure her team keeps up. Are we ready? Give me one minute on chicken. Let's go. The appetizers were so fucked up. 
but I'm on the meat station tonight. We should have this one in the bed. What the fuck is that? Hey, all of you, all of you, urgently. Fuck me. Look at that, touch how dry that is. Who cooked that? I did, chef. I got one right here, I'll give it uh. to you right now. I'm sorry, chef. That's bullshit. Come on. Get it together, Nedra, please. Here you go. I'm walking right now with another chicken. OK. Hey, you. Come here, you. I'm not in the mood for any more dry fucking chicken. Yes, chef. However, this one's perfect. Yes, chef. Go. Service, please. Let's go. Now that Nedra's moist and delicious chicken has completed the order for the head table. Thank you for your patience. The red team. Go. Goodbye. And the blue team. Go, John. Are sending entrees out to the rest of the dining room. Delicious. It's good, isn't it? Mm. But in the blue kitchen. There you go. Chef Ramsey. But two ribeyes. You have potatoes for one there. Yep. Has a complaint that is sounding a little familiar. I've got two ribeyes, Zach, and I've got one portion. Yes, Chef. I told you, get lots of potatoes on. I gave us some already. Calm down. Hey, yes, hey, smart ass, come here, you. Yes, Why does it take you four times to understand? It doesn't, Chef. Look at me. It doesn't, So chef. when you fucking get told to do it, why don't you do it then? I, I made a mistake, Chef. It won't happen again. You see, I'm on it. Chef, you don't got to bark. Chill. Motherfucker. You always yeah, 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 yeah. fucking relax, dude. Get this yes, guy chef. a big fan. You're just so killing us for nothing. No, I'm not killing that, Chef. Get the fucking potatoes on then. Yes, Chef. Not a problem. Look at chef. me. There's the potatoes, okay? Three fucking times. Get the potatoes on. Oh, Chef, I'm gonna work hard tonight. Fuck you, Zach. Yes, Chef. Next time, your fucking history. Yes, Chef. Chef needs to be Oh, it's everybody. While Zach longs for Chef Ramsay's approval, both the red team. Last ticket. Let's get these entrees out, guys. And the blue team. Let's go, please. Move on to their last ticket. Okay. Two linguine, two salmon, two chicken. 30 seconds, Chef. The service started out bumpy with the first pasta coming back, but I finished strong. Now I fight back. Two linguine. All of you. Hey, everybody. Over here. Let's go. Hey, look, 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 look what I get. Look. What was that? What is that? Yeah, that's a charred fucking stick in a piece of rubber bullet. Oh, shit. What are you doing? I'll put more in. There's got a blank piece of cinder in there. Shit! I want two linguine urgently. With new shrimp. Yes, chef. One minute to the pass, chef. Last ticket. And he's fucking letting you down. Guys, I'm not letting anybody down. All right, good. Then you better fucking have it, Barrett. Want flavor? I'll give you motherfucking flavor. Pasta. How could I fuck up pasta? I'm going to slap myself in the face for the next two years because of this pasta. I got it. Come on. Yes. Service, please. Let's go. With the men completing their last ticket. Hurry up. Coming up, right behind, right behind. The only thing standing between Chef Ramsay and a complete dinner service is... Two ribeye. Here you go, Chef. Oh, my God. Yeah. All of you! Who cooked that? That is me, Chef. This ribeye still got his fucking horns on. I have two in the oven right now, Chef. I'll bring them right now. How about sending me the perfect one? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Please! She can't cook, and you're on fire. Worse. Ribeye! Let's go, chicken's ready, it's getting dry. Ribeye, chef. Yeah. Finally. Service, please. I'm really disappointed. I wanted this to be a memorable, enchanting night for Brianna, but instead, we really fucking suck tonight. With a phenomenal reward and a miserable punishment behind them, the teams get ready for a new day. Morning, Morning chef. Morning, chef. Prepping their kitchens for tonight's dinner service. Just gonna crack it. However, in the red kitchen, Rochelle <coughs> is feeling a little under the weather. <coughs> this morning when I woke up, oh my gosh, I felt horrible. <coughs> I'm getting sicker and sicker, like I'm not even able to focus. <coughs> <laughs> While Rochelle might be out of commission. She's got bronchitis, man. <laughs> there is another chef who is feeling kind of weak. 
enjoy. I feel like I'm gonna fall over. I don't know where I am. I can't think straight. It feels like the twilight zone. Rochelle is probably fine, but I'm not running on much energy or sanity right now. I don't think Simone is as sick as she's trying to play. I think it's just a fake, and it's pretty pathetic. I'm like, just really shaky and dizzy. Okay, I think we need to get you some food. There's nothing wrong with her ass, man. Simone gotta go home tonight. How she you doing? Yeah, so I have chills, and I'm still dizzy. <coughs> <coughs> Rochelle, she's actually sick. I don't think I'm physically capable of service because I really feel like I'm gonna fall over. Simone, she's not sick. She's given up. <laughs> <laughs> With Simone and Rochelle out of the kitchen and possibly dinner service, in the blue kitchen, it's all hands on deck. I cut my fucking finger. Yo, how bad you cut yourself? I'm pretty good. I fucking sliced my finger. We want to be down the guy? Guys, DeMarco chopped his finger off. What? Uh, I cut my fucking finger. What I want is I want to get you to uh, urgent care. It hurts so fucking bad. Keep your yeah. hand up. Yeah, keep that finger up, dude. I don't give a fuck if it's two knuckles down on my finger. I'm wrapping that bitch up. <laughs> Driving on, but uh, you know some people can't handle it. As the blue team is losing one member, the red team is getting one back. There's our girl! Yay! Yay. All right, where are you guys at right now? Ladies, let's go. Yes, chef. Where's Simone? With the medic. What? With the medic. The medic. She's falsifying an illness, and she doesn't want to work. Either an exorcist or a medic. She's with the medic. You okay? It's really cold. Can you come over so I can have a chat with you? Sorry. You okay? I'm just, I think I'm just dehydrated. You're not drinking water? I have been. I haven't had an appetite. Can you at least put an effort into service to support your team? I hope so. You hope so? Yes. If my team thinks that I'm just goofing off, they would be upset. But I hope they know that I'm not feeling well. <laughs> Oh, she's back. You good? So you're not sure? What does this mean? I don't know. I'm worried about service tonight. She's doing the, the, the crazy eyes. I don't like crazy eyes. This means there's something, eh, pazza. Something's not right up here. Let's go, ladies. Yeah? Simone, you're with Jessica on fish. Yes, chef. I'm really nervous working with fucking Simone. Is this what we used for the last one when we dropped it? No. <laughs> I don't see any other boss set up here. Okay, so she's just being a pot, or do we cook it in here just like this? Just like that. Okay. Let's go, guys, yes? Jean-Philippe. Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Chef. Let's go. First help is arriving, guys. Once again, Hell's Kitchen is the place to be in Los Angeles. Who's your money on? Blue or red? Blue or red? Come on. Both teams are eager and determined to complete their first dinner service. I love you guys. I love you too, man. Everybody, find you in the zen. In addition to the regular menu, Chef Ramsay has added a Steak Diane special, which will be served tableside by Ralph for the blue team. That will be preparing it right in front of you. And by Keisha for the red team. Steak Diane is done with a little cognac, a little cream. It's very delicious, you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, ladies, here we go. First ticket tonight. Four covers table 43. Two salad, two risotto. Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, Chef. All I want to do is please, Chef. I'm walking in one minute. We're going to finish service tonight. I won't be standing, clenching my butt cheeks together with fear. While Joy is focused on getting her appetizers off to a good start. All right, we'll be walking at the same time. Over in the blue kitchen, Anton is looking to get his first order of risotto to the window. Let's go. Lobster tail ready? Yes, lobster ready. Bring it up. Let's go, follow me with the lobster. It's coming, chef. Right here, chef. Anton! Yes, come chef! Come here, you. Joy, come here, you. Look at me. Both of you. That is perfection. You've perfected the risottos. Now, you keep the bar up there. Yes, okay? chef. OK? God help you if you let it slip. Yes, Both chef. of you. Yes, chef. Let's go. 
I rose to the occasion. I did. Wait, most people can't. 32 risotto, let's go. With Joy and Anton delivering on appetizers. I like it. Food is making its way quickly out to happy customers in the dining room. Yeah, really good. And back in the blue kitchen. Two risotto, one tuna, one salad. Where is it? Risotto's coming, chef. Give us, give us one minute. You gotta go on scallops. Mike is helping Chris keep track of the orders for the fish station. Not yet. He just went up with the risotto. What? Yeah, he called one minute. No, not on this one. It's a fucking risotto. Now you're confusing me. Please fucking listen, because now no, I'm getting confused. Mike is an idiot. Please, 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 just listen, listen, listen. Yeah. I can't fix stupid. While Chris and Mike try to work out their timing issues. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You really think that's going to happen? What are you saying, dude? Over in the red kitchen, Joy. Where's that lobster, ladies? Is waiting on. Simone, follow me. I'm walking with the risotto. Risotto chef. Here's your other two lobsters. Hey, I've got one, one lobster tail raw still. No. Simone, listen to Chef. Yeah, oh, is that me? If I'm at Hell's Kitchen and a world famous chef is yelling at me, I'm going to yell back. Either speak up or get the fuck out of here. Simone, come get this damn lobster tail. Come on, man. Why did you enter this competition? I thought this would be an amazing opportunity to try. Right, and how down. about your performance? How about a little break of sweat? I think it's a great opportunity, chef. You think it's a great opportunity? You're not working like it. Where's the push? Where's the drive? Let's go. Yes, Look at the attitude of it. Move, Simone. Look at the fucking attitude of it. She got, I got my tuna. She got, got my tuna. While Simone continues to dig herself an even deeper hole in the red kitchen, back on the blue side, hey, the yeah. men celebrate the return of. The hey, 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 let's go! Hey guys, hey blue team, we're celebrating like idiots, and the dining room's full of customers. Welcome back. Thank you, chef. How is it? It's good. Okay. Band is up. Band is up. Yeah. Yes, chef. You. Let's go. Yes, chef. Wakey, wakey. Where am I going? Right here. You're right here. Awesome. As Demarco gets up to speed on the meat station. Probably have you uh, work chicken. Okay. Square it off. I need three pieces out of that. Okay. All right. Back in the red kitchen. Some of them can be a little brown. No. Simone and Jessica are doing their best to impress on the fish station. Stop! 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 Yes. But their best doesn't appear to be good enough. You two, come here. Yes, sir. Deep fried scallops. Some are raw. Some have just gone in. Some are ready to come out. Who's putting the raw ones in with the cooked ones? Who did? Simone. Yes. Sir. Talk to me. What are we doing? Jessica, do you want to go home? No, chef. Well, what the fuck is going on? Do you want to go home? No, I don't, chef. Let's go then. No, chef. Let's go. I'm getting the blame for her mistake. It totally fucked my world. Close that goddamn oven. As frustration turns to anger in the red kitchen, back on the blue side, Chef Ramsay has moved on to entrees. Dude, that's way too fucking hot. Okay. Giving Chris and Mike a chance to put their communication skills into action. You want me to watch these? No, no, okay. no. I got you, Chris. He doesn't want any help. What am I supposed to do? Fucking talk to me. Two lamb and one halibut. Yes, one halibut. Let's go, one yes. halibut. I'll run it, I'll run it. No, all right. Behind you. Hey, 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 hey. Halibut. Where's the crust? Crust, is it coming? Are you there? Can you not be bothered? Oh, fuck me. Yes, Where's chef? the crust? Uh, I, I didn't get no, it on. fucking get it on, man! Yes, chef. Two, you fucking idiots. One halibut. You know, Chris, he had absolutely no help. And Mike's standing around. Come on, help the guy out. It's not ready. Don't fucking open the oven, please. With Chris and Mike possibly heading toward a full-on meltdown on the fish station, the Red Kitchen. Two salmon, one Wellington, one steak, Diane. Is now ready to move on to entrees. Let's go. Garnish. Yes, I chef. I want it on in the window in six minutes. Yes, chef. OK, yes, let's chef. go. We're going to have a bunch of salmon coming up, but we're going to wait till they drop theirs. <laughs> How many salmon? Uh, um, being sick honestly like affects like my cooking and just like being able to like think about stuff. All right, we got two minutes on that salmon. What's going on? Empty fucking pants. Hey, you two, hey, psst, come here. You're both standing there like idiots with nothing in your fucking pants. Fucking come on. Like Gordon says, grow a pair. Let's go. I'm the animal. Come on, move. Let's go. Yeah, this station looks like shit. Salmon, where is it? Walking with a salmon. We can walk up there. Right behind, chef, with garnish. Oh, my good God. You know it's two salmon, yeah? We've got enough for one fucking garnish. Yes, chef. 
This is not how we work, ladies. Can someone cook in here? Yes, yes chef. chef. While Bev and Rochelle attempt to get it together on garnish, back in the blue kitchen. How long, two halibut, one steak, Diane, one chicken. How long? Two minutes, chef. Let's go. It's a VIP table. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Chef Ramsay is waiting for some very important chicken. Halibut's going up. I'm gonna drop another one. I forgot to fucking leave a bone on. Shit. Halibut chef. I've got the halibut. Chicken. We gotta fire from scratch, chef. He said fire from scratch. Fuck it now. I don't get it. I do not understand the stupidity in it. I'm not sending one more fucking table out unless it's complete. I refired the table. DeMarco just couldn't get it together. Chicken took forever, and it's very, very simple. A VIP table. While the blue team refires their entrees because of DeMarco's failure on the chicken. One salmon ready to walk. Jessica and Simone hope that their salmon fares better than some of their earlier attempts at scallops. Oh, man, raw salmon. Oh, no, raw. Raw, not pink, but raw. Congratulations. You've been the worst two cooks ever to grace the fish station. <laughs> it's funny now, right? No. All of you, come here. We're just destroying ourselves. You two, fuck off. Get out. Melody, on the fish. Thank Bev, you, chef. on the fish. Yes, chef. I shouldn't have fucking given Simone any responsibility. Like, she's just as clueless about the station, and, like, she's never even seen it before. Like, she's never even worked at dinner service. <sighs> Jess? You know, I don't want to talk right now. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the blue kitchen. Are we good on a helmet? No way. Issues of timing continue to plague the men. No way. One minute is walking to the window, sir. Hold the... Oh, uh, you can't Guys. hold a lamb. Walking with a lamb. How is that possible? What the hell? Scott never told me he was slicing the lamb. I've got the lamb. Where's the halibut? Halibut! Where's the halibut? It's two and a half minutes away, chef. All right, hey, stop. No one told me. Stop. It was going Stop. Up. So the halibut's two and a half. Come here, you. Yes, chef. Hey, you, come here, you. And why can't you talk to him? Fuck. I want to know, Chris! He never told me he was slicing the lamb. Yep. Are we good on a halibut? No way. One minute is walking to the window, sir. Come here, you. What is this? No, Chef. We're just shooting ourselves in the foot. Hey, 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 all of you, fuck off out of here. Get out. Get out. We didn't finish the service, not once, not twice, but the third fucking time. I mean, it's just fucking embarrassing. With the blue team getting another banishment from the kitchen. Chef Ramsay looks to what's left of the red team to complete their service. Do you have a bit more Wellington? Where is it? Walk, walk, walk. Walk, walk, walking. Walking. Same time. Wellington, chef. Two orders. Please, please. Wellington cooked perfect. Thank you, chef. It just gets worse. All of you, come here. Yeah, just touch that one first. It's overcooked. That's overcooked. Then yes. touch that one. Undercooked. Yeah. What are we fucking doing to each other, to the red team? What are we doing? All of you, get out! Yes, yes. Fucking nuts, I get thrown out. Tonight, all my dishes come out. Perfect. This sucks. This just flat out sucks. Jean-Philippe, shut it down. Yeah. The chefs are prepping a brand new menu. Yeah, a lot of shit to do in a little bit of time. Oh, that's terrible. Unfortunately, not all of the recipes have been mastered. It's like a bowl full of glue. Not even in the ballpark. The girls didn't make their raviolis the right way. Well, if you guys didn't fuck up the filling, we wouldn't have to worry about it. It should be a whole lot easier if you can get it done right. Vinny's a bitch. He's, like, throwing a fit about it. If you didn't fuck up right in the recipe, it would have been made right. And he wants to argue, and we tried to help his ass out. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing to help him. We should just call him Bobblehead. Can't wait till he goes home. He's not going to fucking win. No way. Right, ladies, let's go. A gentleman line up, please, let's go. I asked if you could just give up the smoking for 48 hours. How are you doing? Trev, give it to me. I cracked, I had one last night. See, I thought you were mentally strong. Yeah. Vinny, I'm how many? Still, still going strong. Seriously? 
Telling you the truth, I haven't had one at all. That's great. Don't be shocked if I keep going. I'm not one to shy away from a challenge. <coughs> no, no. Zero. Yep. Brilliant. Well done. Whoops. I smoked. I'm human. I'm sorry. Tonight is Italian night in Hell's Kitchen. Simple, exquisite Italian cuisine. We are going to complete the service. Get on your stations. Let's go. Locked, loaded, and ready to roll. This is going to be fast and furious. Stay focused. How you feeling, Sabrina? I got y'all right next to me if I need help, right? Right, James. Let's go. Open house kitchen, please. The chef. For Italian night, Chef Ramsay has created a menu that includes shrimp scampi, grilled pork chop, and chicken parmesan, as well as Vinny's ravioli. Can I get the ravioli? Lost the spaghetti. All right. And I'll have the gelato, please. Perfect. Thank you. Order, Chef. I know the pork covers table three, yes? Two melon, one season salad, two scampi. Yes, yes chef. 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 Let's go, Russell. Minute and a half, guys. Tonight, I am going to shine. All I got to do is cook fucking appetizers. I know God, ravioli's pushing out, yes? Two ravioli, one melon, one scampi. Yes, chef. So I want to get the shit out so we can just get the momentum going. Appetizers, yes. Let's go, pick up. Russell has the blue kitchen off to a strong start with the appetizers. Now, Chef Ramsay looks to Melissa in the red kitchen to do the same. Two ravioli, two scampi. How long? Right now, chef. Where's the other ravioli? I put the ravioli. No, right now, chef. Are you fucking kidding me? Where's the other ravioli? Coming right now, chef. What have you done? Tell me. I did one ravioli, chef. I'm not getting down on this. It's one ravioli. It takes 45 seconds. I'm good. Ravioli. Chef. Is that cooked? That can't be cooked in time, can it? Touch that. You're just rushing out, and you're just treating me like a fucking idiot. So you forgot it. It doesn't mean you say you have to make another mistake by sending me stone cold ravioli. Yes, yeah, chef. Melissa completely ruins everything. What fucking happened to the apps? They fucking sunk, and it just made her look like a dumbass. Someone jump in and help her, please. One, two, three, four of you standing staring at her. I'm fine, I'm fine. While diners on the red side wonder if they will ever get their food. There's nothing coming out of the red kitchen. One diner on the blue side is wondering if tonight will be the night he pops the question. Table 24, proposing to his girlfriend. They do something special for dessert. Well, look after them, yes? With Russell's success on the appetizers, ravioli. the blue team is now ready to move on to entrees. Two pork chop, one salmon, one chicken, one spaghetti, one rock shrimp. Let's go. Yes, chef. Entrees, go. Main course, walking. Now, this is how our kitchen should run. If we keep Come cooking on, like this, there's no way we can lose. Oh, my god. Unbelievable. Louis, salmon stone cold. Fucking no chance. Yes, chef. Yeah, no, no, yes, no! Our first table, everything rolling brilliantly. Three minutes of salmon. Come on, Louie, you gotta do better than this. This is not complicated food. Can anyone cook salmon on there? Louie's a camp cook, which means he grills, and he can't grill a piece of salmon. Wake up and stop panicking. Yes, chef. While Louie starts over on his first entrees. Refire! Back in the red kitchen, Melissa is ready to redeem herself on appetizers. Three have anyone melon? Yes, coming right now, chef. So three threes are what? Six. Oh, oh three, three, nine, yeah. yes. And you've got, uh, come here, come here, come here. Three threes are six. No, I was counting the pants, yeah. chef. I'm sorry. I'm watching you like a hawk. Do you know why? You can't even count to nine. You scare me. What the fuck is she doing over there? Melissa can't handle it. Two threes are six. Three threes are what? Nine. Do you want me to come over there and cook for you? Right now, to get together, and we need to focus. Yes, chef. While Melissa works on getting her nine raviolis to the pass, in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay is looking to Louie for... Two pork chop, one salmon, one chicken. Coming out of the oven right now, chef. That's one pork. That's not two porks. You've only got one pork on. Yes, chef. Fuck me, here we go. Scott, is that how we showed him how to cook the pork? Not at all. Lewis, he's so buried, he's flustered, he doesn't know what to do. Oh, guys, fuck off. I gotta handle this, man. It's an hour into dinner service, and Louis's problems in the kitchen are being felt by the customers in the dining room. Is everybody hungry at this table, or is it just me? <laughs> Meanwhile, in the red kitchen... Hurry up, Melissa. Ravioli right here, chef. Melissa has bounced back on appetizers. Ravioli, please. Enjoy your appetite. And now Sabrina is attempting to keep the momentum going with the entrees. Two salmon, one pork chop, one mushroom. How long on your salmon? I'm gonna drop it right now, yeah? All right. 
I'm working the meat station. Tonight is my night to put out or get out. I'm still waiting for a word on two salmon, one pork, one mushroom. Um, chef, my pork. Just give me a fucking time. OK, four minutes on Thank my pork, Thank you. Chef. Talk to your team, then. Yes, chef. I never really cooked a pork chop this big, you know? And I'm like poking. I'm like, I don't know if that's ready. Let's look at the juices. They're clear, right? Fuck. I don't think it's ready, dude. OK, my pork needs to go a little longer, guys. Ladies, nothing's coming out. How long, Sabrina? Eight minutes. Why are we going backwards? You dumb bitch. You're burying us right now. If we go down tonight, it's going to be your fault. Uh, four minutes, chef. What the fuck is going on? Sabrina. Sabrina. Fuck, I'm burning, dude. How long? Is someone going to give me an answer? Four more minutes. Four minutes. Yeah, I'll let you know. Well, I'm, I'm going to point to you, OK? I'm going to point to you. Can someone cook a fucking pork chop with her now? We're getting backed up and backed up. Everybody's telling me, Sabrina, how long? I've never done this fucking shit. Hey, Melissa, is this OK? Or should I put it back in the oven? Put it back in the oven. Too pink. Too Cooking pink. meat is a basic thing. She had not a clue. Not a clue. Two salmon, one pork, one mushroom. How long? The pork's beautiful. Just because I don't get along with her doesn't mean the guests outside have to suffer. Go, go. Bring it up. Let's go. Walk into the window with pizza, the mushroom. Service, please. Go, please. You know where we're going, yes? With Melissa coming to the aid of her arch enemy, Sabrina, entrees are making their way into the dining room. Meanwhile, Louis. How long, Louis? 45 seconds. Has got his act together. Cooked perfectly. And the blue kitchen. Rock shrimp pizza. Is back on track, sending out entrees. Service, please. Unfortunately. It's really bad. Kind of like. Not all of it is being met with positive reviews. Blue team. Table three. Come on, Chunky Monkey. I trusted you. Shut I don't up, need sorry. to turn your ahead. pizzas upside no, down. You shouldn't have. It was fucking burnt. Don't send it. In fact, you know what? Fuck off to the bar. Eat the pizza. Get out and eat it. Come back. Come on, get over yourself. Now, this is the last thing I wanted to do while well, my team's getting pummeled and it was so degrading. Come fucking cook a pork chop. He cremates a fucking pizza. I don't know if that was really a punishment for Robbie. I mean, come on, Chef Ramsay sends the fat guy to the bar to go eat his own burnt pizza. Fucking humiliating bullshit. While Rob has some unwanted alone time, back in the red kitchen... Two spaghetti, one pork working, yes? Gail is trying to get in sync with Sabrina. How long on the second pork, Sabrina? Probably about seven, eight minutes. No, I don't trust Sabrina at all. She doesn't know her timing and her temperatures. I'm going to start my two spaghettis. No. Just wait. Please wait. From the beginning, Chef Ramsay told me that I wasn't a team player. And honestly, he's right. But here's the thing. Everybody thinks that I'm stupid, but you know what? I'm one manipulative motherfucker. How long, Paul, to spaghetti? I'm ready. I'm ready to walk. I'm ready to walk. What is going on, Sabrina? What are you doing bring it up? Everything has to go out at the same time. Finally, the pork cooked perfectly. Are you serious? No way. Service, please. Go, where's my pasta? Let's go. I don't know what was up with Gail. They're damn spaghetti. Like, it doesn't take that long. We're waiting for the pasta now. It just makes Gail look bad. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Gail! Yes, Chef. The pasta's fucking crunchy now. Yes, Chef. This is not good. This is comical. You're the most experienced. All these fucking gaps in between the dishes going out is not good enough. While the red team waits on Gail's pasta. 20 seconds, Chef. The blue team continues to struggle with entrees. We're sitting on the wrong side. <laughs> and a marriage proposal. Proposal table. They've been waiting a long time. May not be happening tonight. One chicken, one pork chop. Five minutes, Chef. He's trying to propose to his future fiance. Yes, Move, Louis. Yes, Chef. And make them break up before they even fucking get married. 30 seconds, cutting pork now. Once you get behind on something, you can't let things get to you. I am just hitting my stride, and I'm ready to rock. Pork is fucking pink. Chef Scott. What? I fucked the pork. It's pink. It's pink, Chef. You can't even put it on a pan, you goddamn slob. You're gonna walk around with a pork chop Sorry, in your hands chef. like that? Get it in the fucking oven! The chef. Walk around like a pig. What kind of slob are you? Seriously? What the fuck? All of you, come here. All of you! You fucking go on the reward. You take advantage. You come back and you perform like fucking idiots. Yes, Chef. Get a grip! Yes, Chef. Oh, fuck off! Yes, Chef. While the blue team tries to regroup... Fight back, guys! Got it. Boris decides that this might be a good time to clean up. Can you stop washing pans? Boris! 
Come on, Boris, what the fuck? This is a fucking kitchen! I'm trying to fucking run a restaurant! Yes, Come here, you! You wanna wash pants? Get down there! Fuck off, will you, yeah? Do it full time! Get on there! What a muppet. I've never been kicked out of the kitchen in my life. It was all my fucking fault. LA Market is not looking for a fucking head chef in pants! Chef, proposal table, and that entrees. Still not out. One chicken, one pork chop. How long for this fucking table? Yes, chef. Chicken in hand. Here we go. Here's the beginning of the end. It's raw. It's fucking raw. Get out! Yes, chef. Get out! And the bulldog washing dishes, both you get out. Vinny, on the meat, please. I went down in flames. Boris. Yes. We both got tossed. Okay. It makes you really, really doubt yourself as a cook. We'll have chicken in a minute 30. Let's go, guys. Let's work together. We're going to fucking do this. And then we don't have anybody to fucking worry about. Let's go. Come on, Vinny. I need that chicken. Let's go. I'm getting used to it when Chef Ramsay makes me go over and save the day. Behind. Chicken up. Tell me you want chicken palm just like this. I make it just like that. It's really not very difficult. Cutting pork chop. Hot behind. No matter where you put me, I fucking nail it. Service, please. With Boris and Louie out of the kitchen, the blue team, led by Vinny... Guys, don't forget the artichoke salad for the pork. ...has finally delivered entrees to the VIP table. Here we are. I do apologize. ...and quite possibly salvaged this man's plan to propose. Meanwhile, the red team has finally put their differences to the side. Service. Come on, ladies, we have three tickets left. ...and is close to completing another dinner service. Can you go with spaghetti? I can go with salmon. I can go. Let's go. Walking. One spaghetti, one salmon, chef. Service, please. We're feeling good, and we pulled it together. We did it as a team. Here you go, chef. And finally, last ticket's out. Don't dare start celebrating. In the blue team and help the guys. Let's go. Move. Let's go. I felt like slapping a bitch when the girls got sent over. We got rid of the dead weight. I don't need them girls in my kitchen. Three spaghetti, two pork, one salmon. We just kind of got thrown into like a huge mess. They don't need that yet. Nobody over there knew what the hell was going on. You got your tomato garters for the top of your salmon? No. And they still had like seven tickets. OK, the pork's here. Where's the plenty? Is my garnish up for a pork chop? Where's the polenta? Russ, did you put it up? Yeah, it's up there. It's already up in the window. He says it's up there. Fuck oh, yeah. All of you, just stop. You make yourself look so stupid. And look. The food dying. It's like a funeral in here. Do me one big favor. Get out. Get out! We'll cook. Get out. Andy Scott, let's go. Let's throw a whole bunch of chicks into the mix, and maybe it'll make everything all better. No, I made it worse. Too many cooks in the kitchen, man. Despite a miserable night in the kitchen. Service, please. There is one man in the dining room. Crystal. Who was hoping his night ends on a happy note. Will you marry me? In spite of all the ups and downs during previous dinner services, Chef Ramsay is expecting tonight's service to be a lot smoother. Let's go, guys. Line up, please. Blue team, quick. So he has a little surprise for the chefs. OK. Tonight, I've invited some very special people to sit on our chef table inside the kitchen during service. Blue team, you will have former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Tito. Ortiz. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. In the Red Kitchen, you will have six time world champion and boxing legend, yes. Sugar Ray Lennon. Yeah. Nice. Robin, I want you to take care of Sugar Ray Lennon. Yes, Chef. I am so stoked that I have Sugar Ray Lennon in the kitchen. <laughs> da -da -da. I'm going to start doing some boxing moves, bob and weave. I'm stoked. Justin, host the chef's table with Tito. Yes, chef. Don't mess it up, guys. Serving Tito Ortiz is a little nerve-wracking, and I'm crossing my fingers that we don't make ourselves look like idiots. Tonight, I want each and every one of you to fight back. What do I want? Fight, fight back. back! Let's go. Yes, chef. OK, James, open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Yes, chef. Thank Let's you. Let's go. Tonight's dinner service, in addition to his classic menu. Please start with the risotto. I'll do the New York strip. 
Chef Ramsay has added Christina's challenge-winning lobster dish as a special entree. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Here we go. Blue team. On order, four covers, table 20. Two lobster spaghetti, two risotto. Yes, yes Chef! Let's go. Two spaghetti. Two Let's, boys. Go. Let's go. My team is looking for an excuse to put me up. But you know what? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to fucking cook what I know how to cook, man. Right now, spaghetti's up. Coming through. Hot pan, Chef. Fuck me. Clemenza! Pasta is fucking chewy! Yes, Jeff. It's not fucking rocket science. Come on, bro, come on, come on. Every time Clemenza does something, he fucks up. i never seen anything like it in my life. He just can't cook anything right. It's way too early for you. Come on. Right. Clemenza's good. inability to cook pasta has put the blue team a little behind. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen... 30 seconds, walk into the window with the first two risotto. Christina is hoping her first risotto... Behind you, hot chef. ...will be in line with Chef Ramsay's exacting standards. Christina! It tastes delicious. Thank you, chef. Service. Christina gets the red team moving on appetizers. Good job, Christina. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen... Risotto, right here. Chef Ramsay is still waiting on Clemenza for... Two loaves of spaghetti. How long? Walk with spaghetti. Risotto. Spaghetti's up, chef. Clemenza's an Italian, so he's cooked pasta probably 17 billion times. You would think that he knows what he's doing. There you go, finally. Yes, chef. Service. Just as the blue team starts pushing out appetizers. Really good. Chef Ramsay's VIP guests arrive. Show some grace, will you please, yeah? We're going to spoil them, yes? We chef. Thank you. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. I hope you're going to enjoy this show. You have the best seat in the house. Good to see you. Welcome. How are you doing? Thank nice you. Nice to see you, my darling. Oh. Good evening. What's up, man? How are you doing tonight? Good, man. Really good. Hi. My name's Justin. Nice to meet you guys. Good pleasure. I'm going to start you guys off with a couple of drinks. I'll get uh, Arnold Palmer, please. Arnold Palmer? Yeah, please. Very nice choice. I've never served in my life, so serving Tito Ortiz is a little nerve-wracking. It's a lot of pressure. Come on, man. On order. Chef's table. One risotto, one lobster, spaghetti. Yeah, Let's go, guys. This is the first time we've had somebody at the chef's table. They are so close to my station that if I fuck up their food, like, I'm dead. It's Sugar Ray Leonard. I'm sure his wife can throw a punch, too. Walking to the window. I'm with you. I'm with you. Risotto's down. Thank you. All of you, taste that fucking risotto. All of you. What's wrong with that? It's undercooked. It's, it's way undercooked. undercooked. The shit's completely underdone. I'm talking like horrible. I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, guys. Christina, you hit perfection at the beginning of the service. Then all of a sudden, undercooked rice. My bad, guys. While Christina missed the mark with her risotto. Start again. Fuck. In the blue kitchen. On order, chef's table. One risotto, one scallops. Quickly, let's go. Yes, chef. Brian is ready to rumble with his risotto. This is something I have trained for. I am ready. Risotto. How long, Brian? Coming right now. You got your blaze carrots? It's fucking soupy. Soupy? Yeah, you fix it right now, chef. No, but you know it is. Fuck off, Brian. The chef. Oh, no. No, 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 not, not already. And three VIP guests sat on the chef table and you serve them piss risotto. Stupidity, chef. You know it's wrong when you send it. Fucking lazy. Yes, chef. This isn't happening right now, is it? Really, Brian, you fucking dipshit? On fucking the While Brian beats himself up, back in the red kitchen. Walk in with the risotto. Christina is hoping her second attempt at the VIP table's risotto will get her off the ropes. Christina. It's seasoned perfectly. Thank you, chef. Yeah. Yeah. With Christina's head back in the game, the red team starts knocking out their tickets. I'm going with scallops, OK? You're going with thank scallops? You. Yes, sir. Here Charge on the left. right here. Service, please. Gently, gently, gently. Delivering over half of their appetizers to the dining room. That was really yeah. good. It's tasty. Meanwhile, over in the blue kitchen. Brian, how long, please? Risotto, coming right now. Brian is hoping his second attempt at the VIP table's risotto will be good enough for one tough customer. Please, please. Brian. Yes, chef. Perfect. Thank you, chef. How is everything, guys? Amazing. I'm a dipshit sometimes. We're all mistakes, okay. right? I apologize. Pew, 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 pew. You gotta slow down. Enjoy, enjoy, guys. Thank you. Yeah. With the chef's table served. Come on, guys, keep fighting, keep fighting. 
The blue team picks up a pace. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen. On order. Two lobster, two Wellington. Yes, chef. Yes. Let's go. The women have moved on to entrees. How long? Tiffany, what the fuck are you doing? You're putting the knife on the bottom of your lip. Yes, chef. And then putting the knife back in. Yes, chef. Tiffany is basically making out with the Wellingtons. It is disgusting. It hits your lip, and then it goes back in the fucking Wellington. I'm sanitary, I know, chef. It's not funny. Start again. Do something, Bobby. Yes, chef. As the red team tries to regroup. Let's focus, ladies. Come on. Over in the blue kitchen. Away now, two lobster, two Wellington, two New York strip. Yes, chef. Patrick on fish and Roshni on meat are attempting to get out the first table of entrees. How long? Four minutes, chef. So my lobster's four minutes out? Yes. I'm feeling confident about this. My Wellingtons and strip are perfectly slightly pink. Two Wellingtons walking. Lots of the past. I'm dying for the New York strip. One minute, chef. Let's go. Yes, chef. Right now, chef. Come on, let's go. I'm sorry, chef. That's the raw stuff. Not doing so hot over here, either. It's overcooked. It's white. Blue team, all of you, come here. What temperature are these, chef? Medium well, chef. Medium well. Roshni, come on. And then this, raw. Our first fucking table. And I'm about to kick you out. Is that your best? No, chef. Is this it now, the beginning of the end? No, chef. What's going on? Oh, fuck. I'm screwed. You fucking idiots. Pull it together. Come on, wake up. Two lobster, two Wellington, two New York strip. Start again. Work to two New York, work to two New York. Okay. Come on, man, it's just a fucking piece of steak. Yes, just make sure they're cooked. I better do something to fix this, because she's ringing the team down. We're in the middle. I got you, I'll work the oven. While Roshni and Clemenza start over on another round of meat. Let's go, pick it up. Yes, chef. In the red kitchen, I'm originally from New York City. Robin is serving up more than food to the special guests. Before I was a chef, I was in cosmetology school. My whole life I wanted to be a nurse. And then I was waiting tables. My mom's like, you can't be a server your whole life. And I'm not that feminine. So after that, I was in the hospitality industry since I was 15. I'm great with my hands. I just couldn't figure out what my talent is. And I failed. Hey, Robin. Nobody cares. So if you could just stop talking, we'd probably do a little better. My thing is that sometimes people think I'm a little bit too aggressive, but that's just my mannerism from where I'm from. <laughs> I'm on cloud nine. We're conversating back and forth. Sugar Ray and his wife, they love me. Love me. Entrees, how long? We're almost ready on two wellies. Let's go. Here, where's your sauce? I have it, Barbie. Sauce you have it? Yes, Barbie. OK. Hey, Barbie, just like move off of my station because I don't need help. Walking with two wellies and two bars. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Hey, Robin, uh, come walking. here. All of you, come here. Robin, urgently. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do it in front of a legend. I know, I know, I know. I'm not going to go anywhere near it. I mean, are you fucking, I mean, honestly, honestly, please? I told you so, Tiffany. Coming down hot, coming down hot. Where are you going? Into the convection oven with you so they can cook a little. It's all over my shit. What? Yes, she's fucking oh, can you up please shit. organize it, Tiffany? Yeah, I got it organized. She's picking up shit that's already cooked. I don't know what she's fucking doing. Well, tell her that. Well, I've been trying to tell her that. While the red team struggles with their communication. Well, I just fucked that one. In the blue kitchen. Two lobster, two Wellington, two New York strip. Six she's, minutes, she's, chef. Minutes Roshni over. and Patrick are looking to make a comeback on the first table of entrees. These ones are just seared off. I'm in the weeds, but every time these fighters were hit, knocked down, they fought back to become champions. So I am going to fight back. That has another minute. By the time I carve that, that will be ready to go. I need it urgently. Yes, chef. Walking with sauces, chef. The sauce, you need the sauce for the strip. Walk with it, Clemenza, I got please. You. Come on, then. Where's the garnish, please? Laps of the past. A little warm, chef. Fuck me. Stone fucking cold. Hey, Patrick. Lobster stone cold. Stone fucking cold. Get two more going, chef. Patrick, what the fuck are you doing? It's like you've never cooked fucking before. Come on. Urgently. Chef, I've got two new ones in the, in the uh, water, chef. While the blue team starts over on their entrees. Get a grip and pick it up. Yes, yes chef. chef. In the red kitchen. 
How long? Give me about a minute and a half, please. Tiffany is hoping her second attempt at Beef Wellington's is a hit with Chef Ramsay. I'm ready. Walking with two Wellingtons. Tiffany. Yes, Chef. Now they're perfect. Thank you, Chef. What is it? One shit, one good, one. Yeah, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing, I'm Chef. I'm not laughing. That's perfect. Thank What's you, Chef. What's next? Uh, uh, perfect Wellington, Chef. So, Dana, whenever you're ready, a minute on the wellies. Woo, thank God I didn't get yelled at for that one. Sea bass walking. Two chickens, two wellies. Service. Entrees are now steadily leaving the red kitchen. Cooked just right. Delicious. Meanwhile, let's go. You counting down? A frustrated Chef Ramsay is hoping the blue team will finally get their act together. How long? Ross, Nick, how long do you need? 45 seconds. 45 seconds, okay. I made a mistake there, but I don't let that rattle me, so I just gotta keep fucking bringing it harder and harder and harder. I'm ready whenever you are. I'm ready, let me know. Go to the okay. pass. Go. Hurry. Two Wellingtons walking. Jonas Royce. Yes, Chef. Up to the pass. I got the pan is hot. Oh, my God. Fuck me. Hey, come here, you. All of you! Not one of you know what the fuck is going on. And you're embarrassing in front of him. Come here, cold lobster. For the second time tonight, I swear to God. Look at me. I've got one big message for you. Hey, you! Get out. Fuck off. I'll do it on my own. Get out. Get out. I want to get out. Hey. You want to argue in front of me? I'm fucking ready. Sure. Get out. You, get out. Fuck off. Totally fucking useless. Get out! Get out! Fuck it. Back in the red kitchen. Two bus, one Wellington. Working, yes? Two minutes, Chef. The women are in the home stretch. Last table, please. Let's go. Coming right now, Coming Chef. Right now. I'm walking with Garnish. Walking with Garnish, Kimmy. Garnish on the pass. Behind. Walking, Chef. Service, go please. Cooked perfectly. Oh, that's good. Guys, thank you so much for your help. The red team fucking nailed it tonight. Woo! I'm so fucking stoked. Ladies. Yes, yes chef. chef. Coming to the blue team, let's go. I got yes, it. Yes, chef. With diners on the red side fed, the red team hurries to complete orders for the blue kitchen. All hands on deck, let's go. Come on, guys, come on, guys. Red team definitely killing it. Um, now we're picking up other people's slack. As you can see, your kitchen has changed color. The woman took over. Walking on bass. Thank you. Garnish for sea bass. Service, please. With the women somehow coming together as a team. Walking down with the whaley. Walking with lobster sauce. Go, please, service, let's go. They push out entrees in a very efficient manner. Thank you. Good job, guys. Oh, wait till you taste that. That's good. Right, guys, let's go, please. Quick, let's go. OK, good. Look at that lovely glow. Wow. Gentlemen. Yes, yes sir. sir. How'd it go this afternoon? Yes. Did we bond? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. If we stay united and bonded, we'll get through as a team. If we become fragmented, we'll disintegrate rapidly. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Move, let's go. Yeah. Okay, Jean Philippe, open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. We are delighted to have you here with us tonight. I will have the Caesar salad. I will have the spaghetti of lobster. This is your chance to shine. Get ready. Thank you. Okay. I know what a fork was table four. Two risotto with spaghetti on Caesar salad. Yes, sir. Chef. Is it boiling? How long, Giovanni? I'm waiting for the water to boil, chef. You expect me to tell Jean-Philippe we're waiting for your water to boil? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, man, Gio, how are you going to cook pasta in water that's not boiling? Hey, look at me. There's no olive oil in there. The water's not seasoned. It's not even boiling. Oh, that was my fault. I didn't check my equipment. It won't happen again, that's for sure. Let's go, Giovanni. Let's go. Oh, my god. While Giovanni's in hot water, over in the red kitchen, Koi is trying to get ahead. Why are you cooking spaghetti when I haven't even fired it? Damn! Why? I'm sorry, Chef. I can't believe this. Why can't you just drop it to order? I will, Chef. Tell me why you can't. I just try to get ahead, Chef. You can't get ahead. You're not that good. 
I was trying to get so many steps ahead. So I am kicking myself in the ass because if I would have listened better, he wouldn't have screamed at me. Coy, put some more spaghetti in. Yes, Mesa, chef. hey, I'm joking, you stupid cow. While Coy tries to get a grip on the appetizers, over in the blue kitchen, Seth has delivered his first order of scallops to the pass. Seth! Yes, chef. You can go fuck yourself. Come here. Yes, chef. There you go. Rubber scallops, yeah? What, what, what is that? Unfortunately, Seth just doesn't have the skills and just couldn't do it. It's just rookie mistakes. There you go. Eat it. Go on. Chef Ramsay made me a couple scallop sandwiches. I didn't have any dinner prior to that, so I was pretty happy to be eating them. Make sure the pan is high when you put yeah. those scallops on. Guys, I need tomato butter sauce. I never got my tomato butter sauce. What are you doing in here? I need tomato butter sauce, Chef. Where's the tomato butter sauce for the salmon? Where's the sauce? Who's got the sauce for tomato butter? Talk, people. It's right talk. here, and I will finish it. Is it ready? No, it's not, Chef. I was pissed off when we didn't have our tomato uh, butter sauce ready to go. Is this part of the sabotage? No, Chef. Of course not, Chef. I completely dropped the ball. We were in the shits the entire day, and it was just there was just so much that needed to be done. Why is the sauce not ready? It was not worked on, Chef, and I will take care of it right away, Chef. Gosh. What a muppet. While Ben hurries to complete the butter sauce, in the red kitchen, Koi is ready with another attempt at the spaghetti appetizer. Oh, my God. All of you, whoa, come here. Taste that, all of you. Hurry up. Come on, Colleen, get your fucking fingers in there. What is that? Dry, bland, under-seasoned, undercooked. I should have tasted it better, Chef. I honestly thought that Koi was going to be strong in that station. Now I've had up to fucking here. Here. Oh, I got my ass handed to me. I never thought cooking pasta could be so hard. Madam, don't send me shit, yes? Yes, chef. It's more than an hour into dinner service, and with no food leaving the kitchen, customers are getting restless. So the food's uh, going to come pretty soon. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, back in the kitchen. What are you doing over here it's now? Made of butter sauce, chef. I just finished it. What have you done to sabotage? Them? Nothing. Put Salt it down. and pepper, Let's chef. Go. Salt and pepper, chef. That's all I added. Hey, you. Come here, Andrea. Taste that. What does that taste of, Andrea? It tastes like spaghettios with salt, chef. Yeah, it tastes fucking disgusting, yeah? More. Hurry up, you. I took a gamble. I didn't taste it before I put out. My fault. Hey, as long as you're over there and I'm cooking, you mind getting some more tomato butter sauce going? Done deal. I don't give a fuck what I'm cooking or what I'm doing. I will get it out. While Danny puts his differences with Ben aside and takes control of making the sauce, Andrea takes control of the red kitchen. Lacey, finish that spaghetti with basil and get it up to the pass. I always try to hit the ground running when service comes around, and I always fall into a natural leadership position. It's just in me. It's in my blood. I'm still waiting on the scallops and spaghetti, Coy. Yeah, chef. How long? Right now. I need one scallop and one spaghetti up there right now. Thanks to Andrea, the women have managed to get out more than half of their appetizers. So far, this is fantastic. Meanwhile, Danny is prepared to deliver his attempt at the women's butter sauce. Tomato butter sauce, guys. Taste it. Mm. That's much better. Thank you, chef. Hey, that sauce now, tomato sauce, is much better. The one you sent over there was fucking disgusting. Yes, chef. Chef Ramsay really liked it, so that's cool. I just seem to fucking rock everything I touch. Yeah, that one there is a thousand times better. Yes, yeah, chef. It's an hour and 15 minutes into dinner service. And while food is making its way out of the blue kitchen... Look what's in my salad. Not all of it is edible. What's going on there? That's from uh, table 20 blue. Come here! Who dressed as Caesar salad? I did, Chef. Oi, Bozo, are you fucking stupid? No, Chef, I'm not. Jay feels like a jackass because that frickin' lettuce. I should have seen it. It's a disgrace. It really is. Did you see that? I did not, Chef. If I saw it, I would have never put it in there. Pretty hard to believe that that butter of lettuce went out there. It's hard to miss that big lettuce chunk if you're just tossing a small salad. Unfucking believable. Despite Jay's serving the butt of the lettuce, the blue team has served most of their appetizers. It's good. Wow. It tastes great. <laughs> Thank you. And Ben is ready to impress with his first entrees. Two lamb, two Wellington. I'm coming right now, two lamb. I'm ready to roll. I've cooked a hell of a lot of lamb. I just want to, oh, let's just go, baby. I'm ready to unleash the beast. Come on. Coming down. Well, I'm regular. Come here, all of you. Come here. Put it down. Put it fucking down. 
What is that? Lamb chop, sir. Lamb chop, yeah. Eat it. Happy now? Now it's getting thinner and thinner and thinner. There's another one. There's one ripped to fuck there now. Too thin, cowboy. I'm like, dude, why are you sending that out? It looked like a piece of carpaccio on a bone, man. How can someone so fucking fat say something so fucking thin? Sorry, chef. It won't happen again, chef. I only serve that for my fucking dog. I'll fix it right now, chef. While Ben tries to figure out how to cut it on the meat station, L.A. tries to figure out a way to work with Colleen. I'm so pissed off right now. Why did she fire that one back in the oven? It's cooked just because to keep it cold. warm. That's, the oven's way too hot to warm. keep it warm. Gotcha. I just was going to drop it off. Tonight, we had two people on the meat station. And it does cause a lot of confusion because she doesn't like to be talked to during service. And that's not necessarily easy for me. Wellington's two medium, one medium well. Did you cut it already? Yep. Cut more on. Colleen was tugging on my arm, constantly asking me something. LA, is this OK? Are we going to get that a little hotter? Then when I have something in my head and you have someone go, what? And then I start questioning myself. I, mean, I know how to cook meat. Come on, please, yeah. Right here, chef. Hey, hello, madam. You're not even trimming the ends off. You wouldn't eat that. Slice the fucking ends off. I fucking told you, man. You got to cut the ends off. I don't get it. While Colleen and L.A. try to work it out on the meat station, back in the blue kitchen, there's chicken at the pass, and all it needs is... Garnish, please. Where's the garnish? We're going to see how Danny produces on the garnish station. As long as he's talking the talk, I'd certainly like to see him walk the walk. Where's the fucking mashed potato? I need the garnish, Danny. He's not even answering me now. It's just a difficult station. Chef Ramsey's like, always calls it, you know, just heating up vegetables, but it, it was rough, man. Where's the fucking garnish? 30 seconds, I'm going to fucking kick you out personally. Danny? It's working, Chef. How long? It's going to be a minute, Chef. While the blue kitchen waits on Danny's garnish, back in the red kitchen, cooking instructor Colleen and line cook L.A. are ready to go with the Wellingtons. Well, medium well. Medium, okay? Where's the Wellington, please? Let's go, Colleen. Let's go, Colleen. Let's go, Colleen. Let's go, Colleen. Let's go. Yes. Well, medium well, two mediums. Stay here, you. Three Wellingtons, you brought me four. One medium, one medium well, one well done. Where's yes, the chef. medium one? The medium is here, chef. Where's the medium well? The medium well is here, chef. Where's the well done one, then? Right here, chef. So what the fuck is that one? I don't know, chef. I'll you take don't it know. It's funny, isn't it? Little ha ha, no, tee hee, and it's not God funny. bless Nebraska. Colleen takes a damn hard beating from Chef Ramsay just about every night, and she keeps her head up high. But I think in her brain, and it's just breaking down. Are you wonder why I'm fucking pissed off? No, I understand you're mad, chef. While Colleen tries to keep the orders straight, out in the dining room, the customers are getting impatient. Would you apologize for the delay? I'm be drunk before I get my first bite of food. And Chef Ramsay looks for the blue team to focus and get out their entrees. On order, four covers table, three, one scallop, one risotto, one spaghetti, one Caesar. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Entree, one bacon, dory, bacon, one chicken, bacon, one, one lamb, one Wellington. Right here. Sir. Sir. Yes, Chef. Come here. What did I just call out? I don't know, Chef. No, I know you don't know, because you weren't even fucking prepared to listen. No wonder you're struggling. What is he doing? Hey, you. Hey, you. Come here. Sorry, Chef. I just watched you wipe your face and then wipe a pan. If this one's for your fucking nose, Where's your cooking cloth? Uh, I'll have to get yeah. my Fuck off, will you? While Chef Ramsay has had problems in both kitchens, it's not surprising that Jean-Philippe is in his own hell in the dining room. It's pretty tender. And his didn't, didn't have, have any lobster. lobster. Well, let me bring it back. One was nearly having no lobster in there, and both were undercooked as well. Coy! Both undercooked and not enough lobster in there. Hey, madam, now it's the customer. Yes, Re chef. Refire. On a night with very little consistency, Chef Ramsay is at wit's end and desperate to get quality food out of the kitchen again. Where's the Wellington, please? Two minutes on this ticket and the next, Chef. So sorry, Chef. Oh. It's a little on the rare side. Scallops are undercooked. Going to have a refire, please. What is going on? Oh, no. Oh. 
Fuck off. Oh, no. Shit! Look at that! You guys, come here, you fat fuck. Come here. All of you, come here. Come here! Hey! Hey, look at me. You are pathetic. No one's won! Fuck off! Both teams, start thinking about two of you to fucking go home. You, pathetic! I don't want any more. I don't want, I don't want to wait for your shit anymore. I don't want your shit anymore. I don't want you drying your face. And then fucking cooking with a cloth, you scummy fucker! Get up! Back, sir. Back in action. Yep. How many stitches? Two. Two? Y'all hopped up on drugs? No, chef. They just numbed a little bit. That was it. I'm good to go. <laughs> go ahead. Welcome back, brother. Welcome back. This cut's not going to be an issue for me tonight. I'm glad to be back. A uh, couple stitches, and we're ready to go for dinner service. Let's go, guys. Yeah? Mike, yes, are you ready? Yes, chef. Communicate, Brandon. Yes, chef. Megan, what's the matter? Why are you pulling that face? Just thinking. <laughs> That's my thinking face. Mourinho. Yes, chef. Open house kitchen, please. Let's go. Show it up. With a fully booked dining room. Okay, thank you. Here, you can sit here, okay? Most of who have arrived at the same time. Teamwork will be at a premium to keep customers happy and fed. Lobster risotto. You guys feel all right? Yes, yes, chef. Chef. yes, chef. yes chef. Tonight, in addition to the classic menu, Chef Ramsay has added a special flatbread appetizer and a snapper entree. The snapper will be served tableside by Millie for the blue team. Watch out, hot pan. And Michelle for the red. Here we go, guys. Four cup of table one. Two risotto, two flatbread. Yes, yes, chef. Chef. yes, chef. Six minutes, guys. I want risottos. Mikey, what you got going? You got a special, special right? Yeah. Chef Ramsay put me on garnish alone tonight. It's one of the hardest stations, you know. It really uh, leaves the team, you know. James, who should be doing the flatbread? What station? Garnish. They're not touching one yet. Millie's doing them all. Michael, what are you doing? Yes, special chef. So we haven't sent the appetizers yet, and you're so keen about getting your stuff ready. How about looking overall? Yes, chef. I will okay. Right now. Yes, chef. Right now. Fuck me, man. As Michael is spinning his wheels in the blue kitchen. Let's go, ladies. The red kitchen seems to be getting the ball rolling. Two risotto, two scallops. Yes, 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 chef. Thank you. With their first order of appetizers. How long on that risotto, guys? It'll be like 20 seconds. Hot apps is fast. If you fuck up, we're going down in flames. Walking with scallops. How long on two risotto? Two risotto. Let's go. There's will be right up, chef. Right behind you. Hot, hot, hot. Risotto. Sign up for fucking two. Ladies! Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Come here, all of you. I've got half a portion of fucking risotto. I'm missing one risotto. Scallops are ready. And how long is it going to be now for the risotto? No answer. And look, half portions. Yes, chef. Work it. Go, Work go it. ladies. Start again. While Mika tries to ensure that her appetizer portions are big enough, the men have gotten their act together. Service, please. And appetizers are being delivered to hungry diners. That's perfectly cooked. At table 22, he found plastic in his food. One of whom has gotten a little something extra in his scallop salad. Almost on top of the salad. salad. I'm sorry, I'm gonna bring it up to them. Chef, table 22, they found this on the salad of the scallops. Piece of plastic. Hi, hi, blue team. Something happened. I hope I didn't do it. That was in the scallop salad. What the fuck? Come on, fellas. Who dressed it? I did, Chef. But as it turns out, I did. I apologize. You're gonna slice somebody's throat open. Understandable. Fuck. Another fucking dumb little mistake. It's just so fucking basic. So basic. One minute walk, can we? As the blue team gets back to basics and tries to give their diners only what they asked for, in the red kitchen, Mika on hot appetizers is getting a lot of help from Megan. All right, check it. Lobster, butter. Lobster, go, go, go. Whether she wants it or not. Stir that, yeah? Can I cook risotto? Yes, I can cook risotto. But can I cook risotto with fucking Megan right here? Taste it and go. Just Mika, go on the risotto. Go, King Chef. Don't go all down. Yes. Wait, sorry. All of you. Chef. Yes, Come chef. here. What the hell now? Taste that risotto. This is too salty. Then imagine four or five tablespoons of that salty, disgusting rice. 
I was trying to help because I was trying to help the team, but Christine and Mika, they don't know how to fucking cook on a line. I've never seen such a bad start to service. Get it together! Yes, chef! While the group effort at Risotto has frozen the progress in the red kitchen, in the blue kitchen, things are starting to heat up. Uh, Michael, what the fuck are you doing? And it's about to get even hotter. Fucking Jesus. Michael, what are you doing? Chef, I put it away, Chef. What? It was over here, Chef, burning. Yeah, no, but it over here. why stick it down there? Who's trays that? It's uh, for Fish. service, Chef. Yes, Chef. They're talking. They go down and grab a pan and scold themselves. Yes, Chef, you're right, Chef. So why would you put... No Sorry, Chef. What are you doing? It was over here, Chef, burning. Shut up. Can you wait till I fucking finish? I put the pan out of the way just so nobody would get hurt. The pan's about to burst into flames. What'd you do? I'm sorry, Chef. Come on, young man. Myself and Josh on the fish station could have had to leave Hell's Kitchen because of a third degree burn. Like taking skin from your ass to put it on your hand type shit. Fucking hell. While Chef Ramsay is keeping the blue kitchen safe from Michael. Hot right behind you. Very nice, that risotto. Mika has finally delivered on her risotto. Pretty dang good. And the pressure is on T to keep up the momentum by delivering on her flatbread appetizers. Go, ladies. I need yeah. a full four minutes four on minutes? the flatbread. Can I get you anything? Actually, Mika, you could turn the one that's in the oven, gotcha. please. Right behind you, right behind you. I was left by myself while Mika was doing pizzas for T. Right behind you, right behind you, right behind you. Mika, you gonna cut it? The bottom's black. Is it mad burn? Yeah, that shit burnt that fast. Oh. T, are you still looking good? No, no. So, young lady. The flatbreads aren't ready. Why bring the capellini? It shouldn't have gone up, chef. It shouldn't have gone up. No, chef. I'm trying to help. Tea on garnish. All of a sudden, there's this pasta up there, and I'm just like, what? All of you. Yes, Come chef. Here, chef. Ooh, sorry. Yeah. Ooh, oh, sorry. sorry. Let me tell you something. Seriously, sorry. I've got half of this table here. Where's the flatbread? Chef, one is burnt. Yeah, one is burnt. Yeah. So that's the flatbread. There's the capellini with it. I've got no idea where the coordination is. I said to you about the timing. Get it together! Yes, Chef! While the red team tries to work out their timing... Two Wellington, one pour, one table side. How long, Nick? Two minutes, Chef. Two minutes? Yes. The blue team has moved on to entrees. Perfect. And Nick is delivering his perfectly cooked meats to the pass. Oh, man. Do you think that pork was a little under? No. Not for me, not for my okay. taste. Hey, all of you, come here. Who sent that to me? Look, hey, why? Look, look, it's fucking raw. Undercooked pork is dangerous. You know, you can jeopardize somebody's life, especially a pregnant woman with a fetus. It won't happen again. Fuck me! It will not happen again. I would eat that pork the way it was. That's just me. Three minutes to the window, OK? As Nick stalls the blue kitchen with his undercooked pork entree. Go with the flatbread, please. Let's go. The Red Kitchen is finally kicking it into gear on their appetizers. Really good. And now Chef Ramsay is looking for... Scallops! ...from Monique and Allison. Ladies! Yes, Chef. Monique, just what? throw it off. I wanted to make sure I was ready. Walking with scallops. I know I'm solid with my scallops. This ain't my first time in the kitchen. These are fucking disgusting. This is cooked as fuck. Ladies! Yes, Chef! Come chef. here, all of you. What is happening? Touch them! Just touch how rubber they are. Yeah, it's not going to bite. It's fucking dead. Yes, chef. Chef, chef, chef. Alison, who cooked those scallops? Funny, chef. Like, what a bitch move. I can't stand Alison. Your accent's stupid. Your makeup's stupid. You're stupid. You've got no idea they're rubber. Way overcooked. Yes, chef. Start again. Two risotto, two scallops. Yes, chef. I'll do the scallops. I can't have money drive the fish station down. Two salads for a scallop since you're over there. While Allison takes the lead on the scallops, over in the blue kitchen. Nothing is coming out until that fucking pork. Where is it? Right at the pork shop. The men are still trying to recover from Nick's undercooked pork. Nick! Yes, sir. It's fucking raw. He said it was under again, but it. I guess it's all relative at this point. Brandon, he's giving me pork raw twice. It's a fucking joke. Nick had the pork come back twice. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Enough, enough. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. It's just over an hour into dinner service. And while the blue diners are looking for entrees from the men, anything else come out? No. The women are now delivering their final order of appetizers to the pass. Right behind you, chef, on your right. 
disgusting risotto. Baby sauce. Where's the cream, the mascarpone? Yeah. Hey. Yes, chef. Hey, all of you, come yes, here. Chef. Come here. Tasting lesson number 17. Taste the sticky, overreduced cavatelli and the bland risotto. No richness, no sumptuousness, nothing. I've got no idea what you two are doing. I didn't fucking train for 10 years to have some fucking asshole next to me not keep up with risotto. Hey, here's the sad thing. It's the last table of appetizers yes, where chef. you should be at your height. Yes, and that chef. tastes like it's at a fucking bottom. Yes, sir. Yeah, Clear. disgusting. Clear. Sticky, bland. Sorry? Sorry, chef. Now, what were we going to say? Please let us try again. Let us try again. Oh, please, Chef Ramsay. Can you give me another chance? Seriously? I'm a girl in puppy dog eyes. That shit doesn't fucking fly. Are you kidding me? The last table of appetizers. Let us try again. What do you think I want? All of you, get out! Dumbass. Fuck off. And what did you say, Sarah? Can we try one more time? Get out! Yes, yes, chef. I'm so angry. I literally want to start punching bitches. Can we try one more time? With the red team ejected from the kitchen before they even completed appetizers, okay. the men are now pumping entrees out to grateful diners. I have five minutes on this fish, and then I'll be right to the next table behind me. OK, perfect. And the orders keep on coming. Well, Wellington, one lamb. Yes, yes chef. chef. The lamb's under. Close it up and get back in for a minute. All right. Mike, we'll give it a second, OK? Yeah, right now. No, no, like, like I, need a, I need a minute, OK? One extra minute heard. Yes, thank you. Lucky with garnish. Michael. I said a minute. I'd rather have Chef Ramsay yell at me for taking too long than have him yell at me for sending him undercooked lamb. Brendan, bring it up. Hi. And the lamb's full of blood. All of you, come here. Who donkeyed that? I sliced the lamb first, Chef. And what did you tell yourself? It was a little under, Chef. No, it was like... a lot more than a little. Raw white fat. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck off, all of you. Get out. Shit beginning, shit middle, and a shit end. Yeah, I'm a little furious right now. I hate fucking losing, getting kicked out of the kitchen. Get out, get out, get out. Get out! James, Chef. where the hell are the doors, please? Just Show me. Question. Quickly, please. After both teams are kicked out of the kitchen, they receive an unexpected visitor. Uh, why is Chef Ramsay in the dorm rooms? In 14 seasons of Hell's Kitchen, I have never set foot in these fucking dorms. But I am so pissed off. You are worse than opening night. I need two nominees. Have a good talk for once tonight. Ah, uh, sit down, sit down. You've been relaxed all night. Why get tense now? You made me come here because of your poor performance. I have never seen a service so pathetic and so lackadaisical in all my fucking life. Come up with two nominees. Try and do something as a team. Ladies, chef line up. Me. Gentlemen, line up, please. Let's go. Let's be honest. Our last service has to be our worst service we've had yet so far here in Hell's Kitchen. And it cannot repeat tonight, let me tell you. You have a big chance to redeem yourselves tonight. Because tonight in Hell's Kitchen, it is family night. Awesome. Awesome, awesome chef. I love cooking for kids. I have two children of my own. So anytime I cook for the kids and try to make that a special time for a family, I will. Get on the stations, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. You got this. Mourinho. Yeah, chef. Open house kitchen for family night. Let's go. Perfect. Please. It's an exciting night in Hell's Kitchen, as Chef Ramsay has invited families to enjoy a fun-filled night with games. And he has added to the classic menu. There will be kid-friendly dishes, like burgers, mac and cheese, and chicken strips. Boys, I'd order four cup of table 50, two scallops, one risotto, one burger. Yes? Yes, chef. What's going on with the scallops? 
I definitely want to make sure that the red team gets off to a good start. Scallop Sarah, they look fucked from here. I'm sorry, Seth, I messed up. Fuck me, man. Guys, Ready my risotto is going to overcook if you don't hurry up. As Sarah struggles with her scallops. Get it on the fucking plane. Don't use the flat top. It's a direct heat. Over in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay is hoping the men can get off to a better start. On order, four covers, table 22, two risotto, fire. One burger, one mac and cheese. Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, yes, thank yes. you. First two risotto, six minutes. Start the risotto, thank you. Yes, yes, chef, yes. already working, chef. Good, let's go. Hey, let me take over, Brett. Thank you very much. I want to take charge of this station. I want to show Chef that I can cook. Come on, two risotto. Talk to him. Walking Rizzo. Good, thank you. Fucking hell. Blue team. Yes. Yes. Hey, yes. all of you. First ticket, two risotto, and I've got barely one and a half portions. Da. Working hard, Chef. Uh, Working barely. hard. Barely. And fucking tastic. Brendan, he might be making some pretty good risotto, but he's not making enough for two people. First and last mistake of the night. Yes, Work it chef. out. Yes, okay, yes, get a grip now. Huh? I'm fucking serious, because I'm getting a little bit fucking pissed off. Brendan fucked up. Now I have to grab him, I'm going to throw him over my shoulders, and we're going to swim to safety. Working hard, Chef. Four minutes. While no, Brett no, no, no. comes to the rescue at the appetizer station, over in the red kitchen. Scallops. He's cooked nicely. Sarah has rebounded on the scallops. Go, please. And families on the red side are happy with what they're receiving. This is really good. At least for now. Four cup of table 33, yes? One burger, one mac and cheese. Two risotto. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. OK, let's do this. Let's continue. Let's try and see if we can keep the balls rolling. Mac and cheese is ready. Mac and cheese is ready. All right, hey. Right. Well, it needs to be seasoned. Moving, moving, yeah? Here, yeah. here, here, here. Chef, mac and cheese. Is that going? Oh, my God. Fuck me. Hey, all of you. Yes, sir. Yes, Come sir. here. Oh. Yeah, hurry up. Taste that. We just taste, taste that. Oh, my God. Salty. That is disgusting. Yes, sir. Who made that? Who fucking made that? I put the extra salt in at the end, chef. I'll fix it, though. Michelle, the young children. Got it, Chef. Chef. Michelle's extra seasoning has forced Allison to start again on her mac and cheese. Okay. Don't worry, two minutes, two minutes. While in the blue kitchen. Two minutes to risotto, Chef. Brett is almost ready with the refire of the first risotto ticket. Nick, going with the, night, the lobsters for the extra risotto? Ready? One minute. One minute, heard. I don't mind taking control of situations, especially if I feel like I have a handle Whoa. on it. I got this shit. I got this. Two risotto. Stop. Yes, Stop. Come here. Bring that fucking pan and bring that pan here. All of you, come here. The yes, chef. That's the old risotto that's gone three, four minutes ago, dumped into the fresh one. The yes, chef. What have in up. the fuck are we doing? Now we're in trouble. Cut the bullshit. Come on, yes, guys. The yes, chef. Brett used the old risotto into the new risotto, and you never do that. You can't do that. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. All right, thanks. How dare I do that? How the fuck dare I do that? He likes to think of himself as our quarterback, but a uh, proper quarterback wins, you know? Walking with the risotto. Very nice, that risotto. The chef. Service, please. Let's go. Brett has now scored with his risotto, and appetizers are now moving out of the blue kitchen. All right, fellas, let's regroup. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen. Let's go. With the appetizers nearly done, Chef Ramsay looks to Monique to deliver on. To Wellington. How long is he Wellington, guys? Walking up now, now chef. chef. I know what I'm doing. I've done this before. I've been on meat station. I got this. To Welly, Chef. <sighs> All of you. Yes, Hurry up. Yes, Chef. When you see white fat running through there, what is that? Undercooked. Undercooked. Yeah, cool. Who cooked the Wellington? I did, Chef. It's like you don't care. We care, Chef. We do. Really? Yes, yes Chef. chef. Go, Let's go just grab go. another one. Hey, you have right a refire on two Wellingtons. Great. Monique strikes. And I'm like, you've been on the station before. This cannot be happening. I need another, I need another one. Come on, ladies. Come on, Monique. Just run. On your left, Chef. Please don't let them be raw. Good. 
Thank you, Lord. With Monique recovering on the Wellingtons, go, 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 go. the Red Kitchen begins sending out entrees to their tables. Yeah, the <laughs> on the blue side, Joe Risotto, chef. That's fine. Service, please. Behind. Go, please. Appetizers are now flying out of the kitchen. It's good. And they're ready to yes, move chef. on to entrees. On order, table 11, entree, one halibut, one wellington. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Thank you, let's go. How's fish looking? How's fish looking? I got a pan right here. I got these hot ones. Walking wellington. Yes, Her walking halibut. Walking halibut. Let's go, come on, speed up you, let's go. Yes. You're like a corpse. Chef Ramsey always telling me to move faster. Hey, hey, I'm fucking, a big, a big fucking Frankenstein. Move! Yes, chef. I'm 6'6". Six, six. I'm swift, but I'm smooth. I ain't got to be running around all crazy. While Millie tries to breathe life into his service, back in the red kitchen. Two burger, one New York strip, one wedding time. Chef Ramsay is once again looking to Monique and Mika on the meat station to keep entrees moving. Mika, let's go. Yes, chef. I'm walking to the pass with onion rings. Walk it, walk it. Walk with the New it's York. Okay, walk with this. I have the New York is sauce. The Come on, okay? please. Come on. Here yes, you go, chef. Sauce for the steak. Hey. Hey, hey, stop. Stop. All of you, come here. No. No. Oh, my god. Raw. Raw, people. Not rare. Raw. No. No, no, no. Come on. Really? Who cooked I that? I cooked that steak, chef. Oh, my gosh. You have another one, chef? I do. You have another one? I do. Mika, no more fucking raw meat, please. While Mika refires her steak, back in the blue kitchen. On order three, summer one, New York strip. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. The men are still turning out entrees at an impressive rate. So you want to fire that one that you put in the oven? Yes, sir. Fire Four that minutes one. to the window, yeah, chef. I feel like I am the leader of this blue team. Playtime is over. I got my eye on the prize. I'm here to win this competition. Solid, medium, rare right now, but I feel six. All right, Nick. How are we looking at those three salmons? Just pulled out. Whenever you're ready. My garnish is ready to go. Walk now. New York up. On your rings to the past. Hey, all of you. All of you! Here we go. Salmon soft as shit. New York strip cooked to fuck. You want to serve it? No, no chef. No chef. Fucking eat it. Hey, all of you, sit down. No, I'm not eating. Enjoy. Yeah. Fucking eat it. No fucking way. Are you kidding me? That's the one you said was sex? Come on, let's go. I don't see any more cooking. <laughs> Sorry, guys. A little cabernet to enjoy with your uh, steak and the salmon. It goes well. This is embarrassing. This is, is embarrassing. Look at the drink of wine. We can do it. Come on, man. Let's go. As the blue team works on digesting their impromptu snack. Let's go, three salmon, one steak. Five and a half, six minutes, yes. Okay. In the red kitchen. I'm waiting on the refire for two burger, one New York strip. Mika has a new strategy for making sure her steak is the right temperature. Oh, look, there's, there's juices, there's blood. I really think it's Axe mix, axe mix. Megan, right behind you, hot. I think this is good. Seriously? You have to figure it out. I don't want to win this competition, and I'm not here to fucking babysit. I'm What'd she say? She said figure out yourself, Where's the Wellington? Two burger, one New York strip. Has anyone momentum? Yes, yes chef. chef. I'm ready to walk with burgers. Let's go to the New York strip. I need to slice. Yes, chef. Come on, Yes, Mika. chef. Yes, chef. Behind. Yes, chef. All of you. All of you. There's the last New York strip. Look how well done it is. It's just so basic. You have an idiot and a clown on the meat station, and they're just fucking everything up. Is anyone going to step up and say anything? This is an embarrassment. Uh, Get out. Get out! Go, go. This is a complete epic shit show. Is that raw? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, ladies, come here. Who cooked the burger? The burger's still raw. 
or she stare at your raw burger and I refire that table myself, I suggest you come up with two nominees that you do not want on your brigade. Fuck off. There were little kids out there. It pisses me off completely. There were families out there. Families. Simply atrocious. Shame on the red team. I thought he was gonna hit me. While the women are rejected from the kitchen for the second service in a row, the men are on the verge of completing service, albeit a bumpy one. You got 10, 10 seconds. Salmon. Hello. Right now, chef. New York strip walking. Service, please. No matter whether Red loses and we complete dinner service, it's not a victory. Right. That was pathetic. Victory. Definitely could have been a smoother night. You know, the team as a whole, we could have done significantly better. That was pretty terrible. I'm gonna beat myself up about this for a little while. That was embarrassing and pathetic. Absolutely, Chef. Good morning, Chef. Good morning, Chef. Tonight is Staff Sergeant James's homecoming party, and the red team is on a mission. The girls have not won a dinner service yet. Tonight's the night, baby. Tonight's the night. For the special event, the menu will feature the blue team's dishes. Uh, are we making this cheesy garlic bread? Good. You just have to find out those recipes from um, Robert. So the women will have to rely on the men to teach them the recipes. We gotta rock this out today, boys. Damn sure don't want them beating us with our menu. It really is important that the blue team bury the girls. What the fuck did you put in there? What do you mean? What are all those little specks? Blue team will do whatever it takes to win. What about the collard greens? I didn't do that, so you're going to want to talk to those guys about that, OK? It's the guy's menu. We got to go talk to the guys every time we do something. But they will not offer up complete information. Susan, did Kevin talk anything about, like, tail on on the shrimp at all or tail off? No. I have no doubt the blue team is sabotaging us. Guys, I'm very worried that everybody doesn't know what they're doing. I'm a little worried, too. This is crap, man. Cutthroat bullshit. Right, ladies, make it count. Yes, five minutes. The little blue team set us up for getting our asses kicked by Chef Ramsay later tonight. We got this, baby. We got this. Yeah. Which is going to happen? We're going to get it right, and we're going to win. Right, are you ready? Come on, guys. Hell's Kitchen is moments away from opening. Let's go, yes? Tensions are high, and Chef Ramsay has a piece of advice to help the team succeed. Right, one pivotal word that tonight's service is going to hinge on is teamwork. What is it? Teamwork! I can't hear you. Teamwork! This is an important service. This guy is coming back from Iraq. We got to bring it. JP, open Hell's Kitchen, please. Tonight's special menu features the guest of honor's favorite foods, including stuffed mushrooms, fried catfish, and a grilled surf and turf. We'll have the stuffed portobello mushroom. He has no idea that friends and family he hasn't seen in more than two years are here in Hell's Kitchen. OK, everyone, he's just outside. We need absolute silence. Shh. That was super emotional. Seeing him come in is just special. He looked very surprised. I got a little teary-eyed during that. On behalf of all of us here in Hell's Kitchen, it's an absolute honor to welcome you home. Cheers. Excellent. Yoo-hoo! Now, look around. Clearly, this room is filled with friends and family. <laughs> but we do have one more surprise. This party would not be complete without a VIP guest. You haven't seen this individual in years. Please welcome your mum. <laughs> Seeing his oldest boy, you just saw how proud he was. His dad's a hero. Here we go, guys. Yes, you won the challenge. You get the privilege of cooking for Staff Sergeant Otis James. Table six. Four seats salad, three shrimp cocktail. Entree, three cheeseburger, four New York strip. Get them on now. Yes, yes sir. Four salad, three shrimp. We got five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. We got it. I'm ready to take you to the house. Make sure this Marine has a good homecoming. Four Caesar, where's the chicken? Right here, chef. 
service, please. Keep it going, yes? It was so zen-like for me. It was just, like, flowing really good. I mean, I really felt we were just working as a team. Van and Andy are advancing quickly on appetizers. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, Sabrina is on the front line. Mushrooms are in? Mushrooms are in, chef. Where's the Caesar salad? Right here, chef. Right here? Give me the mushroom. I need one more. Yes, it's coming, chef. Now. Where's the other mushroom? Coming now. Oh, come on. Send it. Come back for that, yeah? Service, please. Table nine, two mushrooms, one Caesar. Come back for the mushroom, yes? Let's go. Where's the mushroom? Come on, where's my mushroom? It's coming right here. Fuck off, will you? Shit! Fucking stone cold. What are you doing? Just touch that then. Touch! Fuck. No, really? Fuck! Yes, chef. Oopsie doopsie. So I've sent the other two then. Were any ideas now? Where's Waldo? <laughs> You really made me look stupid now. I fucking trusted you then for one yes, second. Chef. I turn my back and I get screwed. Yes, chef. Two fucking piping hot mushrooms, one stone cold. Shit! One mushroom in the oven, chef. That's just not a good start. We haven't won a dinner service, so we just we can't lose anymore. One mushroom coming now, chef. Where's the mushroom? Right here, chef. Thank you very much. The women have finally managed to serve appetizers to their first table. Well, 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 it's finally here. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen... I am down to my last two here. The men... Service table three, please. ...have completed all of their appetizers. That's it. It's it? The board is clear. OK, great, because we're done here. With the blue diners enjoying their first course... Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. ...it's now up to Jim on the grill station to keep up the momentum. Listen up. New York strip, two medium well, two well done. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. OK, Jim, make sure you keep an account on your steaks. It's a lot more popular than we thought it was going to be. Yes, chef. After that, five New York strip, one rare, hey, for normal. As soon as the first four stakes came in and then another five behind that, I went, so this is the game we're playing tonight. It's steak o -rama here in Hell's Kitchen. So I'm going to try to be your backup ears. Yeah. All the tickets are coming in, and Jim's getting just bombed. I'm a little bit worried right now, but I will bail him out because I'm the fucking man. Hey, five New York strip, how long? Jim doesn't even answer me. Who's counting it down, Jim? Five minutes, Chef. Five minutes. Jim! Have you switched off? No, I have not switched off. So what's going next? Right now is one rare four minutes. Hey, Vance, just went. Van. We're gonna do. No, stop, stop. You'll, you'll, you'll burn someone. What is it? Tell me quick while he's not looking. Um, four mid rare, one rare. When people get all fucked up like that, it's cool because I sit back because I know I can bail them out. So it makes me look like a hero. <laughs> Kevin. Yes, Chef. Can you tell Jim what's going next? I just did, Chef. Thank you very much. This is fun. Staff Sergeant James, come on. Yes, Chef. Midwells, Midwells. Three cheeseburger first, yes? Staff Sergeant James. Service, please. This steak is good. The guest of honor is pleased with his meal. In the red kitchen. Service, please. Sabrina and Amanda have finally completed their appetizers. You're so awesome. Now the pressure is on tech on the grill station to get out the entrees. Five New York strip, one chicken. Yes, yes chef. Louder. Yes, 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 chef. Let's go. We need to organize them a little bit better so we can get more on. I know. I'm going to. Just chill for a second. This is my station, and I know what I'm doing. So back off. Stand by, yes? Away shortly. Five New York strip, one chicken. She's not even answering me. Okay. Five strip, coming up now. No one's got my back here. Ten. Five strip, one chicken, walking up now. Let's go, then. Where's the strip? Five orders. Oh, fuck off, Tech. Tech! That's fucking... That's still blue in there, yeah? Just touch that on top there. Touch. Come on. Touch it, Suzanne. Touch. Get it back in the oven now. Fingers are going right through it. It's blue. Do you have room to start grilling off more? Yeah, I will in one second. These are flatter, OK? These are thinner. There were, like, five people working a one-person station. Like, I know how to cook. I'm not a fucking dumbass. Unfortunately, there aren't numerous hot places on the grill. OK, mark them and throw them in the oven. I got a 500-degree oven back here. You can't rely on that grill to cook your food for you. The grill has a purpose in that moment, and that purpose is to mark your food, and then you finish it in the oven. Where's the steaks? Coming up with steaks. Now they're burnt. I am fucking so upset. That's nicely cooked. That's nicely cooked. And what are they for? They're black. How can I serve that and that on the same table, Tech? Sorry, Chef. I'm so embarrassed. What's the matter with you, madam? 
Half the dining room have got their entrees. You're half are standing staring. Tech talks more of a game, but if she can't back it up, she's going home. This may not be important for you, madam. Hey, but madam, this is fucking serious, and you're shit. Yeah, just take the fucking lot back, will you? Get out of my sight. Come on, Jesus. All Tech had to do was mark the steaks and throw it in the oven real quick. Listen, listen. Tech, how long is that steak going to take? Two minutes in the, in the convection. How long? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Start cooking all those meat. Cook it, cook it, cook it. Dude, make sure this side doesn't get burnt. When there's nine people, like, yelling and grabbing things, you know, it's hard to maintain your focus. It's just frustrating. While the women try to move Tech and her steaks along, the men are successfully sending out entrees. Two chicken, one pan -ay. But one member of the blue team is still worried. Dave, yeah, you got to get him going now, in a pan, in the oven. I am a little concerned for David's hand. Can I pop them off for you? No, dude, it's chill. I got it. Jesus. You're freaking me out, Andy. All right, dude, relax. No, I, I appreciate your help, but I got it, I got it. You know what I'm saying? I have my routine. Get the fuck off my station, dude. Because I know what I'm doing. Once I start fucking up, then you can get on my balls. With Dave single-handedly delivering another entree to the pass. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Diners on the blue side are enjoying their food. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, not a single diner on the red side has received an entree. I just wish I was over there because, you know, they got their food already. Come on, yeah, we got to hurry up, ladies, yes? Yes, chef. Can we get one burger out? Tech, what's going? Five New York strips. I got the burger working right now, chef. Has the cheeseburger just gone on? Yes, chef. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Dear God, she's a mess. Tech, come here, you. Yes, chef. Come here. What are you doing? You're not even with me. Yes, I am, chef. I didn't hear the burger order. I'm sorry. Send it out. Right, chef. I will get it Hurry right up. now. Thank you, chef. Come on, guys. I got this. I got this. I really can't believe this is happening. We haven't sent out anything. Tech, do something. While Tech starts over on the first entrees, in the blue kitchen, it's Jim who's getting grilled. Hey, Jim, touch me with your fingers. You've got control with your fingers. Yes, yeah, Chef. There, touch. There we go. They're ready. When you've got tongs chef. and you're stubbing it, stubbing it, stubbing it, you're not performing appendicitis, you fuck. Yes, Chef. I'm going to go up with steaks. Can yeah. I go? There's one saving grace there tonight. The fucking Kevin stand behind him. Right behind you, right behind you. Coming down, gentlemen. Chef Ramsay seems to pick on Jim, but I think Jim did a great job. Guys, I need drawn butter. Behind, behind, behind. Two more, two more, two more. I got him. Got him right behind. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I was already on it, already doing it. Catfish garnish, let's go. I had my station under control, but I was being shortchanged on the credits. Steaks right now, right now. Because Kevin likes to look like Superman. Last ticket. Do I know the pass? Let me take it. With Kevin's help, Jim manages to send out the blue team's final entree. I got the grill off, guys, OK? Hey, guys, I need dessert plates. In the red kitchen, Tech's first entrees are finally ready to go. Let's go. But a crucial element of the surf and turf. Where's the lobster? Is missing in action. Where's the lobster? Right here, chef. I saw a tech in a panic, so I just took over. I just wanted to get the food out. Come on. This is not possible. Come here. All of you, come here. Whatever it is, it's not my fault. This is not fucking possible. This cannot be true. What is that there? What is that there? What is that? This is... Yeah, it's fucking raw! Raw! Come on, Amanda. All you had to do was put the lobster on the grill, make sure it didn't char, baste it, and send it up. That's all you had to do. It's a fucking restaurant, not a sushi bar. How can you get confused with a raw fucking grilled lobster? I don't know where to go. I can't even turn around and look at the dining room. I'm so fucking embarrassed. This is still your first table. That's their last. Fuck off! We haven't sent an entree out! It's an hour and a half into the homecoming party, and unbelievably, none of the red diners yeah, <laughs> have received an entree. Stupid cows! Oh, fucking hell. Hey, have you finished? Desserts, chef. Desserts. Kevin, stand desserts. All of you, come in here. Yes, chef. Hey, guys, get on a section with you, please, yes? Yes, chef. Oh! to injury, rub salt in the wound. What just happened? Away now. Two penne, three New York strip, two chicken, one catfish. Yes, yes, chef. Chef. yes chef. Ah, yeah, boy.
That's right. I can hear it. It's them bitches crying. Do you need anything? No, I'm good. There was just scraps of meat just everywhere. It was a kitchen apocalypse. Like a hand grenade went off in a cow's ass. Normal, medium, well done, yeah? Let's go. Now that the men have taken over the red kitchen, entrees are finally making their way out to the dining room. Your mac and cheese needs two minutes. The girls' team had a complete collapse of the system. Last ticket, let's go. Service, please. We went over, put a bow on it, and that's it. With Kevin finishing up desserts for the blue kitchen and the rest of the men completing the red team's tickets... Need a lobster, right. guys. ...the entire dining room has finally been served. Gentlemen, thank you. Fuck off to your kitchen. Yes, chef. Yes, Ladies. Yes, yes, chef. Yes. That was no fucking hero's welcome. That was pathetic at its best. Yes, yes chef. chef. Clear down. Oh, I'm so mad right now. I'm so frustrated. We should have been able to get that stuff out. And I don't want to, like, dog my team, but I can't work with incompetent people. Tonight's dinner service was another high point in Hell's Kitchen. It's been an absolute pleasure. I uh, hope you enjoyed your evening. Right, thank you. Uh, good to see you. Thank you. Uh, the demand for tonight has been extraordinary. We're overbooked. So I'm going to do a double seat. Whilst the blue team is serving, the red team is cooking, then we'll switch it round. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, Let's go. Yes, yes sir. Yes, Jean-Philippe. Yes, sir. Yeah, open Hell's Kitchen for a barbecue night. Tonight, Chef Ramsay has replaced the regular menu with upscale barbecue dishes, including smoked ribs, a Kobe beef burger, and crab hush puppies. We have a really exciting menu, some really fabulous barbecue. For the first of tonight's two seatings, the red team will be in the kitchen, and they will have two hours to serve the entire dining room. Chef, what are up? Thank What's you. Up? Excellent. Brilliant. Thank you, Chef. Two crab, one shrimp, one salad. If you don't like it, I'll bring it right back. Oh, you're cute. Okay. <laughs> Gracias. Where's the crab? I'm going on crab. Let's go. Maria, they're raw. They're raw. Look what you're doing. It's not undercooked, it's fucking raw. Draw. Come on, one crab urgently. Fuck me. Maria, I need two more crab on top of the one you got. I know. We completely stopped the kitchen for a hush puppy. I need the crab. Can you just give me an answer? 30 seconds, four days. How long are those hush puppies? Somebody answer me. How long are the crab? It's not down. OK, well, you need to be telling me. While Maria struggles with the crab hush puppies, Salvatore is hoping that tonight's performance in the dining room will go a little more smoothly than his last one. Second time uh, in my life being in the dining room, so I'm kind of nervous. First time I was there, it was, was a bad experience for me. Show me. Oh, my God. What is that? Are you writing in Japanese? Let's go. Oh, Jesus. What is that there? What does that say? What, what? Yes, sir. You went to school, right? No, sir. You did go to school? No, sir. What were you doing? I came to America because my family needed me, needed money. So what were you doing when you didn't go to school? Working every day, chef, to feed, to help my father and my mom bills. Thank you for being honest. I always being honest, chef. Just take your time. Look at that. Despite poorly written tickets coming in, Fran is pushing her teammates to get food out. Guys, I'm ready. Are you ready? How's those crabs? You put them here? Oh, it's like Jesus. Is the crab ready? Hello? Yes. Thanks. So answer me. You can't ask me, you can ask me, but you yelling at me and I'm trying to help him. Well, it's just a yes or no, you don't gotta... I didn't hear you! I know. I'm fucking sensitive, man. Who the fuck are you yelling at? Like, I didn't fucking hear you. Like, I'm gonna ignore your ass on purpose. Hey, guys, let's not fucking argue, all right? Let's just cook. The red team, it was a disaster. It would just, like, stop in the middle of dinner service and fight. We're not arguing, I just... Okay, wanna, I well, don't let's wanna, not scream at each other, all right? Let's cook. Did you put up the crap? Any crap, come up! No. If I, if I bring crab up, I'll Two tell you. Two swordfish, one right Look at it if you want to take anything out of it. She What's said, that? Yeah. Right now. Guys, guys oh. listen to Chef. Stop me! Stop! Stop it, Chef. Guys. I'm calling out an order, not one of you even answering me. Listen to me, you fucking idiots. 
Work as a team. Yes, yes, chef. With the red team falling apart, one chef does what she can to bring them back together. This one's hot, chef. Service. Fran. Yes, chef. Yeah, well done on the appetizers. Yes, chef. Fran did a really good job tonight. She never gave up. She never stopped trying. The appetizers are flying out. Keep it going. It's an hour and 15 minutes into dinner service. And thanks to Fran, diners are enjoying their appetizers. She's got good flavor. The red team is now sending entrees out to the dining room. One burger medium well, one burger medium. But one chef on the blue team. If you need me to take something back, I'll be happy to. Is making sure they don't stay there. You're, you have a look on your face. Uh, Undercooked. A little under. OK, I'm going to take those right back to the kitchen. I got myself all pretty. I'm going to charm the tables. I'm going to send anything back just for the sake of sending it back and hope that that collapses the red team. Oh, guys, come on. What's the matter? It was supposed to be medium and medium, medium well. Medium and medium well, yes? Yeah. Siobhan. Siobhan, Siobhan, Siobhan. Burger requested medium well, stone cold in the middle, and it's fucking rare. Fuck off. Come on, guys. OK, refire two burgers. Tables are starting to complain. How are you doing? You sure? If you're unhappy with it, I can always Go and get you some more. What do you think? No, I'm fine. You sure? If you can get the main course, that'd be nice. OK. While Autumn hopes to do her part to keep the red team busy, back in the red kitchen, Scott hopes to impress Chef Ramsay with his fried chicken. Come in now, Chef. How long is he cooking this for? Scott, this chicken is like something from outer space. Just feed it a little bit. It's cooked to fuck. It's like something from a leftover fast food joint, Scott. Pathetic. Scott's got the most experience, but he still screwed up the whole chicken section. I mean, just a complete disaster. Black and bullshit chicken. Oh, my God. Close the fucking oven door. I don't want the conversation going on with the oven door open. She's going to come past with a fucking pan, walk in that, and bang. One fucking arm in the fryer, one on the fucking stove. Now stop it! Yes, Chef. He was working so dangerous, Scott. He should have known better. We never cook with the door open. Health and fucking safety! It's the worst fucking night of my life right now. I feel miserable right now. Thank God nobody got hurt. We're now the most dangerous kitchen in the fucking country. With food coming back, Scott being careless, and time running out. Come on, ladies, you can do it. Come on. The red team is finally making a big push to get out as much food as possible. Last minute, guys. Coming up. Let's go. Oh, dear. All of you, come here. All of you! That's my fault. It's completely my fault. It was the last one I did. It's fucking wrong! I should have asked. I, sh I needed more time. Stop! Time's up. Enough is enough. Fucking shut it down. That was just such a fucking joke. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I don't know how many more of these fucking services I can handle like this. With the first dinner seating coming to a close, the tables are now turned, and the blue team will be in the kitchen with only two hours to complete the second seating. Right. Open house kitchen for a second barbecue. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yeah, they're walking in. While the blue team is excited to be back in their element. Game face is on. The red team is clearly out of theirs. Oh, right, you're on my table. Hey, guys, I need some fucking orders. Nelka. Yes, chef. What are you doing? I'm trying to, I'm getting this together, chef. Oh, my god. Being a waitress is not an easy job. OK, the desserts. So much technical shit that goes with it. They had to rewrite the tickets like three times each. I'm like, fuck! Where's JP? Hey, the clock's ticking away. Let's I go. I know, I know, I know. Let's go. Thank Give you. it. Chef, order in table 44. Yeah, what's taking so long? Ten minutes for the first fucking order. I'll order four covers table 44, yes? On shrimp, one crab, one salad, one date. Yes, Chef, coming right now. How are you guys enjoying House Kitchen? Great, thank you. All right. Probably more fun than you are. <laughs> I could imagine. <laughs> I could imagine. Shrimp right here, Chef? Nice. The tickets may be coming in slowly, but Jay is getting his appetizers out quickly. Jay! Yes, Chef. Well done, yet. And Chef Ramsay is moving on to entrees. One more corn away 
the salt, the chicken. Not even answering me, look. Tabatov, one more corn. I don't understand why, as soon as he gets in the kitchen, he just, like, shuts down. You tell me what to do, I'll do it. I think, uh, you know, is in a spiral, and that's sort of, unfortunately, starting to get on my nerves. Salvatore, get one corn going. Salvatore! Nah, too many boys, too many boys told me something. Salvatore, come here! Why do you stop? You're not talking anymore. Why do you stop talking? Sorry, chef. Open up! Yes, yeah, chef. Unreal. Let's go. Come on, then, madam. Maria! You already had Maria, it. where's the ticket? Where? Come on, then. Sorry, Chef. Fucking hell. She's so weird. You already have a table 33. Yeah, I have two 33s now. From Holly, I got one as well. <gasps> chef! That table 33, we double took the order, and that's a double order, Chef. So how can you take the same order twice? I took it, and Holly took it. Are you trying to screw no. the blue team? No way. Holly! Holly! Yeah, you're all uh, in Excuse here. me one second, please. Unbelievable. Come here, you. This is out of order. I took 33's order and you took 33's order. So we double. 33 is in my, my section. It's 33 is in her section. It's my fault. Yeah, Maria's like losing it right now. Yeah, I took their orders. Listen, the listen, listen, listen to order. me! Listen. Just out of interest, when you hit the table for the second time, why don't you at least check if their order's been taken? I don't know. You don't know? I think she's overstressed or something because she's just not there. Now, fuck off and leave me alone. Disgusted with the red team, Chef Ramsay turns his attention to Autumn's next order of ribs. Oh, jeez. All of you, come here. Come fucking here. Just touch inside that. Oh, oh fuck off. You yes, stone fucking cold. Ice cold in the centre. Yes, yeah, Chef. I love the way you're so late, but just walking around like you're just I'm shopping. I'm not walking yeah. around, Chef. I'm, I'm rushing. You're rushing? Yes, Chef. I'd hate to see you slow. It's an hour and a half into the blue team's dinner service, and all of the diners have received appetizers. This is not what you ordered. No. I ordered the shrimp. Just not the ones they asked for. Thank you very much. Thank you. So bring the dates back, and you tell Chef why. Yes? Certainly. What's the matter? He doesn't want the dates. Why? Because I sold him, I wrote down dates and he wanted shrimp. So said. you're lying to me. You fucked up the Not order. Not intentionally. Not intentionally. Come in here, you. Come in. Come in. Come, Come in. in. Surprise. I screwed up. Again. I wrote down shrimp and they wanted dates. Or they, I wrote down dates and they wanted shrimp. Okay. Basically, she fucked up the order, yeah? She fucked up the order. Fucking bullshit. I can do refire in 10 seconds, chef. With the clock running out on their two hours. Come on, guys, you've got 25 Come minutes on. to clear this board, yes? Yes, yes? yes? The blue team is moving quickly, but not carefully. All of you, come here. So who's the fucking smart ass? Who's the fucking smart ass? I put the chicken in there, chef. What with the fries? I just dropped the chicken in the fries, chef. Come on, let's go. Let's go, get the chicken, come on. Jason! Yes, Chef. Jason, look at me. I'm looking, Chef. Not fucking good enough. Yes, Chef. It's a fucking fine dining restaurant, yeah? Yes, Not Chef. Not a fucking fast food pickup joint. Get the fries out of there first, then put your fucking chicken in there. Yes, Chef. Thank the you. The fries wasn't done, Chef. The fries are a fucking side. Get your chicken going. Get the fucking... Listen to me, Jason. I'm listening, Chef. Then do it, then. Do it. I'm doing it, Chef. See him put up with this fucked up ass bullshit. Fucking crazy. I don't give a fuck. Fuck. I don't know what's going through Jason's head. I just want to turn around and say, shut the fuck up. Just listen to what the chef has to say. Don't talk back to the chef like that. Come on, guys. It's 10 minutes left. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Yes, chef. I need the fucking entrees. Well, let's push this out. Service, please. Coming down hot. Hit butter, hit butter. On. Fuck off you, eh? Five minutes. Hurry up, Autumn. Yes, Chef. Work it. Come on. Go. Check it. One minute left. Are you ready? I'm ready to go up with that. Hurry up, Jason. Give me three minutes. Three minutes. It's not possible to be that fucking long. Fucking crazy. Time. I told you to speed up. Everything off. If our team loses tonight, if we bye bye, see you. I'm going home. I love you, honey. Meet me at the airport. Oh, fuck him.
Uh, gents, let's go, ladies. Yes, yeah, chef. OK, mon ami. Chef. Open house kitchen. Yes, yeah, chef. Let's go. It's opening night in Hell's Kitchen. First time was arriving, guys. And excitement is in the air for both the new chefs. Woo! And the diners, who have had the good fortune of securing one of the most difficult reservations in the city of LA. I think I'm going with the pan seared tuna to talk. In addition to the classic menu, Chef Ramsay has added a tableside Caesar salad. The red section of the dining room will be served by Melanie from Los Angeles, and the blue section will be served by Chris from Las Vegas. First table in, chef. OK, here we go, red team. First ticket, on order, four covers, table 31. Two Caesar salad special, two scallops. Yes, yes chef. chef! Let's go. The scallops are hard, right? No, 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 we're cooking their scallops. Me and Nicole are on fish, and she's totally lost. Do you remember everything he called? No. As soon as the first order drops, she's like, I can't do this, I can't do that, and I don't understand this, and I don't understand that. I'm dropping the scallops now. I don't have time to babysit her tonight. Look good, girl. That one? I got to let it brown a little bit. While Joy takes charge of the fish station. Welcome with scallops in one minute. Over in the blue kitchen, the men. OK, blue team's on order. Two Caesar salad special, table side. One scallops, one risotto. Yes? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef! Are eager to get their first appetizers to the pass. Four more minutes. Feeling the heat? This is the time for me to show what I'm capable of, what my talents are, the whole G package. Got three minutes. Give it a second, give it a second, yep. I've cooked risotto like a billion times. To be honest, it's not that tough. How's that lobster tail? I'm ready. We're gonna go into the pass. Risotto's up to the pass. Scallops in the window, chef. Good job, team, good job, good job. Hey, all of you, come here. Soup, like liquid. Runny liquid. It's so fucking runny, you can't even spot the fucking rice in there. Then here, hey, you as well. What do you think of that lobster towel? The Marco. It just looks nasty. Shriveled, rock hard. It's like a fucking golf ball. Then here, hey, scallops come up. Beautifully seared. I'm like, yes! I want fucking shot! Look, how opposite can one scallop be? Get a fucking grip. Let's go. Let's go. Wake up. While Gabriel, Gorov, and DeMarco start over on their appetizers. Two scallops coming, chef. Back in the red kitchen. Scallops, chef. Joy has promptly delivered her first two orders of scallops. I'm about to walk with the risotto. Who cooked the scallops? Me, chef. Yeah, come over. Let's go. Joy, come on, speed. Just touch them. Huh? They're, they're rubber. I'll refire. Every time you fuck up scallops, I gotta refire a whole fucking risotto. Do you know how long that takes? Okay. I'm refire another one, chef. Yeah, that's exactly what you're gonna do. It's another two, by the way. Yes, chef. Nicole, can you help us with these scallops? While Joy tries to get her station partner Nicole involved, in the blue kitchen, risotto going out right now. Gorov is hoping his second attempt at risotto will be up to Chef Ramsay's standards. Chef Ramsay's at the pass, and he's swirling at it, looking at it. Oh, God. Giraffe. Turns right back around. Way too much pepper in there. It's just too hot. It's a fucking risotto, not a vindaloo. Yes, chef. I love black pepper in my risotto, just for the records. While Gorov learns the differences between his way and the Hell's Kitchen way. I'm going to be very gentle on it, sir. Back on the red side. Pull on. You can see it. Pull on, pull on, pull on, pull on. Joy and Nicole are determined to put out perfect scallops. Pull it off the heat. Pull it off the heat. These are overcooked. We need to fire another scallop. Scallop, chef. Okay, and then I need the other one, right? Coming, chef. Where's the other scallops? Coming up, chef. One minute, chef. It's the same table. How can it be a minute behind? I messed up the other scallop, chef. Fucking hell. We can't fuck up any more scallops. We don't, we're, this is it. This is it, I'm done with the fucking scallops. I'm done, that's it, fuck that. I'm done with the scallops. It's our first time. Don't worry. I'm, I'm done. done. I'm done with the fucking scallops, man. I'm fucking done. One thing I don't do is give up, and one thing I can't do is work next to somebody who is going to give up. I'm done, girl. That's it. I'm done. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm OK, chef. You sure? Yes, chef. The attitude stinks. If you don't put any effort into it, do me a favor. Take that apron off and fuck off home. Yes, yeah, chef. Extraordinary. Yeah. Fuck you, yeah. Don't worry about it. We're going to finish this. We're coming back, believe it or not. 
It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and not a single appetizer has left the kitchen. Uh, should we go make this ourselves or what? In what is shaping up to be one of the worst starts to an opening night. I think we'll get it. Uh, Back in the red kitchen. Sandra, let me know when you're ready for me to fire the scallops, please. Joy and Sandra oh. are having a difficult time getting on the same page. How much longer? Trust me, I will tell you when I'm a few minutes out, because that's all you need to see are freaking scallops. I'm about to fire these scallops now. You have to wait till I am ready to give you a time you can drop your goddamn food. Oh, mind you, so you can screw it up, and I got to refire mine again. Two Caesar salad, one risotto, one scallops. How long? I need two minutes on the scallops, and I'm walking. I'm going to need, like, five minutes. She said five. She's not even talking to you. I need five minutes. Hang tight. It takes a minute. Why are you fucking me like this? Hey, Joy. Yes, Chef. Have you given up? No, Chef. What did I just say there? Uh, Chef, can you run the order back to me, please? Oh, my God! Relax. Somebody crying and screaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Relax, girl. Relax. <sighs> Joy, please calm down. Get it together. Relax. <laughs> As the bad news continues to pour into the red kitchen, I'm pulling the scallops now. Chef Ramsay shifts his attention back to the blue kitchen. How long for the risotto? Risotto, two more minutes, chef. Desperate to witness something. There's nothing coming out. Anything positive. There's nine of you fucking standing there playing with yourselves. Oh, no. Hey, you. Hey. Hey, come here, you. We do not stick our fingers in the fucking food. Lick it, and then go back inside. What is this? Sorry, chef. Does anyone have any respect for the customer sat behind me? I'll get a grip, chef. Don't worry about getting a grip. Next time, you're out. Are you kidding me? You're going to not take my risotto just because I check the rice and then finally clean my finger with my tongue? Get it together. Yes, chef. While Gorak is given one last chance to clean up his act. I say, like, five more minutes. Back in the red kitchen. I'm walking with the scallops, ready when you are. Joy is still trying to open up communications with. Sandra, am I ready to go with these scallops? Sandra's killing me. She wasn't talking to me at all. Am I ready to go with the? I want him to get this right. It just takes too long to refire. I got going by myself. You want to start crying now? I need you to say my name. I can't hear anything. Joy. Thank you. Or Nicole. Drop the scallops. Are you ready for me to drop the scallops? Like another I don't need minute, you to be a smart ass. I need us to work. What the That's fuck are you yelling at? It. That's the what end of it. What the fuck are you yelling at? Calm the, the fuck down. down. It's just embarrassing. It's like hens in a hen house. It's like. <laughs> don't get fucking wise with me. I, I, I stop. Okay. All of you, come here. All of you. Sandra and Joy, what's going on with you two? She's nothing down. with me, Chef. I can't understand her if she's crying. I don't know if she can hear if I'm me. Crying. Or not. I can hear you if Relax. I'm crying. I can hear Relax. you. Relax. We you need matter. to get going. Yes, yes, chef. yes, Chef. Put your differences aside and communicate with each other. Yes, yes chef. chef. While a communication breakdown has brought the red kitchen to a halt. Come on, ladies. We gotta pull it together. We can get our ass kicked out. Back in the blue kitchen, Risotto by itself. Chef Ramsay has a question for DeMarco and Gabriel. Where's the lobster? I'm ready. You want it? No, 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 no. Leave it. Put it back in there. Put it back in. DeMarco, you got to be a fucking idiot. I'm not sending out the raw lobster. Is it cooked? Yes, it's good to go. Lobster, so, Chef. Hey, DeMarco, it's overcooked. Yes, it's like a fucking bullet. Come here, you. Oh, shit. Yeah, this can't be happening. Not again, man. Just touch it. Yes, Chef. OK, another one right now. So he gets the risotto ready, and then you give him a big ball of elastic band, supposedly a lobster. Yes, Fuck off, DeMarco. Gabriel? Like, come on, dude. If you just let me do it, they'd be fucking perfect. Hey, wake up, you. Yes, Chef. Wake up. Yes, Chef. While DeMarco starts over on the lobster, in the red kitchen, Sandra is finally communicating. I'm walking in like 10 seconds with this risotto. Why didn't you tell me? I keep, I'm it keep screaming and I'm walking with it Scallops. for like a minute. Let's go. Coming right lobster. now, Chef. That lobster tail should have been done. Walking with risotto. Where's the, where's the lobster? Coming right now, Chef. Lobster, drop a lobster, Joy. Stop right there. Did you just say drop the lobster? Yes, I did, Chef. Come here, you two. You, come here. The lobster is not even in. How long is it going to take you to cook that lobster tail? 45 seconds, chef. Really? Yes. Do you know what? Get me a lobster cooked in 45 seconds. Your time starts now. Good luck. Best wishes. 
15 seconds gone. The pressure's on. On. 30 seconds gone. Just like, oh my gosh, that's faster. 40 seconds gone. Time. Here we go. Cold, touch in the middle. Cold and raw. Oops. Jeff, I did not hear. You didn't hear. It's the communication, it's fucked communication. up. Communication, yeah, it's really fucked up. Well, let me communicate something really clear to you. You, 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 fuck off upstairs. I'm done. Fine. Get out. I hope you heard that one. Our beautiful risotto's fucking sitting there, and the first thing they do is they tell Gordon Ramsay, oh, well, she didn't tell us when to do it. The only thing is cool, throw me under the bus after you nod to me. Both of us. And I told you. Bus. 40 of seconds. Us. No, don't say that one second. fucking time. And what about, 40 oh, seconds. you have a fucked up tonight. 40 fucking oh, seconds. Fucked up 40 seconds. Wait, 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 while the ladies continue team building upstairs. Oh, whatever. Downstairs, DeMarco and Gabriel hope they finally have a dish worthy enough for Chef Ramsay. Scallops in the window, Chef. <laughs> oh. Big boy, come here, you. All of you, just touch the scallops. They're bullets, they're rubber bullets. Look at the color of them. It's overcooked rubber shit. What are you two doing? Fuck off out of there. Get out, all of you. Get out. I'm done. Do we get kicked out of the kitchen? It's really fucking frustrating. Chef, can I stay? Get out. With all of the men kicked out of the kitchen. How long? 30 more seconds, Chef. Let's I'm go then. If they're ready, I'll take them. OK, yes, Chef. Chef Ramsay turns to what's left of the women to save opening night. The rubber, way, way overcooked. Uh, my scallops are ready. Who cooked them? I finished, Beth started them, I finished them. Just touch them. They're rubber. They're bouncing. They bounce. This is the worst opening night in the history of House Kitchen. Get out. Yes, Chef. Jean-Philippe. Oui, Chef. I cannot stand the embarrassment any longer. Shut it down. Yep. It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen. And ahead of tonight's dinner service, the blue team is riding high from yesterday's challenge victory. We got an upper hand on the girls. Let's keep it like that. Meanwhile, determined to put their losses behind them, the women are trying to get organized with some help from a former Hell's Kitchen winner, their sous chef, Christina. Get your top kit set. Okay. Make a list of everything you don't need. Got it. Every kitchen has a prep list. Normally, we don't title the list. We just know it's the list. OK, this is the list. I'm going to put the fucking list. Jackie wrote the effing list. Like, why would you write that? The fucking list? The fucking? I didn't know that. <laughs> so respectful, right? What are you thinking, Jackie? Disrespect like that does not fly anywhere. Is this you? It's disrespectful is what it is. Never again, I swear oh to God. God any I Shut up! She did not think that was very funny. <laughs> if any of this happens in this kitchen again, the fucking list, whoever writes it will be finishing the fucking list. It wasn't disrespecting I, you. You just interrupted me. Take a seat. Have a seat and sit out. Just sit out. Never again. It's a professional fucking kitchen. You would be fired if you, if you work for me. You want to have it? Oh, you don't care? No, no. You don't care? No, no. This is your teammate. Find the cancer in your team and work around it. Jackie brought her whole morale down. She has to go. I'm, I'm done with her. Go have lunch. I'm the type of person that where I could joke, 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 and then boom, jump into service and get shit done. But these morons don't see that. Jackie, you can't talk back to her. Listen, I'm not going to let her disrespect me. She's our boss, dude. And you need to get back in her good graces before we start service. Every chef that I've ever rolled my eyes at, I am totally sorry because Karma is a bitch and her name is Jackie. Chef, can I talk to you? Yeah, I'm in the back. 
All right, what's up? I feel horrible. Writing that shit on the list was fucked up. I mean, I realize that now, you know? You have to understand that I'm in the position I am because Chef Ramsay put me there. I know. I mean, I don't want you to think I'm not in, like, really serious about this. And show me. I will. Okay. Yeah. I'm not an idiot. I knew I had to apologize as soon as I realized how pissed Chef Christina was. But I mean, this is a cooking competition, not a personality competition. Make sure the gas is on. We all Calm learned this. what happened last yeah. time. You got this, come on. Line up, guys, let's go. Let's go, ladies, line up. Tonight, there will be some very special guests sat on our unique chef tables in your kitchens, in the red kitchen. We're going to be cooking for a major star of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Chris Jenner is joining you tonight. Chris Jenner? She's like Oprah huge. I don't even know what to say. Blue team, tonight you'll be cooking for the queen of burlesque, Dita Von Teese. I'm beside myself. You know, fan dances and, you know, you know, the old calendars with the pinup girls. That's Dita Von Teed. I want both chef tables to experience a dinner that they will never forget for all the right reasons, guys. Yes, yes chef. chef. Good. Get on your yes, station. Chef. Let's go. Mourinho. See you, Chef. Open up Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Open it up. The dining room is filling up with hungry customers and VIP diners, eager to sample Chef Ramsay's classic menu. I like the butternut squash risotto. Tonight, they'll also be treated to a special duck confit appetizer. A little bit of the citrus vinaigrette. To be served tableside by Danny for the red kitchen and Frank for the blue. And that's it. All right, let's go. Four covers table, 32. One special table side, one cappellini, two kale salad. Yes, Chef! Capellini's easy, yes? Yes, Chef. Chop all the time, yes? Cap the water's not boiling. I'll stop, the fucking gas is off. Ladies, the gas is off. Again? You dumb bitch, are you serious? You've done this twice now. Fucking hell, come on. I really want to kick her in her fucking shins. Fuck. Bounce back, ladies, we got it. So I'm going to start again with my shellfish. While Ashley tries cooking with heat, over in the blue kitchen, it's getting hotter by the minute. You guys, we have guests in the kitchen. As world famous burlesque star, Dita Von Teese is seated at the chef's table. So this is the boys' kitchen. You're like, I just had a beef wellington. <laughs> That's Dita Von Teese. It's just like, oh. Eddie, 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 come here. Chef tables arrived, welcome them in and out. 30 seconds in, get the fuck out of there, let's go. Good evening, ladies. Welcome Hello. tonight. How are you? Hi. My name is Eddie. I will be waiting on you tonight. Yeah. Oh, my God, she's beautiful. <sighs> I got this. I must say that the risotto and the capellini are probably two of the best appetizers. Oh, really? This would be more interesting if they were shirtless. <laughs> Eddie, I said 30 seconds in. I'm not getting the phone number. Let's go. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Don't spook them. Remember, you gotta be gentlemen in here tonight. We got ladies here. Lamb to the past, chef. Let's go. As the blue team starts to burn their way through appetizers. This is very good. It's out of this world. Oh, I'm sure. The red team is slipping behind. Ladies, chef, yes. blue team are on their fourth table of appetizers, and we've got fuck all out. And as their VIP guests file in. Ladies, our guests are arriving at the chef table. Keeping up with the appetizers takes on a whole new meaning. Chris Jenner, she looked fabulous. Her shoes. Everything. Everything, her shoes. Ladies, Hi. welcome. How are you, my darling? Good. You look gorgeous. Mwah. Welcome, and Mwah. congratulations to the cookbook. Thank you. It looks amazing. Dude, I was totally blinded by Kris Jenner's smile. Chef's table, yes? Yes, chef. One risotto, one pizza, one lamb. Yes, yes chef. chef. I'll start the risotto. Risotto, I got it. Let's go. I'm not even looking up, because right now, she is the only person I care about. Ashley, walk with this. Hey, 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 hey. All of you, come here. This is a risotto for Chris Jenner. Taste it, all of you. Need salt, Taste chef. that. Salt, chef. I, 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 I'm, I've got nowhere to go now. I swear to God. Hey, young lady. Yes, chef. Is this a stitch up? No, not at all, chef. Did you taste that risotto? I, yes. Uh, young lady, are you serious? It's like you don't care. Chris Jenner has just bought out a fucking cookbook. If you don't care, then go home. Yay. I'm going to make it awesome this time, all right? 
Oh my God, like I'm just so stupid. Walking risotto. I can't believe I didn't season my risotto. Stupid. Yummy. We're gonna taste right. it, that's exciting. Thank you. With the chef's table finally receiving its appetizers. This is amazing. The red team is back on track. Enjoy. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen. Fork up the table 12 to tuna to chicken. Yes, chef. Yeah. Chef Ramsay is firing the first entrees of the night. How long, Kevin? Kevin, how long? One minute, chef. Why are you talking to your team? He's not even counting down. He's not even with it. You got your sauce? Yep. Get your sauce in the boat. Come on, fast, fast, fast. My main focus in tonight's dinner service is to make sure that Kevin had everything under control on meat. You guys going to the pass with two tuna? Right here. I got two sauce going to the pass. It's all about working as a team. Keep communicating, keep working. With Hassan driving the blue team. Remember, on your right, chef. We're doing great so far. The men are sending a steady stream of entrees out to their diners. Table 30, yes? It's amazing. Meanwhile, the women have hit their stride on appetizers. Come on, ladies, we got this. And are ready to move on. First entree, two chicken to Wellington. Yes, yes chef. chef! Jackie, you got your chicken working? Sorry, all right, all right, don't worry about it. Drop that shit. Chicken and Wellington cook at the same time. Your chicken down? Do you want me to poach it now? Yeah, as soon as the order comes in. If you put in a Wellington and there's a chicken on order, drop the chicken at the same time. She is not worried. How long, Jackie? Six minutes, chef. You need rest time for the chicken if you think about it by the time. Yeah, 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 I got you. Meat is, it, it's not that hard. Walk in with chicken. Did Meese walk with the garnish yet? Yes. Chicken chef. Go. Pink fucking chicken. Oh, fuck me. All of you, come here. All of you. Is the chicken out oh, there in trouble? Pink fucking chicken. Oh, man. My fault, guys. Who sliced that? I did. And you can't see that's pink? Very slightly pink. Listen, would I have really sold that chicken? Yeah. Get it back in the oven. Why are we staring at it? Jackie's not as good as a cook as she thinks, and there is no place for her in Chef Ramsay's kitchen, and I'll tell you that right now. Her days are numbered. Refire. We're refiring everything. With the red team completely stalled by Jackie's pink chicken, in the blue kitchen. Go, Eddie. Yes, chef. Entree, you serve for the chef table. Let's go. Dita Von Teese is ready for Eddie. Here you are. Thank you. You guys are going to go crazy over this tuna. Some of the best I've ever had in my life. I'm the pole with the soul. I'm the man with the plan. I brought the food, and I'm that cool dude. What can I say? This is who I am. This is what I do. Ladies, enjoy your dinner. I may not be able to read words or do math, but you know, I can read body language very well, and I was able to please Miss Fontese. <laughs> and yes, to me, this was technically somewhat of a date. It's good. Yeah. As Eddie enjoys his interpretation of an evening of romance over in the red kitchen. Okay, chicken ready. Yes, chef. Wow, let's go. Jackie's refired chicken has made its way to the dining room. It's so fresh, it feels really fresh to your mouth. Let's jump to a chef's table, please. Two tuna one Wellington. Yes, yes chef. chef. Two tuna, two minutes. Working. Mies, how long for the welly uh, garnish? Ugh. Just give me your time, Mies. It is very hard to run the garnish station when you do not communicate. Garnish, talk to me. Walk in with Wellington. Char is in, right? Walk in with tuna. Where's the garnish? I don't know, chef. What is she doing? The Wellington garnish is up, isn't it? Bitch, get control of your station. What are you doing? Go, go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go, go, go. Sorry. Come on, I'm trying to help you. <sighs> Meese. Yes, Chef. I don't want my guests eating on an installment plan. <laughs> he did not just say that. <laughs> Where's the mask? They're right here, Chef. You can leave them in the pot. We talked oh, about this. Okay. Leave them in the pot. Who put that on the tray like that? Peace. Hey, 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 hey. Chris, I'm so sorry. Hey, all of you, come here. Come here. Get it! I'm done. Oh. Are they grounded? We have a chef table in there tonight. Sat a meter away. And look how I get the mash. It's dumped on a fucking tray. I've been inside prison, and they serve food better than this shit. Like, we can't do this. Let's go, let's hey, go, let's go. Hey, blue team, yes, two on desserts. The rest of you, jump into the red team and help them finish now. Yes, yes sir. Sir. Now. 
Where are we I'm at? Sorry. Who's on fish? I'll help on fish. What do you got working? That's already reduced in here, right here. Are you kidding me that this fucking happened? It's fucking burnt. Throw it out. These boys just like bomb rushed our kitchen, kamikaze style, like fucking poop. As soon as those two tunas are ready, we'll go to the pass. Why are you screaming? I'm not screaming. This is how I talk. You guys need to listen to me because I'm awesome and I'm big and I'm blah, blah, blah. Shut up. Tuna going to the window. On your left, two fish. Good. OK, let's go. First ticket out, team. Love the teamwork, guys. With a very vocal Hassan leading the charge, the men have taken over the red kitchen. And I have your tuna. It smells so good. Delivering entrees to the chef's table and grateful customers in the dining room. This was definitely worth the wait. Last table now, two Arctic char, four Wellington. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go, guys. I'm walking char. Her. She's got the wellies walking, walking right behind, behind you. you. Service, please. Oh, it's so delicious. All right, guys, let's clear it down. Please thank the gentleman for finishing your service two nights in a row. Thank you, guys. No problem. Fucking pathetic ass shit. Bullshit ass team. Worst team ever. Line up, ladies, quickly. Line up. First of all, I definitely did not expect to be in this position again with you. We're a fucking embarrassment. Get up to the door and start thinking about two people that your team would be better off without. Am I clear? Yes, yes. sir. And try for the first time working as a fucking team. Now get out. It's morning at Hell's Kitchen, and the blue team is starting the day with confidence, determination, and a new leader. I feel confident about tonight. I feel like tonight's the night, boys. I'm sick of losing, and I, I think I can make us win. The three front uh, Wellingtons, make sure you use those first. Yes, chef. Brad spoke up and said he was going to lead the team. We'll see how he does. Meanwhile, the women are feeling the pressure to continue their winning streak. You guys are supremely focused, right? That's right, chef. You ever do a creme brulee, Julia? No, ma'am. You know what that is, right? Oh, no. I'm worried that Julia may fall short. She doesn't know the product. She never knows what anything is. There is no room for error. We have to win. In just moments, the doors to Hell's Kitchen will open. The men prepare for dinner service a man down. And Chef Ramsay must deliver the bad news that Aaron won't be returning to Hell's Kitchen. Hello. This is Aaron. Aaron, it's Gordon. How are you? Hey, Chef Ramsay, how are you? I'm very, very well indeed. But listen, more importantly, how are you? I'm honored that you're calling me. I can't believe it. Don't be silly. Listen, I am so, so sorry that you're not feeling better. Chef Ramsay, I've, I've worked all this time to come to this point to work for you. I really appreciate you trying damn hard to get back here. But the bad news is you have a serious illness, the doctor's orders. You cannot come back into this kitchen. Alrighty then. Best wishes. Get yourself better. Bye bye, Anne. Bye bye. Bye. I feel disappointed. I mean, I've worked almost 40 years in a kitchen to for what? I guess I'm coming home. Bit of bad news, yes. Unfortunately, having just spoken to Aaron, he's sick, but he will not be returning to Hell's Kitchen. Do you think you could do without him, blue team? Yes, yes, chef. yes chef. Anyone there going to take control? Yes, chef. Who is it? Brad, chef. Brad's taking control of the blue team. Yes, chef. Thank God for that. Blue team. Yes, yes sir. Yes, chef. One slight problem in the dining room this evening. We're low on water. You lost the challenge. So when that delivery arrives, move your backside and get that water. Yes, yes chef. chef. Yeah. Move, yeah? Let's go, yes? Yes, chef. OK, Jeffy. Open Hell's Kitchen, let's go. On order, listen up. Six covers, table 20. Two risotto, two scallops, one spaghetti, one mullet. Yes, yes chef. chef. Come on, Rock, please. 
fucker I should be working there. I guess we're stuck in there. It's not an omelette, it's no, no, no. You don't toss a fucking risotto. He was on me early. He was in my face and I just kept on cooking. Now you're acting like a big fucking donkey. Tell me one thing. Hey, open your eye. Hello. I can't open my... Yes. You can't open your I'm eye. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. You know, I sweat a lot and it gets in my eyes. If I don't have time to wipe it, I just close it like this. Yeah, another whimp. Uh, no, no, I got an arrow. No, yeah. wimpy, I'm good. Hey, I'm good. Feeling dizzy? No, I'm good. Uh, no. Medic, medic. I'm all right. Don't stay with hey, that, medic. Get Rock some tissues, please, yeah? He's got ointment in his eye. No tissue. I'm good, chef. Fuck me. On order, three covers, table 41. One risotto, one scallop, one spaghetti, a crab. Yes, yes chef. chef. Thank you. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I finally get my time to shine because appetizers is my chance to leave. Risotto. Up now. Joanna. Yes, Chef. Taste it. Quickly. OK. Come on, taste it. Let's go. It's soft, it's salty. Yes, and it's just, it's crap. Yes, Chef. Yeah. Risotto, scallop, spaghetti, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Start again. Yes, Chef. While the red team suffers a setback with Joanna's risotto, the blue team has a chance to impress Chef Ramsay with their first appetizers. Rock, where's the risotto? On the line, Chef. I want to taste it. Rock. Yes, Chef. Very nice, that risotto. Thank you. Rock knows he's the leader. The problem is that Chef Ramsay doesn't know Rock is the real leader, and uh, this will be a great time for me to prove it to him. Let's go. Yes, JP. I'm running out of water. Running out of water? Fucking hell. Right, Josh. Yes, Chef. Let's go. Water, quickly, let's go. Water, yes, Chef. Go see JP. Move. Chef Philippe. Yes. Water delivery, please. It's the white truck, which is just in front of us. Thank you. It's not even that the case of water is that heavy, but after the 2,400 pounds of potatoes and onions. Oh. Ah. Fuck you. 45 minutes into dinner service, Josh is returning with the water delivery. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, Bonnie and Joanna are trying once again to get out their first appetizers. Who's cook? Who? I did the scallop, Chef. What's wrong? What's wrong? Are they raw? Oh, come on. Fucking hell. You just asked me, are they raw? Why didn't you tell me what the fuck they are? They're raw, Chef. Fuck off. Guys, I'm back. Four minutes, we're ready. One scallop, one mullet, two langoustine. We ready? Four minutes. Four minutes, I'm with you, Rock. No problem. Good, good. Yeah, Fuck yeah. me. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, this is the first time I've heard you. Yes, Chef. I've never seen you move so fast. Let's go. Service. I don't know what you guys have done or whatever, but you're standing like a team. You're cooking like a team. We sent two orders. Don't start wetting your pants. While things are looking up for the blue team, the red team is making its third attempt at their first appetizers. Risotto, scallop, spaghetti. Are we there? Yes, yes chef. Through the window. Is your spaghetti ready? Yes. Plating it up right now. Hey, Missy, is that crab high to you? Anyone else smell that? Where's the crab? Oh, Marianne. Smell that. Hey, you, don't you fucking dare. Come here, you. Hello. Yes. Oh, God. Can you not smell that? The crab is off. It's fucking rancid! How can you do that? I didn't smell the crap, so. I can't believe Joanna had been using it. I mean, it just made you sit up and go, whoa. We sent one out already? No, Chef, we Thank haven't. God for that! You'll kill someone! Hey, get off! Get off! Julia, yes, take chef. over. Yes, Chef. Shall I recommend something no, else? No, fuck recommend. Yeah, recommend a new restaurant. One hour into dinner service, not a single plate of food has left the red kitchen, and the customers are starting to get restless. No whim? The appetizers are coming at all or no? While on the other side of the room, over half of the blue diners are enjoying their appetizers. Mm. Oh, you definitely got to try this somewhere. Scallops, risotto, spaghetti. Yes, chef. Where's the other portion of scallops? Right here, chef. Come in. Ten seconds. Come on, come on, Vin. Come on, Vin. They already eat. Where's the other scallop? Right here in my hand. Hey, hello. Come here, donkeys. Here we go. We started. Come here. What is that? It's all right. What is that? What, what is that? What is that? Fuck off, will you? Fuck off. OK? He slammed that shit right in Benny's 
chest. And then he tensed up and he was about to buck. And all I could think was, oh my God, do not lose your head. Fuck off! Hey, why'd you let it go when you know it's not fucking ready? I screwed up again, chef. Uh, hey, hey, look at me now. You've now just confirmed in my mind you're not trustworthy, so fuck you. It's tough to bite your tongue. I just figured, take it. It's the only way to win. You'll be all right. Start the fucking table again. While customers in the blue dining room continue to wait for entrees, Where's our food at? customers in the red dining room are finally receiving their appetizers. It's an hour and a half risotto. It better taste good. Thanks to Julia and Jen. Julia, what you got in here is enough for two orders, OK? OK. I'm going to toss this other one. Away next, scallop risotto spaghetti, yes? Ladies, spaghetti. Oh, you need more spaghetti, Julia? No, oh, I fucking just tossed it. Let me just fucking get it. I'll get it, I'll get it. We had an order for spaghetti, and I threw out what we had. When I decided to retrieve the spaghetti from the top of the garbage and washed it. 212 kills the bacteria, and then I decided to serve it. Where'd you get it from? The garbage on the top. Oh, no, no, no. No way. Who in the world picks food out of the trash? You can't just do anything in the heat of the moment. How long, Julia? Six minutes, chef. Oh, dear. Julia's quality control kept garbage from being served. And Jen should consider herself lucky Chef Ramsay didn't witness her mistake. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen, the pressure is on Josh and Brad to get out some entrees. Let's do two Wellington, one turbo. Let's go. Josh, you hear that? I'm going on two Wellingtons. Can you, I need you guys to go. That's not a problem. How long on the Wellington? I can go right now. No, I can't. You can't? I need to pull this out then. Hey, Josh! Wait, yes, Chef. You fucking little bastard. Hey, are you just trying to sabotage them? No way, so Chef. So it makes you look good? No way, Chef. Who's the first person you should be telling? I should talk to him, Chef. I should talk to me, Station. That was my fault, Chef. No sabotage. I wasn't trying to sabotage you. Are you crazy? You deserve a kick in the nuts. Yes, Chef. Hey, start the fucking table again. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Two hours into dinner service, the red team has finally served all their appetizers. Away next. One vegetable plate, one Wellington. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. But can we get some main courses out? Yes, yes chef. chef. Jen, how long in the Wellington? Let me check. Give me five minutes, OK? Come on, guys. Don't lose it out. In the blue kitchen, the men are still working on their first entrees. Two Wellington, two squab, one Wellington, requested rare. Yes, chef. Let's go. Let's go. So two Wellington, one is rare. Three yep. Brad, two minutes. Yes, no, go in two minutes and 45 seconds. Hold on, hold on. There's someone being dishonest. Lift the bottom of the Wellington over. Oh, come on. You give me them, anemic bits of shit, I'll fucking throw them up your ass sideways. Where's your fucking brain? I just cannot believe this. Can we have the two main causes together? Shit! Oh. Brad has burned his Wellingtons and brought the blue kitchen to a standstill. Now, Chef Ramsay is counting on the red team to get entrees out to their hungry diners. They're all fucking done. They're all done. Well, they're all sitting here. What am I going to do? Apps got so far behind. By the time we got to entrees, all my Wellingtons were overcooked. It was terrible. Where's the Wellington? How long? My Wellingtons are going to be overdone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, come on. I'm not waiting another minute for my main course. 17 on order, and you've got three to send. We're 14 short. You, you don't want to stay a bit longer? Yeah. Chef, they're, they're all walking out. Table 11, 12, 14. From both sides, Chef. Stop. Come here. Hey, hello, Chef. Sabotage. Your tables are now getting up and leaving. Fuck off, will you, yeah? Fuck off. Get out. Get out! It's moments before Hell's Kitchen opens for steak night. Oh, my god. Medic. What's what happened? I just burnt my hand. And the women have suffered a big casualty. What happened? Oh, my god. Oh. What happened? Can we get burnt bed? Oh, my gosh. Clemenza, take her to the medic. Yes, yeah, chef. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, shh, shh, Is come on. she going to be all right? Come on, don't give up. I am worried about Kimmy. I hate to see her like this, and I hate that this is happening to her right now. And we need her in the kitchen, so I'm hoping that she's OK. So this just now happened right yeah, here, right yeah. now? Yeah. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. Let's go. 
It hurts so bad. How did you manage to burn yourself all the way up there? What are you know. doing? I'm grabbing the pants. Okay, breathe. Just breathe while I do this. The good news is it's only a burn. My hand hurts like hell, but this is not the end for me. I'm here to win this competition, so I am not giving up. Just a real quick, I know you want to get back out there. Good luck. Thank you. Get that one dry. Hey, you OK, Kimmy? Yeah, I'm good. Yay, Kimmy. Proud of Kimmy. She came back with like a two-inch burn on her hand. She's fighting back. That's some dedication. You go, girl. Everyone's like, go, Kimmy. Are you kidding me? She's a baby. She is a cry baby. Uh, ladies, let's go. Yes, chef. Kimmy, concentrate. Yes, chef. I'm about to bounce back. I know I can do this, burnt hand or not. I'm going to rock out on this meat station. You got this, girl. James. Yes, chef. Open steak night in Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Yes, chef. Delighted to. It's steak night at Hell's Kitchen and family night as well. Tonight's special menu features a ribeye steak with fingerling potatoes and sautéed spinach topped with a fried egg, a grilled hanger steak served with truffle fries and herbed compound butter, and Justin's challenge-winning filet mignon. And for the young diners, there's also a kid's menu. You ready, honey? I'm going to have the ravioli. Cheeseburger. 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 All right. As a special treat, each child will also receive a mini pizza appetizer. I wonder if the blue will win or the red. Here we go. Six covers table 31. Two children, two pizzas, fire. Yes, chef. Yes. Two smoked salmon, two shrimp cocktails. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Let's go, ladies. Yes, chef. And blue team, two covers table 21. One wedge salad, two pizza. Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, chef. Two pizzas coming. I come from New York City, and let me tell you something. I grew up in a pizzeria, so got a little experience, to say the very least. Look at it. In all honesty, I was kind of enjoying myself. Coming right now, chef. Come on, Clemenza. Great pizzas. Service, please. Let's go. Pizza's out. Oh. While the bambinos on the blue side are already enjoying Clemenza's pizza, young diners on the red side have been left waiting. There's a lovely little lady there waiting for her pizza. Come on, Tiffany. Yes, chef. You're so slow. Yes, chef. I really hate cooking for children. Kids don't know what fine dining is, so their opinions really don't matter to me. It's burnt. Look. Just cut that part off. Who gives a shit? I really don't like kids at all. Pizza, how long? Coming right now, chef. Come on, please. Yes, chef. The idea of the pizza be served first. This side's all right, but like, I don't want to eat that. It's for kids. Fuck me. Stop. Yes, chef. Now we're sending burnt pizza, not crispy and delicious. Fucking burnt. Burnt with bits of shit in there. What is going on? All of you, get a grip. Yes, yes chef. chef. Ow. Hit me in the head. Ow. The more I work with Tiffany, the more I wonder why she's a chef. She doesn't care. So I'm getting the station back on track. One pizza urgently, please. Yes, chef. Here's your next pizza. Uh Let's go, ladies. Yes, yes chef. Hi. I got it. I fucking hate the stupid look she gives to people. I can't stand it no more. I've just had it with Marvie's attitude. Like, she thinks she's fucking God or something. Pizza's coming out. Here you go. Pizza chef. Thank you so much. Table 50, please. Let's go. Get off your fucking high horse. You're not good at cooking. Like, oh, I fucking hate her. One more pizza. Pizza coming, chef. Let's go. While Barbie steps up to save Tiffany's pizza station. Pizza's in. On the blue side. Let's go, blue team. Four covers away, table 20. Two wedge salad, two smoked salmon. Yes, chef. It's now up to Brian on appetizers to keep the positive momentum going. Let's go. Get those blinis up. Get the blinis on first. I'll huh? make the plate. Get the blinis on. All right, all right. Don't worry. Super caballito está aquí. Cucinando más rápido. My style in the kitchen is very light. I do a lot of voices all the time, and the guys love it. Ah, donde estas mis pantalones? Just shut the fuck up, man. It's not even funny, honestly. Brian, tell me when you're a few away, man. Todo tiempo necesita hablando con todos los otras personas aquí en la línea. What? I, what the fuck did he just say? I have no idea. Brian's an annoying kind of fucking dude. Dos hamburguesas sin queso, por favor. I had enough of his bullshit. Either shut your fucking pie hole and learn how to communicate. 
I always wanted to make Bellinis, ever since I was a little boy. Smoke salmon. Answer them. Smoke salmon. Smoke salmon. Coming right now, chef. I've got Bellinis. Bellinis, ready. Don't make the Bellinis too small. They can't layer anything on there. Can you make some more? Make some more. How can you sit something on that size? Look. The chef. The it chef. needs to be there. Yes, chef. I got to make new, uh, new Bellinis, so give me a sec. Eight Bellinis away. We're making something so simple look so difficult. Yes, chef. Stay with it, Brian. Concentrate. Brian, pay attention, please. Keep making Bellinis. Let's go. Blip, blip. The flavors are really nice. Oh. Unbelievable. Oh, just fucking shut up, Brian. Hey, I've got one big imitation. Yes, chef. Try imitating being a fucking chef for two minutes. Yes, chef. Yes? Yes. Brian, how long? It's ready, chef. Give it to me, then, you fucking idiot. Yes, chef. Coming right now. Keep Smoke sand. OK, not so sloppy either, Brian. Yes, chef. Fuck off, Brian, yeah? Yes, chef. Seriously, enough's enough. While I like your funny side, I want to see your serious side yes, now. Yes, chef. Oh, fuck off. Yes, chef. I got it, chef. Fuck me. Unbelievable. While Brian tries to get serious, over in the red kitchen, Tiffany. I got your bellinis working right now. Is attempting to redeem herself on appetizers. Two smoked salmon, two shrimp cocktail. How long? We're waiting on the bellinis. Thirty seconds, chef. Come on, Tiffany. You're gonna speed up a little bit then. It's like you're fast asleep on there. Yes, chef. About twenty seconds, chef. Tiffany just has no respect for the food. I don't think they're gonna take that. Yeah. Who cares, Dana? Let's go. She doesn't care about anything. The only thing that I have seen her passionate about in Hell's Kitchen is a cigarette. Some cocktail's done. I'm dragging two smoked salmon. Bring it up right away. Let's go. Walking, walking. Right behind. Two smoked salmon. Hey, ladies, all of you, come here. Come here. The secret of a good kitchen, a good chef, is consistency. Yes, yeah, chef. What is this? You can't give me one perfect one. I'm one shit one. That's my fault, hey. chef. Oh, Tiffany. Fuck off, ladies, yeah? Come on, Tiffany. Can more than one of you start making bleeding? Yes, Chef. I'll start oh, making bleeding. Can someone start leading a little bit? Yes, Chef. I got it. Once again, it's pandemonium. So, OK, I'll fix it. I'm about there with bleeding. I just can't take it anymore. Like, I don't want help. Barbie thinks she runs this place. I've just had it. Two smoked salmon coming. Here you go. Service, please. Two smoked salmon. Go, 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 go. Nice. Very good. Yes, chef. Very nice indeed. Perfect leany chef. OK. God. Had it with a fucking attitude. All right, all right, guys. Barbie steps up once again, and red diners are enjoying their appetizers. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the blue team, Clemenza. It's coming. Justin. That's the first order of Bellinis. And Brian. Bellinis will be up in three seconds, man. Have hit their stride. Behind you, chef. And appetizers are flying out of the kitchen. Hey, blue team, the appetizers are rolling out. Now we're hitting the entrees. Let's go. Three fillet, three ribeye. Yes, yes chef. chef. It's time to start showing Chef Ramsay a mean business. It's steak night, and this is what Gordon Ramsay's steak in Las Vegas is all about. So I'm bringing energy, stamina, passion, drive, commitment, and team. Chef, everybody's on your right. Right behind you with the garnish. No sir. Different color on there. Well, look at it. It's like boiled meat. Oh, fuck off, guys. All of you, come here. Look at the meat. No sear, just like boils. Where's the sear? I get it right, Chef. Tonight is steak night. Let's go, yes, Chef. While Patrick refires his ribeyes. Oh, brother. Over in the red kitchen. Oh, wait now, two filet, two hanger steak. Yes, yes, Chef. Let's go. It's now up to Kimmy on meat and Robin on the grill to get entrees moving out of the red kitchen. Two filet, what was the other one? Two filet, two hanger, right? Yes. Two filet, two hanger? Yes. All right, I was making sure you, you don't need to scream, Robin. Robin is acting crazy as fuck right now. I honestly think she's still holding the grudge from the challenge about that fucking ribeye. Kimmy, let me know when you're walking, OK? Sure will. Kimmy, I'm cunning, OK? Yeah, I'm slicing, dude. Can I walk? Uh, give me just one second. Can I walk? Damn it. You guys, how long? Two minutes, chef. Two minutes. On one. These steaks are fucking huge. It's not my fault. It's not my fault, dude. Really? Kimmy, she doesn't know what she's fucking doing. Fucking bitch. Running! All right, running! I got it, I got it. Bitch. Oh. You all right with that? No, nowhere near it. Oh, Jesus. Here we go, it's going down. Kimmy's gonna get yelled at. This is gonna be fun, folks. Get the popcorn, because it's about to get good. All of you! Yes, yeah, Chef. Come here. Hey, look, 
We can't even get steak cooked. It's badly sliced. Who did what here? Kimmy, Robin, look at me. Who done it then? I did the filets. I cut the steak, chef. Look at the way it's sliced. It's like being cut with a spoon. It's not even sliced there. And then next to it, where's the filet? That's cooked beautifully. Sliced beautifully. Hell yeah! I knew my shit was right. Robin is fucking up, and I'm just Al Shiner. I got one up right now. Much up, guys. How much simpler do I have to make it? Yes, chef. I need, can I get a uh, slice of knife, please? Killing me, man. While Kimmy and Robin start over on their first table of entrees, in the blue kitchen, Patrick is desperate to impress with his refired ribeyes. Going up to the pass. Behind you. Behind you, chef. I start off rough with under-seared steaks. I know I'm making mistakes, but I know I have it in me. I know I'm a special chef. Finally, hello. That's the way to sear me. There you Thank go. you, chef. Woo, I'm so happy. I got this now. I'm back on track. Service, please. Blue team, away, table 22, yeah? Concentrate. Chief fillet one hang a steak. Yes, chef, four minutes. Royce doesn't even answer. Three fillet one hanger. Tell yes, chef. Fillet one hanger. Three fillet one hanger. One more time. Three fillet one hanger. One more time. Three fillet one hanger. One more time. Three fillet one hanger. I got two minutes on mine. Yeah, give me three minutes. Three minutes, chef. On, on what? Two fillet, one hanger. Oh, my I'm gonna, God. I'm gonna, I, I, three fillet, sorry. I, oh. Three fillet, one hanger. Hey, you. Hey, fuck with. Hey, come here, you. Fuck. Hey, you. You, from me. Let's go. Yes. Patrick. Fuck off. Ah, oh, fuck me. Fuck. Hey, outside, get some fresh air. Fuck off. Ah, <laughs> uh, I yelled two, like an idiot. It's a stupid bonehead move, and I, I can't fucking believe, with all my experience, I fuck up like that. I can't believe it. I can't. I know I've made my mistakes in the kitchen, but I do not quit, and I'll always fight. I can get this right. Chef, may I come back to the kitchen? Get on there, you. Yes, Chef. What's going? Three fillet, one hanger. There you go. How long on that hanger? They're coming out right now. With Patrick back in the game on the meat station, over in the red kitchen. Walking with filet. Hangers walking up. Robin is ready with her hanger refire, and the red team is praying that it is worthy of being sent out by Chef Ramsay. Nice. Very good. Service, please. Here we go. On order three cover table 64. Ribeye, Ludemere, filet. Yes, yes chef. chef. The red team is ready to move on to their second table, and Chef Ramsay. Can you ladies pick it up at all? Is hoping that the red kitchen has finally found their rhythm. Hold on. I'm ready to slice. I'm ready with the fish. Okay, run. Yeah, go. Behind, running now. Are you fucking serious? What's the matter, girl? It would have been information that would have been useful fucking a minute ago. Hey, I need. Uh, I just need a minute, Christina. I'm with you. You just told me to run. She just told me to run the fish up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You have to talk to her and talk also, Robin. But she just heard it. It said run. I didn't hear your garnish, Robin. Christina. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm with you. When are you going to be ready, babe? 45 seconds 45 on. 45 seconds. Yes, thank you. window hurt. Oh, my god. My fish is dying. You know what? You can go fuck yourself, because now I know where we stand. This is where the sabotage starts. Christina, how long, baby? You ready? Yes. Go with sauce. Walk with sauce. Filet ribeye. Honestly, it gets fucking worse. All of you, come here. Just touch that fish there. Just touch how dry. It's got more fucking wrinkles on it than I have, and I'm 44 years of age. And that should be fucking cooked fresh. He's not gonna yell at us, he's yelling at one of the chefs. How long ago did you cook that? Three minutes ago. Three minutes ago? Yes, chef. That's fresh, three minutes ago, touch. That shit is nasty. I took it all three minutes ago and I covered it. So, again, right. when did you cook it? Seven minutes ago then. Oh, seven minutes ago? Well, I took it out three minutes ago, so four minutes for it to cook, so seven minutes ago, chef. Yeah, maybe 17 minutes ago. <laughs> You've got to be out of your fucking mind to, to a lot of Chef Ramsey because he knows. He's not stupid. What's going on with the fish, Kimmy? I got to refire it. Three minutes. Get rid of that shit. I wouldn't even feed that to my fucking cat. While the women start over on entrees. Fuck off, Robin. Their hungry diners grow hungrier. Where's the dinner? <laughs> what time is it? 
Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen, the men are looking to rally once again. But first, Chef Ramsay has a little quiz for Patrick. What's going? Three filet, one hanger. I want this table coming together at the same fucking time. Yes, Chef. Yes, Got chef. it? Yes, Chef. Chef Ramsay is all over Patrick right now. All right, get your head back in the game. Let's go. But I think that's because he sees a lot in him. Beautiful, Patrick. That's beautiful, man. Got a slice. I come back in with the fire. I'm like, I'm going to nail this shit. We got a few more tables left to go. I'm not giving up. I know I've got all my steaks working. Let's go. Come on. We can't lose it now. Ah, oh, fuck me. Chef, walk into the pass with two filet. I put three steaks up, and the last one was fucking rare. Chef, honey, I have two. I'm bringing back one more in 30 seconds. Yeah. Fucking hell, no. I've got two filet here. Please I'm come. I'm coming up right now, Chef. I also at the same time. Where's the filet? It's not there. Right now, Chef. Oh, fucking hell. I know I'm in trouble. I'm shitting in my pants right now. I got a 50-50 chance I'm going to get my ass handed to me. Chef Filet. It's fucking raw. Hey. Yes, yeah, Chef. Come here, you. Is that what you served me today? No, Chef. <sighs> Fuck. Ah, uh, Chef, I'm sorry. It's raw. Not good. Not fucking good. It's raw? Get out! Fuck. Really? Fuck! Patrick was uh, in his head tonight, and he just couldn't seem to bounce back. He was cooking scared tonight. I'm sorry, girls. I'm sorry, honey. I keep letting my family down. <sighs> I'm sorry. And it's very frustrating because they have so much faith in me, and they were so proud of me to go here and fulfill the dream. And I'm blowing it. I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. Chef Filet coming at you right now, Chef. Here's your Filet, Chef. Service, please. Justin has come to the rescue, and beautifully cooked steaks are once again making their way out to the dining room. It's really good. Go on Team Blue. Go on Team Blue. Meanwhile, all the red team needs to get their second table of entrees out is for Robin and Kimmy to work together. How long? A minute. Kimmy and Robin need to pull their shit together or we're going to be screwed. How long on the loo and the filet? How A minute. A minute, Christina. Yes, a minute. Chef. I just kissed it, so we're walking 30 seconds, 30 seconds fast. Yes? Yes. Yeah, I'm just waiting to slice, dude. Slice it. I'm not ready to slice it yet. I got it. I'm not ready to slice but it. But you said a minute, Kimmy, and that's a minute. Fucking get me all off of my fish. Hey, you three, come here. What's going on? Come here. What's going on? She said two minutes, so then I... It's resting. It's resting. So then you said a minute and a half. So then... Right, and I'm going to slice at a minute because this is But a minute's past already. My fish is dying because a minute's really two minutes. No, it's not, dude. I'm counting. All right, I'm wrong. Yeah, you are. This I'm time. not wrong. Wow. Can you get it together? Fucking bitch. He's really starting to piss me off. Service, please. Despite their constant bickering, somehow Robin and Kimmy get it right, and entrees are leaving the kitchen. Really good. Very nice. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen. Two new demand, two hang of steak. Yes, 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 chef. Let's go. Chef Ramsay is counting on Royce on the grill to keep up the pace. Two new demand, two hanger. Yes, chef. Three minutes. I'm very good at cooking steak. I definitely feel that I'm the Rolls Royce of cooking. I, no, I, I, I got two hangers going up now. Make sure it's cooked correctly, OK? I'm really good at meat temperatures. You just see how it cooks. You just, you're in one with the meat. You melt with it. It's fucking raw. All of you, come here. All of you. Yes, chef. A hanger steak, raw and perfect. I knew it was too good to be true. Are hey, you, Rolls Royce? Fuck off! Why the fuck would he kick me out for nothing? I pushed all my shit out perfect until one table. I mean, come on. I don't get why he never gives me one extra chance. With Royce and Patrick sidelined in the dorm, the remaining members of the blue team... Coming up. Clemenza, you OK? I'm ready. Anytime you want, I'm ready. ...push to complete dinner service. Go on and shop, guys. Right in the window right now, chef. Let's do this. What's the next one? Meanwhile, over in the red kitchen... You're not even communicating, Kim. Your minutes are not minutes. Yeah, it is. I know no. how to count. Do you? The women continue to serve up just as much attitude as food. Two hand steak, two new demand, one ribeye, one cheeseburger. Yes, chef! Kimmy, let me know when we're going to walk together, OK? 
Did you hear me, Kimmy? Oh my God, Robin, just stop talking to me, for real. Oh, uh, girl, don't even go there with me. Oh my gosh. We need to work as a team, and you can't do that because you have a personal problem with me. Good, I have a personal problem with you. I cannot stand your fucking ass. Fuck me. My team is like a freaking anchor on a ship, and we are just going down. Cheeseburger, right, right here. Can okay? I get the French fries no, for cheeseburger? because I have time on the French fries. Can, Can you shut up and it? stop fucking yelling at me? I am sick of the yelling. You want to talk? Talk. Do stop. not yell. Oh my god, I can't. Look at you all. What a sad situation. Oh Jesus. Blue team. Yes, chef. Blue team. Yes, chef. Come here. Who needs you. it? Just Where are we at? on the fish. Yes, chef. You. On the I'm meat. Behind. Let's go. Chef Ramsay does not need to put the blue team in our kitchen. It's embarrassing. You know, obviously, at that point, that the red team has lost tonight. I don't need any fucking help, dude. Right now, I don't need nothing. Oh my god, I don't need anything. I, I'm cool. I understand. I don't need. These are my fish pans. Leave my fish alone. Talk to me, somebody, anybody. What do you need? I got her here listening to me. Dude, who fucking cares? Just cook. They're all yelling and screaming and arguing and oh, holy shit. It is chaos. Her count on the ribeye for the second check is what fucked up my fish. Just shut the fuck up and cook. Hey, oh hey, my hey. god, I can't. There's kids in the diner. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Hey, Dude, you guys pull it together. How long in the ribeye? Ribeye three minutes. Fucking stupid dumb bitch. You gotta go back because the plays that you fucked up. Yeah. Maybe your count's fucked up. Fucking cry baby she is. How long? Behind, running now. Walking right behind. Hangers are up. They're up, okay. Yes. The check is up. Hey, 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 all, just stop. Come here, all of you. Just touch them. Put your hand on top. Put your hand on, put your hand on top. I'm pulling it on, on top. top. I need to get over there. On top. Stone cold. Red team, you, 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 you. Fuck off. Get out. This is absolutely unreal to me. We had such great momentum up till this day, and now it's all down the toilet. The two fish, I told, was told five minutes, so I fired them. The meats were off on the counts. I am so livid right now. Oh my God, all hell is gonna break fucking loose. My fish were dry because of Miss Paul. Fucking over it, dude. I'm over it. I'm so tired of her bitching. It's just too much. It literally drives me nuts. I'm so pissed. I can't even listen to her. I can't listen to her. Dude, you should go up and defend yourself, because your girl is throwing you under the bus right now. But the meats were off on the counts. If she knew she was going. But she didn't tell me. She wasn't communicating. Because when Kimmy works in the station, she doesn't communicate. So you throw me on the bus? I'm not throwing you on the bus. I'm telling you what I heard. Come on. I'll tell you exactly Come what on, I heard. Come on, tell me then. Come on. Kimmy, you better step the fuck back. Bitch, I ain't stepping nowhere. You think I'm scared of you? I'm not scared of you. You're throwing me under the bus. Cool, bitch. It's cool. true. You call me a fucking bitch today, and you want me to keep my mouth shut? It is so ghetto right now. Just shut up. You fucking talk to everyone like they're a fucking piece of shit. No, you call her a piece of shit, and you're fucking starting trouble like I threw underneath the fucking I bus. I started trouble? Did you or did you not just say that her two fucking yes. ribeyes? I did. OK. I'm not lying. That's it's not you. throwing no, anyone under the bus. she didn't lie to me. So you're throwing me under the bus. Yeah. Cool, bitch. It's cool. True. It's true. Cool. It's true. Do what you do, home slice, because I know ain't none of my it's goddamn true. steaks come back. How many fish came it's back true. for you? My two fuck fish you. came back because fuck of you. you. Go fuck yourself, fuck cheap you. What's funny is that Kimmy and Robin used to be BFFs, and now all of a sudden they're arch rivals. I'm so fucking done with you, dog. It's I'm been so done. fucking done. Keep with my you. friends close, enemies close. That's why I was keeping you close to me, Kimmy. Oh, oh, oh! There's no excuse for her to have called me a bitch when she was supposed to be my friend. You just said you keep your enemies closer, right? You just said we ain't friends, you right? You call me a fucking Fuck bitch. Fuck you. We you ain't call, friends. You call me a Fuck you. Kimmy and Robin, they've just been, um, you know, kind of going at it all night. Fuck you, we ain't friends. You call me a fucking bitch. Fuck oh, you. Like, the shouting and the name calling, all that. It's like, dude, like, shut up. Oh, Kimmy, suck my dick. While Robin offers Kimmy an interesting suggestion, back in the kitchen, it's up to Justin. Get that first one up. Brian. First noodle. And Clemenza. Thank you, safe. Coming out, chef. To complete dinner service for both teams. Service, please. This is really, really good. Is it really good? Yeah. Last table. Concentrate, guys. Two meatballs, one ribeye, one loup de mer. Yes, yes chef. chef. All right, let's go, guys. Ribeye. Yes, chef. Coming up. Got your sauce. 
Okay, get it up. Got Come on, I'm going Coming through. By you get that up, okay? Got it. Tonight, it was really tough, but Justin's strong, Clemenza's strong, I'm strong. So I'm really not surprised that we're the last three left. Let's go. Blue the mayor in the window. Pasta going right now. Table 10, please. This is so good that I want to come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Stoves off. Let's go. Shut it down. Ladies, Sterling, let's go. Line up. Gentlemen, line up, please. Let's go quick. Well, as you all know, tonight is Italian night. Tonight, there is a VVIP. We have guests from the Italian consulate, including the consulate general. We are not going to screw up that table. Blue team, do the appetizers for this table of five. Red team, the entree. Clear? Yes, yes chef. Tonight is all about confident cooking, right? Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's make it happen on the Italian night. Yes, chef. Good. Get on your stations. Let's go, guys. Mourinho. Yes, chef. Open house kitchen, please. Let's go. Yes, chef. Marcella. It's Italian night in Hell's Kitchen, and Chef Ramsay has created a special menu. Thank you. Featuring a chicken salt and bocca, a strip steak a la Fiorentina, Great order. Yes. and a tableside clam cipollini. The consistency is not too brothy. Served by Sade for the red team and Bryant for the blue. Massimo. Ah. Salute. Here we go. Blue team, let's go. Yes, Four covers table 22, two risotto, two cavatelli. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go, Steve. Come on, let's go. And snap into it quickly. Yes, chef. What the fuck am I cooking right now? Two risotto, two cavatelli, OK? Capolini or cavatelli? Two cavatelli, yes. Steve is in La La Land on hot apps. Get your ass into fucking high gear and fucking move on this now. Two cavatelli, one risotto working, yes? Yes, chef. Steve. Yes, chef. It's so slow. Where's the fire in your belly? You're not into it, are you? Yes, I am, chef. You're not into getting fast, are you? Hey, we'll go on Steve's time then, yeah? Any time. OK, no, chef. chef. You send it when you're ready, Mr. shit -off. Fuck me. Where's your head, dude? Come on, you only have three hot apps. Walking, walking. Let's go, then. Blue team. Yes, yes chef. chef. Taste that. Salty, oh. watery, not buttery. Look, and it's liquid. Separate from the fucking rice. Come on, fix it. Because this is embarrassing. It's only risotto. Yes, chef. While Steve refires his first risotto. Come on. Over in the red kitchen. Shallot drop for two risotto. Heard that. Jennifer on appetizers seems determined to get her team off to a strong start. Three minutes on risotto. Hey. I'm the only one that can get the kitchen off to a great start. You have scallop drop for two? Scallops yeah. are good to go. I'm walking in one minute. Walk in scallops. Heard that. One minute. I'm definitely feeling confident. I've been wanting to work hot apps for a while now. Scallops are coming out. 30 one seconds. Minute, Let's go. Chef. Yeah, I'm walking. Walking risotto. Yes. Risotto's perfect. I'm having a blast on a lot of especially risotto, because everyone fucks the risotto up around here. While Jennifer and the red team push out appetizers. Service, please. Back in the blue kitchen. Seven minutes and nothing's come out of this fucking kitchen. Yes, yes sir. Steve is almost ready with his second attempt on his first risotto. Going in 10 seconds, bro. 10 seconds, I can walk. Let's go, guys. Risotto. Walk it, walk it. Service, please. OK, table one. With appetizers finally leaving the blue kitchen. Thank you. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. It's now up to Bryant to keep up with his tableside clams. My name is Bryant. I'll be making a delicious clam chia pina for you. Hi, how are you? Hi, Bryant. Great. Yeah, Bryant. I consider myself a people person. I'm down to earth. I love conversating with people I don't know. I'll be making a mussel cipollini for you. I'm sorry, clam chip, uh, cipollini. Pardon me. Ah. Uh, this was more awkward than I had imagined. While Bryant tries to keep it cool and casual. They'll be right to you, nice and hot and fresh, just for you. <laughs> Sade is working hard to stay in sync with the stream of appetizers leaving the red kitchen. Walking up, a scallop. Cavatelli to the pasture. Thank you. Service, please. 
Hi. Clams? Yes, I have your clams. I am falling a little bit behind. From working table side by myself is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. How nervous are you right now? I'm a little nervous. I won't burn you, don't worry. And you are almost there. Oh my God, I am so sorry. Today. What's happening out there? Just give me one minute, I'll clean that up. As I begin to plate, the pan slips from my hand and drops on the floor. I am mortified. I apologize for the accident. Let, let, let us uh, clean it. Did you get hurt? Did you get burned? Let's go, guys. Pick it up. Hello. I, I didn't get to that table yet. That one dropped. I'm, I need time. Come on, Sade. Fucking table side is easy. Don't tell me hold back. I'm like, I ain't holding back shit, man. I'm going. Let's go. Be careful. You almost burned the guest, OK? As Sade refires the clams under the watchful eye of Marino. Sorry for the mishap. <laughs> Over in the blue kitchen, it's now up to Frank on meat to pick up the pace on entrees. Slow, slow starts. I know. I'm going to pick this up for you. Four cups of table 12, two chicken, two steak. Hey, okay, chef. chef. Let's go. I'm on meat. I'm excited about it. We have to show them how meat is really supposed to be cooked. Frankie, let me help you, bro. I'm good. I'm good. Over here. I'm down straight. I just need to get this pan hot. Come on, man. Like, you don't even know what the fuck's going on. You got two beautiful chickens? I got two gorgeous chickens. Hey, two chickens to steak, OK? Yeah, I'm ready with them, baby. Hot pan behind you. Chicken? Walk with the chickens. Go, go. Chicken sauce. Come on, chicken Walk garnish. The chicken. Go. Right here, chef. Right here. One or two chicken, chef. Fucking roll. I like to see that. No, no, no way. No, no way. No fuck way. No off. way. Stop. Hey, 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 hey. Wrong one. That's not the right one. I grabbed it from the wrong side. Look at that. Come on. Look at that. That's the state of where you are. There you go, look. Why would you there bring you that up, dude? I'm watching Frank play the blame game. He's like, how do you do that to somebody? There you go. Come on, why would Roll you bring that up? And have a coach. Fuck you. Dumb wits. Fuck off with it. I'm pissed. We just got to come back. We got to keep our heads high. Just keep pushing, keep talking, and just fucking finish this shit. Come on, guys. Let's talk. All right. How long? Give me uh, three minutes. Three minutes hurt. Two in the window. Right. While Frank starts it, over guys. on the blue team's first table of entrees, over in the red kitchen. The Italian consulate. Two steak, one tag of telly. Five minutes. Five minutes to that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Chef Ramsay is pushing for perfection. Gotta help anyone that runs up, cold veg, cold fucking pans. Gotta help them. And the pressure is on Roe on meat and Ashley on fish to deliver. You're doing a tag with my two steaks, two chicken. Heard. You're going in four, I'm going in five. Ash, you got five. Yes, five. yes. Heard. I feel confident. I've had a couple shaky services. Two steaks, tag me tell. So this is redemption time for Roe. Sterling, you ready to walk? You want me to go with garnish? I'm ready to walk. Walking two steaks for tag, yes? Heard. Two steaks, chef. Tag's up. What is going on here? Blue. Come on, Roe. You just throw it up there like you don't care. Back in for at least another four minutes. It's fucking blue. Yes, Hurry chef. up. Yes, chef. Use your brain. And refile, tag the telly. Come on, Ashley. Everything was going great, and now I'm having to refire. So thanks for that, bro. Come on, ladies. You ready, tag? I'm ready to go. You ready to walk? Behind, hot. I saved the meat. Finally. Yes, finally, we are back. Finally, the red team has delivered the entrees to the Italian consulate. <laughs> Meanwhile, over in the blue kitchen, Frank is ready with his. Two steak, two chicken in my hand, chef, right for you right now. Right behind you. Put the pan down. Fuck off. Yeah, chef. Service. Come on, guys. I'll wait now. Two tagliatelle, two steak. Yes, chef. Two tagliatelle, hurt? Huh? Where did my saute pans go? Right here, right here. Because of Frank, I'm just going to get pummeled on with fish. So now it's just fire, 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 fire. How long do you say, chef, right now? Who the fuck rolled this? Nice and moist. Steak sliced, tagliatelle. Taglia, how long? Taglia, how long? Hey, how long? Aaron is having a very hard time communicating. How long? How long? You know, he doesn't want help. I can't fucking help him. Fuck off. Aaron! Aaron! He's giving up this one. He needs fucking help there. 
need more sauce. It doesn't need to be more saucy. It just needs to coat the fucking pasta. It's like, guys, get the fuck off. Too many hands, none enough pans. Aaron, right here behind you, I got you. What do you need, brother? What do you need? I don't, I don't. What do you need, Aaron? I don't, Steve, go away. I got Steve, like, trying to fucking push in on the station. Steve, get off the station. Steve, Ow. go away. Go. Aaron, you fucking put your hands on me. That's... I'm about to knock you the fuck out right now. Hey, fuck face. Hey, yes, chef. Fucking come here. How long are you going to keep it all back? Get it together. Yes, chef. Because this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Behind, two tag, in the middle. Look at me. Yes, oh, chef. I'll stand there in silence and say, fuck all. Next time, I'm just going to kick you out. Yes, chef. Yeah, if you're fucking running behind, who should be telling you? Everybody, chef. Because they won't fucking slice the meat. Yes, chef. Send that, James. Despite Aaron's lack of teamwork and communication, entrees are making their way out of the kitchen to the dining room. Aaron, come on, boy. But on the red side, one dish seems to be leaving the dining room and making its way back to the kitchen. This is the Italian console. Two brothy, calamari are raw, lack of flavor. Raw calamari. Fucking hell. Unbelievable. All of you, stop. Yeah, all of you. Have I got news for you? Raw fucking calamari. Touch that. Raw, yeah, raw. Ashley, what is happening? Undercooked? Seriously? That's from the Italian consulate table. What is going on? What in the fuck is going on? Any ideas now? All of you, get out. Just leave me alone. Get out. Get fucking out. Again? Fuck me. Get out! Pathetic! What I've seen so far, the red team is kind of let down to me. It's just ridiculous. Fuck! Last ticket. Come on, guys. Move! All right. Garnish is walking, OK? Thank you. You coming with steaks? We're around. Thank you. Here we go. Story of the night. Take the telly. Give me a fucking time, you. 30 seconds, chef. 30 seconds. I don't hear any more yelling over there at the red team, which means the girls just got kicked out, so we have to close this service down. Behind, two tag. Oh, my God. Man, that is extraordinary. Happy now? Yes, yes. Yeah? Fuck it. You start slow. He sends raw food. Clear down. Yes, chef. OK, let's go, guys. Every night in Hell's Kitchen has its challenges. Tonight is family night. But tonight, there is little room for error. In amongst those diners tonight will be my family. This is intimidating. If we fuck it up, man, chef's never going to forgive us. I don't plan on being embarrassed. Now, five pairs of hands against four. Trev. Yes, chef. Your team has the extra person, so drive the red team forward, yes? Yes, chef. Chef Ramsey wants me to take over that leadership position, so I'm going to take us to where we need to go. OK. Outside, there's a Hell's Kitchen carnival. So they are going to enter the dining room happy, they're going to sit down happy, and they're going to eat happy. What am I going to be after service? Happy, yes, chef. chef! Right, let's go. Right, James, open Hell's Kitchen, right, please. <laughs> Family night at Hell's Kitchen. And in addition to the regular fine dining menu, Chef Ramsay is featuring a children's menu. You have the macaroni and cheese. Can I have the vanilla milkshake? As a special treat, each table will receive a welcoming platter of French fries. Let's go, Trev. I want those fries out, guys, yes? It's right here, ready, Chef. It's a kid's menu. We're cooking for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten year olds. Fries, fries going. They just want something that's going to taste good. It shouldn't be that big of a problem. Coming with the fries. Fries go straight out, guys, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go, Rob. Behind. Go. It was my fault that we lost the challenge, evidently. There's a lot of pressure on me right now, and I'm going to fight for my life tonight. I'm not going down. Behind. Good. Look at that. Beautiful. Both kitchens had no problem pushing out the fries. Whoa. Very, very nice. Really good. 
Gentlemen, stand by. Here we go. First ticket to risotto. Yes, 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 yes. Now it's up to Vinny to deliver on the appetizer station. Working, Vinny, yes? No problem. Not one person is as good of a cook as I am. And I'm cool with running half. That's, to me, that's a piece of cake. Up behind. Oh, dear. How many risotto is that? Two. Come here, you. You're doubling up on the portions. I've got enough for four. You're cooking too much. Yes, chef. And it's a pure waste. Oh, it's just wasted. Yes, chef. People that eat fine dining are not used to getting portions made for like Andre the Giant. If I was the owner of the LA market and you were my bed chef, you're toast. While Vinny works to deliver a little less risotto over in the red kitchen, I got problems with this. Chef Ramsay is expecting a little more. Touch more puree in there. It's a pea risotto. Come on, let's yes, go. Yes, chef. The freaking risotto, man, that shit just hates me. I just want to kick the risotto's ass. Jillian, let's go. Yes, chef. So that's better. I don't see any white rice. Yes, chef. Keep it going, Jillian, yes? Yes, chef. Cheers. 45 minutes into dinner service. Thank you. Thank you. And more than half of the families have been served their appetizers. That was mine. It's good. Excellent. And one VIP table is hoping their father will make sure that they get fed next. It's your family. Here we go. On order, six covers, table one. Yes, chef. Three wings, one mozzarella, one risotto, one truffle salad. Yes, yes, chef. yes chef. chef. My family. We better get this fucking order right. Let's go, guys. Yes? Three wings, one mozzarella is coming, chef. Vinny, are you ready on the risotto? No, no. Vinny, I need the fucking risotto. What are you doing? I can't sit there and, you know, go like this and have my risottos magically finish. Hurry up, Vinny. We've got to go up now. Yes, chef. I grabbed the risotto I had just sent up for the previous table. There's nothing wrong with it. Yo, I'm going up for risotto, guys. That's not fair. That's old. I'm trying to get away. Hey, Bozo, come here, you. Yes, chef. What happened? Yeah, shut your fat East Coast mouth. Yes, chef. This table that you just sent me that shit for happens to be my family. Oh, no, what are you doing? And even if it's not my family, they deserve a fresh risotto. Look at me, yes, chef. you dirty little fucker. And if you can't be bothered to do it, Fuck off out of here. Do you want to go home? Whether it's my family or not, if your family were here, or your family were here, or your family, I'd make your family, or your wife, your children, a fresh fucking risotto. He sneaks that in there. Yeah, that's the shit I served five minutes ago. OK, refire. Come on, guys. Everybody's really happy apart from your family. Apart from my family, yeah. Come on, Vinny. Yes, chef. Sorry about that. Won't happen again. I'll fix it. That's all he wants to hear. And that's it. Hop behind, chef. Vinny has quickly made a fresh risotto. Service, please. Table one, pick up. Tell them it wasn't done on purpose. Let's go. And Chef Ramsay's wife, Tana. Lovely. Thank you. And their four kids, Megan, Matilda, Holly, and Jack, are enjoying their appetizers. Yummy. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen. Stand by our first entree, two beef. Yes, chef. Sabrina is being assisted. Hey, Trev, you want to give my beef a fill? And by a less than thrilled Trev on the meat station. Let me know how much longer I need to put it in there for. Sabrina, it's just a thorn in my side. I have no idea what's going on in fucking that blonde little head of hers. Yeah, a little bit longer. Let See it what rest. they say. How long, Trev? She wasn't confident enough in her own station, in her own cooking ability, to just send the food. Get it in the window. Got it, Trev. Hot, 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 hot. Behind, 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 behind. Good. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. Yes, Chef. Oh, thank God. I knew that I can cook me and I can cook it well. Trev's hard work on the meat station has paid off. Every table stays like that. Yes, Chef. For Sabrina. Great. Meanwhile, back in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay asks that eternal question. Where's the beef, Boris? You're sweating like a pig. Slicing the meat right now. Hey, you, stop, stop, stop. Wipe down your board, you dirty fucker. Let's go. You've cooked that perfectly, and you're about to slice on that. Disgusting. Sorry, chef. Oh, fuck off. There you go, Boris. Yes, chef. There you go. Boris is a pig. He's a Russian fucking pig. There you go. I'm sorry, chef. It will not happen again. I was just trying to get the food out in a timely manner. Beef! Is it chef? Service, please. While Boris takes a moment to clean up his act in the red kitchen. Sabrina, where's the beef? Right here, chef. I'm cutting the beef. That's it, chef. Sabrina has her act together. Don't cut that meat. I'm a minute out. Unfortunately, Nona on the garnish station doesn't. Oh, come on. Nona, I need you. I need you. Oh. There's no tomorrow. OK. Speed up. Garnish is hard. I am freaking dying. Here you go. Here's the beef. Polenta fries. Hang garnish. on. Garnish, garnish. If I have to drag these bitches kicking and screaming through service and get us done and work as a team, I'm going to fucking do it. No, no, I need it now. Just give me a time. 15 seconds. Yeah. It's like you've gone to the toilet. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six. You're freaking crowding me, dude. Back up. Three, two, one. Give it to me. Here we go, polenta fries. Yeah, yeah, go. There it is. Unable to solely count on Nona, Trev helps push out the garnish. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen. It's my family's order. One salmon, one beef, one macaroni and cheese, one bolognese, two burgers. Let's go, guys. Let's make it happen. The men are scrambling to get entrees out to Chef Ramsay's family. Chef, I'm coming up with the salmon. Two beef coming up to the path. Two burgers, one bolognese up. Where's the macaroni, please? All right, I'm a little behind right now, Garnish. Oh, come on. I am in the weeds so high, I don't know which way is up. <sighs> when are we going to get a little help on this garnish, man? As soon as I could breathe. Russell claims he was in the weeds and couldn't get to me. What did Russ do? A few chicken fingers or two burgers? Fuck that. How dare he not slide to help me? I'm pissed. I'm behind, and we're going to be fucked if someone doesn't jump with me here. I don't know where he got off uh, thinking that we were going to be his bitch tonight, but that was definitely not my role. I'm here to do my job. I'm not here to babysit you. Ah, you fucker. While Rob flies solo on garnish, over in the red kitchen. Where's the chicken? Six minutes. Sabrina on meat. What's this for? Has Trev. What's for the next order? I had to keep honor, honor, honor about times. The chicken takes six minutes, and a grilled cheese takes two minutes tops. Why would you start it just to let it sit there? Grilled cheese only takes two minutes. I know. I'm just getting it hot, Trevor. Slowly, you got to cook It's a la menu. I know what I'm doing, Trevor. Can you stop giving me an attitude, dude? I know what I'm doing. Thank you. I know what I'm doing, and you don't need to da 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 And I'm like, Whoa. I'm not giving the attitude. I'm trying to speed this up and get it That's up. Fine, but if it's Trevor. fucking cold, That's it's going to be horrible. Be Serena, cold. knock it off. You're Quit arguing it. with me, Quit Trevor. Yelling. Shut up. I'm running the show tonight. Shut your fucking mouth. Give me what I ask you and do what you're fucking told. Quit it right now. He's a maniac, honestly, and like not in a good way. Two chicken, where are they? Come on, push this out. Check that chicken. Check this chicken, Trev. Yeah, go with it. Hot, 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 Here's that chicken, chef. Look, that's raw. Sabrina, get it in the fucking oven! Trevor, if you don't know what you're talking about, just keep your fucking mouth shut, please. Please. Sabrina, you better move that chicken! Hurry up! I can't drag these tables with children in the dining room. Let's go! Sabrina must rush to refire her chicken, because out in the dining room... Hang in there. These customers are not very good at waiting. I'm hungry. Yeah. I don't get why it's taking so long. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen... Come on, Rob. All the men need to complete the Ramsey family table is Rob's macaroni and cheese. Vinny, get your ass over here. He's weeded. He's weeded bad. What do you need? Two macaronis. Get him two macaronis. Let's go. You got two people working your station. Now I do. It doesn't matter. Now you do, so don't put up dog shit. So if he's not ready, then fuck him. I'll send you separate, OK? Service, please. Come on, guys. Keep it together. In England, we eat at the same fucking time. What did you have, Jack? I was having the back side of the Come on, Rob. It's my family. My son's still waiting for the macaroni and cheese. Now I'm worried now. Here we go again. Dinner service is going horrible. Fuck you. Rob, come on. Come on. Oh, move your ass. Hurry up. It's mac and cheese, bro. It's not steak. It's not chicken. It's easy. Come on, Rob. Yes, Chef. Service. Rob has finally completed the Ramsey's table. And in the red kitchen... Here's your chicken. This is hot, OK? Sabrina and Trev have put their differences aside long enough to get out their entrees. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Now both teams work to complete their final tickets. Push this out, guys. We're going to fight back. Service, please. Go, please. Very nice indeed. We got our groove on. We got our sink going. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Working, working, working. We start hustling, and we're going. We're banging away. Up behind. Service, please. Those are you. Is that yours? Keep it going. Let's go, let's go, let's Here go. Here we go. We started rough. Gail, this speed and accuracy is amazing. Keep it up. Yes, chef. But we finished strong. Last table. One milkshake, one chocolate cake. Service, please. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's the best thing in the whole wide world. Good. Switch off. Clear down. Let's get to this very quickly, yes? I cannot believe what we did. I said I wanted customers to be happy. And you know what? 90% from our customer comment cards said they left. Happy. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Finally, finally, finally. How did it feel? Awesome. Great, Chef. Awesome. Tonight, what I'm looking for is a complete service. We've got a special chicken dish on. 
and a scallop of chicken with peppers, capers, and creme fraiche. Blue team, you lost the challenge, yeah? And for the second part of your punishment, Bobby. Yes, chef. You're cooking in the dining room this evening, table side. Yes, chef. Yes. Ladies, JP will be cooking for you. I'm not worried about cooking the food table side. I'm worried I'm not in the kitchen. They need me there to watch their back. Jason. Yes, chef. You're on desserts. Don't eat any. OK, chef. Yeah? Yes. What are the desserts? For desserts, oh, god. Um, passion fruit creme brulee, creme brulee uh, Verona chocolate, and uh, cherry fondant. Um, what is going on? I, I don't have the I don't have the dessert memorized. Uh, I'm not uh, gonna lie. Yes. After the dorm, in the mirror, breathe yes, in, yes. chest out, and read the dessert. Jean Philippe, chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. I'll have the lamb wellington. And lastly, the chocolate spray. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. JB, come on, let's go. You got more fake tan on you. Bloody or abdul. Let's go. Red kitchen chef. Excellent. On order, four covers, table 41. Two risotto, one scallop, one Caesar salad, entree, two chicken, two beef. Yes, yes chef. chef. You got five and a half minutes to the window, guys. OK, five and a half. Tonight, I'm on hot appetizers. I'm pretty excited about it, actually. I am first up. But this is the third time I've seen the risotto, so I should be able to do this. While Christina takes charge of the red kitchen, the men must rely on Craig on the appetizer station to get them off to a good start. How you doing, Craig? How you doing on those two risotto? How long? How long? For a scallop, How long? Craig. Craig, answer him. And I have like my all my teammates just standing in front of me. How long? Let me know how long. How long? How long? But shut the fuck up. Let me just get it done. I, I, it's like 30 seconds ago. I said two minutes. You fucking do the math. How long? Can you go talk and work at the same time? Yeah. Answer him, dude. Because I, I do. I am. I am. Craig, sounds like uh, Edith on fucking All in the Family. All you hear is. <laughs> shut the fuck up, man. Don't tell me to shut the fuck up. I'll knock you out. Up there. While Matt and Craig work on their communication skills, the red team is ready to bring their first appetizers to the pass. Where's the Caesar salad? Here it is. What's that on there? What is that? Uh, madam, you, here. Yes, chef. Why have you put all the fucking tapenade on the Caesar salad? How can you put the crab garnish in the Caesar salad? Oh, my lord. Come on. OK. Hey. You're not fucking stupid. Yes. You're from the back streets. Okay, yeah? chef. You yes, got a pair of balls. Look at me. Fucking use them. I will. Chef. Don't give me shit. Okay. Kind of tough when somebody is yelling and taking that tone of voice with you. You know, you don't know how to respond. Okay, chef. I got you. You got me. Yes, sir. Yeah, fucking right. You got me. Welcome back, the fucking bitches from hell. While Roseanne works to fix her mistake and Jason works on learning the menu. The rest of the blue team is ready to try again with their first appetizers. Petroza? Yes, chef. The inside looks stunning. Yes, chef. That looks yes, beautiful. Chef. Wow. That compliment meant as much to me today as a win. Where's the bacon? You got the bacon? Yes. Put it on my platter, please. I'll put it on when I have the egg on. You didn't, know you, you didn't have the bacon on, did Don't you? Don't worry. Don't worry. Holy balls. He's waiting on the bacon. Come on. Craig's an idiot. 13 years, and he can't work a station. I mean, bacon's easy. That's what blows my mind. How long for the bacon? About a minute and a half away. So we have one minute to go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Sorry, chef. With two appetizers ready and getting cold, and two others waiting for bacon. Service, please. Appetizers here, yes? Chef Ramsay makes the painful decision to send the order out. Incomplete. Go, please, yeah? Come back for the two spots. Quick, let's go. Half the table are eating, another half are staring. Happy? No, chef. An hour and a half into dinner service. It's a minute away. We do apologize for the delay. Only half of one blue table has received any appetizers. Meanwhile, on the red side. Careful, it's going to be hot. Thank you. Christina and Rosanna pulled together and managed to send out four tables of appetizers. Service, please. Go, please. We got two orders of scallops up there. Come on. While Craig tries to deliver bacon to the pass, Lou Ross is trying to deliver Jason to the kitchen. 
Let's go. I can't get it when he fucking puts me on the spot like that, dude. Who I can't cares? fucking hey, I can't bro, do bro, it. Dude, don't say you can't do it. Just fucking do it in the kitchen. I know what the fuck it is, but I can't you fucking... Know what it is to do it. He fucks me okay. up in front of me. Don't, don't let you? him fuck you up. Just well, come on. Where's your bacon at? I got, right it, here. I got it in the oven. I got it in the oven, man. I got it you got it on a sheet pan in the Big oven. Big boy, read the menu. Off you go. OK. What do you want first? The desserts. Go. Chocolate fondant with... Um, Oh my god. Oh no. No, I know this shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh I can't. My god. I've hit my breaking point. I'm at the bottom. I have nothing left. Oh, you know what? I can't do it. I really can't. What do you mean you can't do it? I, I don't know. I hey, come it. here. Hey, 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 come here, all of you. Come here, come no, here, come here. Okay. You, you, Smurf. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. I, Say that again. I know the menu. Come here, you. I, come I here, know come here. The menu. I... Do you want to go home? Yeah. You want to go home? Yeah. Oh, that's you. Yeah. You're done. I'm done. And that's it. You're about oh, to no, walk I out and put your team in the shit. I don't want it to be it, no, but... So what can you give me, then? Desserts. Oh, my God. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm done. I'm done. Dig deep, Jason. Chocolate fondant with... Fuck. Chocolate Verona with black cherry fondant. Oh, my God. Cream bullet. Cream boule with bitter chocolate sorbet, chocolate souffle with thin ice cream, and parathetine with anisette ice cream. You were gonna quit two minutes ago. That's it. There you go. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Big boy, put your mind to it. You'll be surprised what you can do in live. Yes, chef. You know, I don't think he wanted me to quit. I think he wanted to beat my ass a little more. He wasn't done with the whooping. Behind you. Put it down. Yeah. Fuck off. Yes, chef. Let's go. Right. Complete the table. My apologies, table 25, yes? Let's go. With Jason back in the kitchen and Craig finally delivering crispy bacon, the men appear to be back on track. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay looks to Vanessa for their first entrees. Hey, ladies, 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 come here. Fuck! One medium well and one medium. It's raw! I can't believe you've done this. I honestly can't believe you've done it. I swear I'm a good cook. To just fail so miserably, it's just really humiliating. Can we all get on the fucking meat yes, section yes. now? Yes, 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 All the appetizers have gone for now. Get on the meat! Yes, yes, yes. Fifteen years I've been cooking, and I've never, never felt so shitty about a night, ever. I should have seven. <laughs> seven As Vanessa tries to recover, the men are finally ready to start their first entrees, including tonight's chicken special. Right, Bobby, you ready? Yes. Seven minutes from now, yes? Sure. Set, go, big boy. Gotcha. Seven minutes to the window. Two Wellington, one salmon, one special. That's when you know it's hot. You hear the sizzle. Bobby, preparing the special, is relying on his teammates to deliver the table's other entrees on time. Two beef, one Wellington. Yeah? How long? Just waiting on veg, chef. Waiting on veg? I didn't hear you, Matt. Matt, aren't yes. you two communicators? Yes, I told Matt, them I didn't four hear minutes you. before. You didn't, say, you didn't say anything to me. You didn't say anything to me. Oh my god. Just say Lou Ross. All I want to hear is Lou Ross. And then you talk. Because if I'm cooking, I'm not going to hear it. All right. Four minutes away. Lou Ross. OK, thank you. Salmon medium. What's wrong with that salmon? Yeah, it's a little. Why would you give it to me if That's it's smart? They sent up, you know, perfect medium salmon, and he sent it back. It had a little, uh, had a little mm, tiny burn edge on the side. I mean, this is craziness. You can't cook a fucking salmon. I can cook a salmon, chef. Yes, I can. Just a lot of pressure, different kitchen, different, different cooking techniques that I'm used to. Cook me a salmon. Yes, sir. Medium. Can you do that? Yes, sir. Different techniques. With the likelihood fading that any of his table's other entrees will arrive, Bobby takes matters into his own hands. Okay, guys, I just got some new information. A couple times that the food got delayed, I, I thought fast. Something uh, happened to the chicken, I mean, to the salmon, to the rest of the entrees. But what we can do is, would you like for me to cut this up in six and then put it on little plates while you guys nibble on it to the rest of it? Would that be okay? Sure. 
I start serving some of the chicken uh, uh, family style until the rest of the food comes out. There you go, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I think they, the majority of them really liked me. Enjoy, thank you. While General Bobby feeds his troops in the blue dining room, customers on the red side are sending out distress signals. But the diners aren't the only ones in need of rescue. Oh no, oh no, come on. Watch yourself, watch. Stop, stop, stop. Stand back. Yes, sir. Stand back. Stand back. Yes, sir. There's cooking and there's fucking bonfire. Stand back! Same shit, different day. This is fucking embarrassing. My mind is racing. My heart is pounding. That's not a fucking saute pan, that's a furnace. Look at the meat. I blew four pieces of meat on that. It was just really horrible for me. I'm hoping I'm never going to have that happen again. It's scorched. Cooking my ass. Right. As the women once again start over on their entrees, Jason starts preparing his first desserts. Is this the right way to do it? I hope it is. I don't have a clue on this earth what I'm doing. I hate desserts. They're tedious. Women can make desserts, you know? It ain't my thing. Five minutes for the creme brulee, so I have two of those in. Your creme brulee's done already. No, it's not. That's not cooked. That's cooked. Oh, Jesus Christ. The souffles looked like muffins in a cup. I don't know what was wrong, because I don't know desserts, but I know they would not come up for nothing. Jason? Yes? What's happening with the desserts? The souffles are not coming out right at all. They're sticking. Come here a minute. OK. I cannot get them to come up. They're, they're sticking really bad. They look like shit. They look like muffins. So are we taking them off the menu? We've done anything constructive? We're going to do anything I'm, about it? I'm, doing, I'm trying something new. I'm going to put a little sugar and rub it around the rim and try to get that. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. You're going to get some sugar and rub it around the rim. Sugar, no, no. Sugar, butter, and the cocoa powder, and try to see if that keeps them from sticking. Garnish for two salmon, medium. Behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Two salmon, medium. Salmon, chef. I've got a fucking headache. Man! Salmon's raw in the middle. Uh, maybe a little under. It's pink! Come here, you hey. Stop! Come here! That's what's brought to me. Taste. Taste, yeah, yeah. Fuck! Is it? What in the fuck is going on? All of you, come here! Get in there! Let's put one shit mess with another shit mess. Get in there! There you go. Join forces. We've gone backwards! And you're just all over the place! And you're just hopeless! And you don't care! Pathetic! And then you look at me, gormless, like the salmon's raw, and she requested it medium. And what do you say? Different techniques. Fuck off. Not good enough. I'm not going to continue this any longer. Winning tea. Forget it. What's so fucking complicated? Christina, you made an effort. Got five and a half minutes to the window, guys. OK, five and a half. To get all the appetizers out. Thank God. Unfortunately, we got screwed when we came to the first entree. You've got to go upstairs and nominate one individual who's leaving here. Yes, Chef. Petroza, you stayed with it. Your mind was clear, your attitude was strong. Petroza. Yes, Chef. That looks yes, beautiful. Chef. Get upstairs and think about who you're going to nominate. One from the blue, one from the red. Now get out! Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Love you, Bobby. Bob, Bob, come here. Yeah, I wouldn't go around looking for plaudits right now. Yes. Right now is the wrong fucking time! Yes. Get out! Yes. Jackass waving at them. What have we got to wave about? I don't care. Get out! Uh, right, ladies, let's go. Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, Chef. Guys, line up. Let's go quickly. We are opening Hell's Kitchen for the 11th time. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's a big one. Let's do it. Let's be honest. I'm not looking for perfection. Let's get that right. But I am expecting each and every one of you to give your best 
and for every customer to be fed. So, I'm guaranteeing a complete dinner service. How's that sound? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Guarantee. Oh my God, this is our first night of Hell's Kitchen. That's not an easy thing to do. We will stop at nothing to complete a service. Sorry, Chef. Oh, come on, JP. <gasps> Oh my God, JP, where has he been for three years? I told you to be here yesterday. Got delayed. I, I really tried to be in time. Get changed, JP, I'm fucking pissed off. Uh, honestly, unreal. Okay, get on your stations. Let's go, guys. Open house kitchen. Yes, yes. Chef. Chef. Let's go, guys. Come Can on, let's go. Coffee? Tonight is the grand reopening of Hell's Kitchen. The, the dwellings have the hell of it. And in addition to his classic menu, Chef Ramsay has added a tableside appetizer of ale steamed mussels, which will be served by Amanda in the red section of the dining room and by Christian in the blue section. And it's accurate. JP. Yeah? I need the fucking tickets. Yes, Chef. Yeah, you disappear for three years and then you, you turn up late. Sorry. How rude. OK, ladies, on order. First ticket in. Three covers, table 31. Two burrata, one scallops, one mussels. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. OK, do you have a spatula? Where's the ones that flip the scallops with? What? Where's the other ones? That's these ones. Crazy Gina, she doesn't know what she's doing. She hasn't been here all day. Now she wants to cook scallops. Really? Gina's in La La Land, flipping the scallops a million times. You know, it's a simple sear. One side, other side. That's it. Over and over. Come on. Don't flip it back over. Don't flip it back over. You ready, scallops? Yes, ready. All right, lock it, girl. Lock it. God only knows what these scallops are going to be like. This is not the way the Red Kitchen wants to start. Who cooked the scallops? Here we go. We're already going to get laid into. Who cooked them? I did, Chef. Ugh. Excellent. Thank you. These are the immaculate scallops. How does this happen? Good job, girl. Good job. To the shock of her teammates, Gina has delivered perfect scallops. How oh, I can cook scallops? While in the blue kitchen, the men can't even deliver. On order, two risotto, one mussels, one scallops. A response. The correct response is, yes, chef. The blue team's response is, guys. Yes, yes, chef. Yes, chef. yes, chef. Thank you. For all the appetizers to be delivered to the first table at the same time, Sebastian on appetizers in the kitchen must be in total sync with Christian in the dining room. Would you guys like that spicy or mild? Oh, a slight kick. Slight kick. Just start rocking a little pan. I've worked in different restaurants. I know how to make risotto, but like I've never really focused much on cooking Italian food. I'm not putting it down. It's just like I'm Mexican, so I like those spices more. Sebastian, how long? Walking in now. Thank you. There you go. Can I come, Scallops? Walking through. Scallops, walk. Thank you. Scallops, walking by the pass. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse Behind me, you. chef. Behind you, chef. Hi. That's full. Cool. All of you, come here, quick. I mean, quick. Spoon, taste. Oh my God. Here we go. Please no. Our first ticket. Undercooked. These are undercooked. Yeah. Regroup and get it together. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. We're getting it together, chef. Getting it together. Zach, the scallops will cook beautifully. Thank you, chef. I don't know what to do. My muscles are ready. So I said, fuck it. Put them right in front of you. Enjoy, guy. I'm really pissed right now. I'm doing my part out there, and my team can't get the first table together. Oh, and by the way, the muscles have been served to the table. While Sebastian starts over on the risotto, Gina, need a dress. how long for the risotto? I need five minutes on risotto. Is anxious to prove her earlier success was no fluke. How long on that risotto, Neidra? Neidra, you almost done? Bitch, I just told you five minutes. I know how long it take to cook scallops. Scallops, how long? How long for that risotto? How much longer? How much longer? Shut up, Gina. Neidra. Nedra won't tell me anything. Scallops going in. So I'm whipping up the scallops. Scallops ready. 
no, 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 no. I need two minutes on risotto. Two minutes. You crazy bitch. Why did you cook the scallops? Walking with risotto. Walking scallops. Right behind you, Chef Hop. Fucking Jesus. All of you, come here. Let me show you a little waterfall. Oh, my gosh. Just touch them. Cold. Overcooked. Switch up scallops, guys. Mary, do you want to do scallops? I'll do it. No, I want to do scallops. Somebody else got to do risotto. What do you mean? Oh, hell no. Gina, don't throw me under the bus because your shit ain't right. How long are scallops? Now drop. Just fuck off. You got some good color on there? Don't burn it. This bitch couldn't cook a scallop to save her life. I know that chef is about to find out. I got the scallops ready. Go, Gina. You got to go. Walking scallop chef. Mm-hmm. Good luck to you, Gina. Risotto, right behind you, chef. Hot. Ah. Uh, pause. All of you, come here. I guarantee a complete service tonight. You can't even hold it together for the second ticket. Get out, Tina. Nedra, the risotto was delicious. Thank you, chef. Let's go, ladies. <laughs> a beep, beep, woo. Nedra, how many minutes? Uh, five minutes. OK, that was uh, two fucking minutes ago. I am so pissed. Those little bitches, they better watch out. There's going to be war. OK, risotto's ready, brother. Scallops walking up to the pass. The men are finally ready to impress Chef Ramsay with their second attempt on the first order of appetizers. Come on, guys. Service, please. Here we go. Come on. Blue team is on a roll. Second ticket. Keep it rolling, guys. Two Capolini wants scallops for muscles. How long? I need uh, 60 seconds. We are finally gelling together as a team. Walk it. Scallops walking up to the pass. Excuse me, chef. Taste that. How hot is that? Spice, spice. All of you, taste that. It's too spicy, and it's no. disgusting. Fresh. And again, scallops cook beautifully. What the fuck is going on? It's like deja vu in this motherfucker. How many times have you cooked scallops tonight and not served them? Twice, chef. Sorry, bro. Sebastian, get it together. Yes, chef. Come on, guys, let's go. OK, Mikey Wikey. I messed up a few times, but I'm getting in with the groove. I'm playing around, trying to make the environment a little bit looser. Zeki, we got uh, talk to me. A little bit one brazino. Zeki Wacky. Hey you. Hey, come here you. Zaki Wacky. Chef hey, Zach. Hey, look at me. Hey, look. Is this a fucking joke? No, chef. Zaki Wacky. Sorry, so I apologize about that, chef. Yeah. Do me a favor. Get out. Yes, chef. Fuck off, will you? Get out. Yes, chef. Upstairs. Get out. So Sebastian gets kicked out. I didn't see that coming. Zacky yeah. Wacky. What are you doing? Where the hell are you going, Sebastian? OK, yeah, you can come back. Second time, get out! God, are you kidding me? Fuck off, Wacky! The blue team is now down a chef, and it's up to John to handle the appetizer station solo. I need two minutes, please. While in the dining room. My blue team's black backed up a little bit, so I'll give you the muscles. Okay. Christian is successfully serving mussels. Will I still get the risotto? Whether the diners ordered them or not. I just started going to the table that had their food waiting for so long to try to help our blue team out. I go, I apologize for the comments of my team, and hope you guys enjoy. Welcome with risotto, guys. Meanwhile, with Gina gone, the red team is cranking out the appetizers. Go, please. Yeah, asparagus. Now, it's up to Jessica and Cindy on the meat station and oh, yeah. Danielle and Susan on garnish to keep up the momentum. On order four, cover table 51. Entree, one chicken, one short rib. Pass that to Wellington. Yes, sir. Yes. I don't understand how you're expected to remember all the tickets. Six covers away, table 30. Entree, two halibut, one bass, one port, one lamb, one Wellington. Yes, 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 sir. You OK? I've never worked in a brigade before. Oh, really? Never. I cannot believe that Danielle is a head chef. A head chef of what? A hot dog stand? Three risotto, two burrata? Let's go. What are you reading that for, Danielle? I was trying to see if that was the ticket to see what you had just called. Where's your ticket that I've just called? 
Well, I'm supposed to be and, here. And but... it is not there. Let's walk three steps together. Yes, sir. One, two, three. Yes, sir. And it's there. You're making such hard work out of nothing. I have no idea why I'm Danielle can't get it together. I'm embarrassed for her. Three steps. First ticket, second ticket. Yeah. OK? Yes. No fuck off. Yes, thank you. While Danielle gets a lesson in Kitchen 101 on the blue side. My risotto's ready to walk, dude. Yeah, let's go. John, without the help of Sebastian. Good. Service, let's go. Has gotten the men back on track. Thank you, buddy. It looks really nice. And they are now ready to move on to entrees. Two lamb, two Wellington. Five minutes to the window. Yes, chef. Five minutes in the window. I'm pretty excited about working meat tonight. I decided that I was going to do the lamb and ferret. It has the Wellington. Wellington's in. I cook lamb every day. I mean, we run it for specials. I was even thinking about putting it on my next menu. Jeremy, two and a half out on two lamb and two Wellington. Darn it. Got it. I need to still I'm cut it. You don't think that's still raw? No, I want it rest, bro. All right. Ready to go? Put it in the past. I know my lamb's perfectly cooked, so I don't think we have anything to worry about. Let's roll. Yeah, hey, come here. Come here. Oh, my god. Got you on refire, Jeff. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Like, suddenly, I don't know how to cook. Firing another Wellington. While the blue kitchen waits for a do-over on Michael's lamb, over in the red kitchen. Keep it going, yeah? Two weddings, one lamb. How long? Six minutes, chef. Let's go. Chef Ramsay is looking for Cindy and Jessica to deliver on the meat station. You putting your lamb back in? No. You got to brown off the crust, and then we got to let it rest before we slice it. Oh, you're right. Jessica's fresh out of culinary school, so this could be a disaster. Lamb. Lamb slicing. It's ready to go. She basically just has to slice and walk. Ugh. This is not rocket science. Seriously, slice the lamb. How long does it really take? How much of an amateur are you? Where's the lamb? Just cut through it, babe. Cut through it. I'm trying. Oh, my god. This bitch been cutting lamb for six hours now. Bitch, it's only 24 hours in a day. I want that fucking lamb now. Right behind, right behind. Lamb rising. Lamb chef. Oh, mother. Who cooked the lamb? Me, chef. Perfect. Thank you, chef. Who would have thought? Girl can cook some meat. Chicken, walking. While the red team pushes out entrees. Service, let's go. It's great. Thank you so much. Over in the blue kitchen. Garnish, two lamb, two yep. Wellington. Barrett's refired Wellingtons. We're good, we're good. Are perfectly cooked, but Michael's lamb. Guys, I'm not sending it out under. Could use a little more time. I got to go with these. Don't go up there yet, bro. The lamb's not ready. Michael's lamb's not ready. Come on, guys. I'm waiting on the lamb, chef. I'm sorry. You're waiting on the lamb? Yeah. I was waiting for the lamb, waiting for the lamb, waiting for the lamb. It's like medium. It's not medium yeah. anymore. You need to go. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Wait for me. Can't rest no more. We got to go. Guys, walk into Wellington. Fuck me, man. Barrett, thanks for that, buddy. It's fucking. I just can't believe this is happening right now. Lamb! Come on, Michael, a bit of energy. Yes, chef. Terrible. It's embarrassing. Oh, God. Fuck. It's coming back. Time out. Stop. The bone thicker than the fucking meat. There needs to be meat on there. This is not a fucking dog's chew toy. This is lamb. And if that's not bad enough, they're way overcooked. Horrible. Fuck. Michael and Barry, dumb and dumber. You don't slice the Wellington until the lamb's ready. Yes, Chef. And when it's together, like, oh, you. Chef, can I please come back, Chef? Dude, really? What are you doing? Perfect fucking timing. You, you come here, you. You're making me look stupid. No, Chef. The blue team, one hour into service, and not one entree out. You, for the last time, take him and him and get out. And let me tell you something. You come back downstairs again, you'll be leaning through the front door. Now get out. Yes, Chef. Three of you. You, on meat. Yes, Chef. You, on meat. Yes, Chef. Oi. Get out. Now I'm pissed off. I didn't do anything to get kicked out of this dinner service. 
Chef Ramsay looks to Ray and Anthony to step up and rescue the meat. They've already cut. Close them up. But over in the red kitchen. Where's the kale? He's looking for something else. Kale? Yes, Black kale for the lamb. Look at you both staring. You are not even answer me, Danielle. Danielle, get it together. She's cooked the lamb perfectly in fucking garnish. Where's the kale? Fuck. Come on, Danielle. I'm trying. I've never fucking done this before. I need the kale. Protein's nailed perfectly, and we're missing a fucking kale. Danielle! It absolutely will yeah, be chef. one minute, yeah, chef. Just lightly, lightly, lightly tossed. Danielle's all over the place. She doesn't know what she's doing. Like that? More along this color. I'm spending more time babysitting Danielle than I am worrying about my own garnish. Yeah, about Fine. So Finally. Ladies! Touch them. Cara, chef. Oh, my god. That's my garnish. Who cooked them? I did, chef. Yeah, you. Get out. Get out. <laughs> hey, madam, you think it's funny? No, 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 no. Take your shit with you. I know that this is not funny. I don't deserve to be kicked out of the kitchen. Danielle does. She was the one bringing the station down. Danielle, don't stop the redo. Yes, Hurry chef. up. After that, two chicken, two Wellington. Two chicken, two Wellington. Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. I'm confused. Do you need the one for the redo and the two chicken and two Wellington? Or do you just need the two chicken and two Wellington? Get out! Get out! It's just really hard, and it's a lot harder than people know. Fuck! While the women look for someone to step up on the garnish station. Let's go, someone help. We gotta get this chicken garnish going. Chef Ramsay. Blue team, let's go. Pushes the men to keep the entrees coming. Walking, chef. Two lamb, chef. Service, please. Perfectly. Right. Keep it rolling, guys. Three halibut, one bass, one chicken. Come on, guys. Yes, chef. Yes, yes, chef. Chef. yes chef. I'm looking at Jeremy sauteing off kale. I can see the kale literally catching fire, getting burnt. Chef, turn that down some, chef. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't even serve that. I'm not. Worry about your side, let me do my side, yeah? Motherfucker, what? Hey, no territory bullshit. It's my station, and I don't need his help. So shut up and do what you're supposed to be doing. I'm fucking believable. Can we go with three halibut, one bass, one chicken? Yes, Seven sir. minutes to the window. What are we going with? Two, uh, two halibuts and one chicken, chef. Three halibuts. Three halibut, one chicken, chef. Three halibut, one bass, one chicken. What are we going with? The three, three, the three, three halibut, the two, two, uh. Jeremy, he's telling it to you. Just say it right back, man. Pretty sure birds can do that. Three halibuts, one bass, one chicken. What's going? The three halibut, two, two, uh. Get out! Bye bye, Jeremy. <laughs> It's 90 minutes into opening night. Mary. Yes, chef. Garnish. And with three members of the red team already kicked out of the kitchen. I've never worked in a fucking brigade before. The rest of the team is struggling to fill the vacancies. Send it without potatoes. Forcing Chef Ramsay to take the unusual measure of sending the entree without the garnish in hopes he will catch up on the order before the diner notices. Go, please. We'll send the potatoes separate. Right, potatoes with dragon with chorizo, urgently. Yes, chef. I'm swamped right now. A few of the girls got kicked out, and now I'm on fish. And on top of that, now I'm on the garnish station. Oh, my gosh. Anybody going to help her? Jacqueline, don't stand there staring. There's always something to do. Yes, chef. Chef Ramsay doesn't stress me out. I'm just like, relax, channel the inner zen. I'll put the water. Guys, I need to get my bass in. Watch out. I'm looking at Jacqueline. She's not doing a damn thing right now. I need more water. Uh, madam. Um, quick question. The chicken was delivered on, on its own. Yeah, it needs garnish. You're absolutely right. My apologies. Give me two minutes. So now the customer's at the window. Seven minutes ago, we served the fucking chicken. And where are the potatoes? Chef. 30 seconds. What are you doing? I had to get my water, Chef. Get out. Um, Get out! Chef Ramsay told me to get out, and I'm like, all right. I'm going to go upstairs and rehydrate myself. Mary, garnish. Coming, Chef. 
Thanks to Mary, the red team finally delivers the missing potatoes. Hot pan chip. But in the blue kitchen... The chicken is going first. Chef Ramsey finds himself asking a familiar question. Where's the chicken garnish? Walk it. Garnish the chicken. And what about the risotto appetizer? Yeah, 45 seconds. It's even more cooked. Dan, come here. Just touch that. Hard chef. Dan, please, come on. We're like five people down in the fucking kitchen. I need you, baby. I know that. We are going to complete dinner service, no matter what. The risotto going up. Two risotto. Oh, man. Look at that there. Stuck to the bottom of the pan. Fuck, man. John, take that and yourself and get the fuck out of there. When somebody gets kicked out of the kitchen, they put more pressure on the next man. Woo! Raymond, taste that. Fingers. Spoons are everywhere. Valencia. Ray, you just stuck your finger into a risotto in front of Chef Ramsay in Hell's Kitchen. That's just stupid. You may be the oldest, but out of respect, fuck off. Yes, sir. You got to be shitting me. Blue Kitchen tonight is like being in the middle of a natural disaster. My fucking heart is beating. I'm not feeling good right now. It's getting hot. I start feeling pressure. You good? I got to just good? I got to just breathe, Holmes. Risotto. Yeah. Risotto, chef. Let's taste that. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. Fuck. Get out. Get out. Another person gets kicked out. That's like another blow to me. I started to feel something in my stomach. I literally feel my body shutting down. Where's Zach? Oh, my god. Zach keeps leaving the kitchen. All I'm thinking to myself is, don't go under. Don't go under. Oh, shit. Zach. Zach! I'm feeling dehydrated. It's getting hot. And I'm starting to lose consciousness. Oh, my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's Zach? Zach! <sighs> Zach! <sighs> what are you doing? I'm throwing up for a minute. Shall let me just get this out of you, please? Throwing up. Throwing up. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God. I'm literally telling myself, if you think that, you know, you're going to pass out, <sighs> guess what? Think again. Zach. Zach. You OK? Yeah, Chef. I'm a fucking monster. First up, three bass, two halibut. Yeah, I'm finishing that up. I got it, Chef. Chef Zach. Chef Zach. Bass, Zach. All right. Yeah. Two bass, Chef. Two bass. Go, please. As Zach rises from the ashes, Woo! Let's do it! Frustration is rising amongst the 12 ousted chefs. I got kicked out of the kitchen because I couldn't repeat back the order. You got to repeat back the order. Yeah, you got to be able to know that shit, man. Dude, communication is crumbling. It's first of many. I've been cooking for half my fucking life, OK? I've never worked in a brigade before. There's hardly any fucking restaurants that work that way. Danielle is making sure everybody knows she hasn't worked in a brigade system before. Guess what? We know. We fucking know this already. None of us have ever fucking worked in this kitchen before. Curiosity, show of hands. <laughs> Guys, how many people have worked in a true brigade before? While Danielle continues to ponder the mystery of the brigade system, downstairs, the red team has finally found their rhythm. Chicken, walking, kind of chef. Let's go. And on the other side, Zach is feeling better, and entrees are flying out of the blue kitchen as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. It's the last to get two halibut, two chicken. Yes, chef. I'm determined to finish service because what don't kill you only make you stronger. I literally threw ice on my chest. Touch this. Ice. Either that or fucking die on the line. Last table, girls. Last table. Ready, girls? I'm locking. Coming right behind you. The asparagus salad, chef. Service, please. I'm feeling really good right now. We completed the first dinner service. This is unbelievable. There you go, chef. Two halibut, two chicken. Perfect. Go, please. I knocked that shit out the park. Last man standing. Chef Zach is the man tonight. Tonight is Hell's Kitchen's centennial dinner service. And to celebrate this momentous occasion, Chef Ramsay has invited some appropriate VIPs to dine at the chef's tables. Hell's Kitchen's three winner, Rock. <laughs> Hell's
Hell's Kitchen 4 winner, Christina. <laughs> Hell's Kitchen 5 winner, Danny. <laughs> and Hell's Kitchen's most recent winner, Holly. Hi, Holly. Good to see you guys. Thank, Thank you, you chef. chef. Big night tonight. I want this service to be absolutely unique. Every time you look at those chef's tables, think you could be part of that elite group. And if that doesn't give you any more inspiration, I don't know what will. I'm hoping I'm just going to be able to bring my A game. Those guys are going to be like, wow, there's the next guy that's going to be running LA Market. OK, back inside. To see the winners, that just reminds me why I'm here, and I need to step up my game. I watched every season. Damn, that made me teary-eyed, man. Let's go. This is a big night on a lot of scales. I don't want to disappoint Ramsey tonight, man. It's time to open up some whoop-ass today, boys. James. Yeah, chef. Thought I'd never say this, but open Hell's Kitchen for the 100th service. Chef. Tonight's centennial dinner service, Chef Ramsay has created an evening of elegance with a menu to match. Oysters, rock and pepper, please. Oh, and do the Wellington. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. As Sabrina treats each table to a welcoming taste of caviar, both kitchens get started on their first tickets. One oyster, two capellini, two risotto, yes? yes chef. How long? Eight minutes, Chef. Capellini takes three minutes to cook. Yes, Let's make that five. We can make that make five. Make that five minutes, Chef. A risotto. A risotto doesn't take eight minutes ever. The weakest team member is Boris. Well, I'm going to get you capellini. Go ahead. Okay, I got the capellini here. Let me do it, please. Let me do it, man. Yeah, I saw Boris dying quickly. I knew if I didn't help him, he was going to be in the shits. We need some fast appetizers flying out of the kitchen, man. No, you need to cook that pasta a little Let's bit go. more. Let's go. I need the pasta. Yes, Chef. Let's go, guys. Yeah, Capellini, OK? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, quite nice, actually. Let's go, pick up. OK, let's go, Boris. Here we go, yeah? Two oysters, one Capellini, one risotto, one truffle salad. Five minutes. No. Give me six minutes on that, please. Get it working first, then, before the oysters, because the oysters don't take as long. While Russell continues to keep a close eye on Boris, the red team looks to Nona to get them off to a good start on appetizers. Two risotto, two truffle salad, easy. The success of tonight all rides on my shoulders since I'm on apps. I can either get us off to a good start or blow it completely. Risotto, please, where are they? Right here. Hello. Service, please. I'm going to have a perfect, amazing service. No screw-ups. This was enough oh. for three, so can I use this again for the next the order? Yeah, just make sure it doesn't overcook. Why would you use a recycled risotto in Hell's Kitchen? I don't know. Going up with that risotto? Rock up. Stop. It's the same one. Red team. Yes, yes chef. chef. All of you, come here. We can't make a fresh risotto to celebrate our 100th service. Who's fucking with who now? Sorry, no, that's completely my fault. I'm just going to stay in the meat station and take care of my Wellingtons. You're going to send me that shit from the previous table? My customers deserve the best. It was Gail who did it. I asked her, and she said, Yes. Previous winners of Hell's Kitchen here. Do you think they perform like that? OK, Nona. I don't know what you're used to doing, but this is Hell's Kitchen, girlfriend. You don't do that kind of shit. Delicious. Yes, Chef. Why do you want to send the old one? I don't know. I don't know. Yes, Chef. So this Nona's fresh risotto gets the stamp of approval from Chef Ramsay and the customers. That is so good. And now, just 30 minutes into dinner service... If you want to come this way. ...the former Hell's Kitchen winners are ready to take their seats. But first, they take a trip down memory lane. May bring back some old memories. Look, there you are. Is that you crying? Yes. I know. I know. Me on the big night. He's crying. With the memories of their triumphs still fresh in their minds, Enjoy your meal. these champions are looking forward to a Hell's Kitchen experience. Welcome to Chef's Table, tailored order. Of a different kind. The beef Wellington, medium rare. Two oysters, one capellini, one risotto, one truffle salad. Why is the risotto not even on? I'm putting it on right now, Chef. Is the capellini in? Yes, Chef, the capellini. So what takes in. longest? Well, the, the, the risotto, risotto. Chef. Oh, my God. Don't just stand there. Don't do this to me tonight. No, Chef. No, Chef. Get the fucking risotto on first. Yes, Chef. Whoa. I'm going to go fucking ballistic. Get a grip! I have my own things to do right now, but let me tell you, if I don't help Boris, my shit's never going to make it out. Stop panicking! Yes, Chef. Just fucking focus! Yes, Chef. I got it's it. Burning enough for fucking slow death over here. Boris, what's the hold up? Uh, I'm working on it. Boris is a brain-dead dumb fuck. I think it's ridiculous how slow the apps are taking. Coming up to the pass, Chef. 
Yeah, I like Boris. Service, please. With Rob's help, Boris's appetizers have left the kitchen. That's amazing. How is that? Wonderful. <laughs> and the men move on to entrees. On order table 22. Entree. Easy. Three lobster, two Wellington. Yes, yes chef. chef. Hey. Hey, boys. <laughs> That's my guy. That's my guy. <laughs> In the red kitchen, Nona has done a masterful job on appetizers. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. And so both kitchens are off to a respectable start. Two salmon, two chicken, two Wellington. Don't head to the window. Tell on your garnish. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I've worn garnish myself, and I didn't need anybody to cover me before. I rocked it out. I know all the recipes like the back of my hand. Ready to walk? No. You just said ready. I didn't say ready. For how long? I got to make the ragu real quick. It doesn't come with ragu. It's salmon. Oh, he's going to get green. I don't know what Chev's problem is. I'm helping him on the garnish, and this dude has no clue what's going on. The gnocchis are falling the fuck apart. You got your squash? The squash is right here. You got to throw it in, man. You got to melt the sage on it. I'm doing it right now, Jill. Get some butter in that gnocchi pan. Trevor's starting to get in the weeds. He's falling behind, and he's sinking us. 45 seconds out. Can I slice my Wellington? Slice. I'm waiting on the gnocchi. That's it. Your butternut squash isn't even in yet. Is that going with it? Yes, it's going with it. OK. I'm trying, man. I'm really, really fucking trying. Drive it, Gail. Yes, Chef. Walking up right now. Two Wellingtons. Gail. Yes, Chef. You're perfectly cooked now. Yes, Chef. You've raised the bar now. You stay above it, yes? Yes, Chef. Garnish, Trevor. Noki's coming. Come on, Trevor. Two chicken walking up. Noki inside. All of you, come here. Yes, Chef. What night is this? What fucking the night is this? The night of the year. Yeah, the most important night. Is that the most important knocker you've got? No, it's cooked? not. Fuck off, yeah, will you? Come on, Trev. What is that? That looks like a big ass booger. Oh my oh, god. god. Wake up, Trevor! Nothing's coming out. On a night like tonight! Wake up! Hell's Kitchen celebrates its 100th dinner service. You don't know shit! Let me do my don't job! Don't you dare turn around and tell me that I'm fucking crap. You know I'm or you my fuck ass. off through those doors. That's you right. You can dish it, but you can't take it. Oh, Doing. Just let me in the kitchen. Shut your fat fucking mouth and listen to me. The potatoes. I'm trying to learn from you. You're not learning. You're I am. Your fat mouth. I am. You're not shut up then. Trying to get me shut in up. Head. Are you gonna keep it shut? Shut. Good. But if you can't hack it, fuck off. If you can, get back in there. Get off my station, please. It's just over an hour into Hell's Kitchen's 100th dinner service. All of you, come here. And Trev's gnocchi. What the shit is that? Has brought the red team's entrees to a standstill. Oh, fuck off, will you? It looks like pancakes. I don't know what Trevor's deal is. He says he's great on garnish, and then he's completely lost his footing. Slow down, yeah, and work with your mind. Slow down! Yes, chef. Trev's problems on garnish have yet to be felt in the dining room, as the red diners seem to be very pleased. Wellington! Yeah. Yeah. However, there is one diner on the blue side. Oh, is everything this evening? Um, yeah, the lobster's really chewy. Do you want to send it back? Yes, please. Who's feeling just the opposite? What's the matter, James? The yeah, lobster. Vinny! Yes, chef. Lobster's chewy. Yeah, I heated the lobster up a little bit too much. No problem. The rest of them will be fine. It tastes like peanuts, like I'm biting into peanuts. They're very so. crunchy. So let me see what Thank I can you do. so much. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Uh, no, we're so sorry. Oh, no, come on. Same table. All three of them chewy. What the fuck? Do you want to argue with them? No. You gotta be shitting me with this, man. All you have to do is reheat the thing for a minute and a half. Vince, stay focused, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Come here, Vinny. While Vinny starts over on his roasted lobster, in the red kitchen, Jillian's lobster is ready to go. She's just waiting for... My lobster's up and you have no garnish. Get off my ass and let me cook. Trav is gone tonight. What do you think? Yeah. What do you need, Trav? He doesn't know what he needs. Trev sucks. Dude, are you stoned? Like, did you smoke a fat joint before you came in here? Trev, though, you can't serve those carrots in front of me. I'm fucking fixing it. I am, you fuck. Help me. Fuck. Don't I'm fucking get on my ass. Fuck. Help me. God, he is so stupid. Does anybody need any help right now? I'm good on app. I can use a hand over here, definitely. Where's your uh, shallot? How many's on the garnish? One, two, three of you. Sabrina, the garnish. No, the garnish. Trev, what are you doing? Working it, Chef. Gail. Go over there and garnish as well. We might as well. I've never seen Chef Ramsay call over the entire kitchen to help one person. Ridiculous. The squash is burning. What's going on? The squash here? is what? Pull it. Burning? 
I need some more shallots. It's all hands on deck on Trev's Garnish Station. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen, so is Vinny has finally cooked his lobster properly. I'm really happy with this lobster. I sweat here. Serve the VIP table. Let's go. Don't drip in it. Now it's time for Boris to shine. I have so much respect for you guys for going through this. this is Hurry up, Boris. Hello. Serve it, yeah. Just enjoy your Wellington. Away oh, now. Two chicken, one Wellington, one lobster. Yes, yes chef. Chef. I need an all day on Wellingtons. I need an all day on chicken. Tell me what I need. Just a Wellington, right? Russell just wasn't answering me, man. He was not communicating with me. And what's helping me here? The yeah, answer all day on Wellingtons. You didn't give it to him yet. Nobody's fucking helping me with a call. Rob, if you're that fat and you can't walk five steps up to the pass and see what you have on order, my mouth is closed. Talk to me, Russell. Someone's got to talk to me. I mean, I can't get every entree in my head. Someone help me. Two chicken, one Wellington, one lobster. How long? I need about eight minutes, Chef. Why? I'm dragging on the chicken, Chef. Did you forget it? it? I missed it on the ticket, Chef, yeah. I never heard him say anything about chicken. I'm pretty pissed because Russell definitely could have helped. He's making the fucking garnish for it and not letting me know shit. You just brought the kitchen to a standstill. I'm dragging chicken, chef. On a fucking night like tonight. Rob's oversight would be a problem on any night, but with the dining room packed with VIPs and critics for the 100th dinner service, tonight's mistake is magnified. I noticed other people have gotten there. Meanwhile, there's a disturbing pattern continuing in the red kitchen. Here you are. Thank you. The women are able to push out entrees, but Trev. Three broccolini, one squash, I'm dying. Is unable to deliver his garnish on time. Three broccolini, one squash, one squash is in. Where's the fucking broccolini? Trev, you have should... to put the basket down or it's going to stick. No, no. Yeah, chef. Give me three broccolini. Hey, you, come here. I haven't set one garnish out at the same fucking time. I haven't sent them out yet. Do me a favor. Fuck off that and get some fresh air. I'm pissed at myself, because I'm supposed to be the guy that can do anything. I feel like shit because I'm letting them down. They expected me to be Superman, and Clark Kent showed up. While the man of the hour takes a breather, the women in the red kitchen take control. I'm dragging three broccolini, and I'm dragging one squash, yes? Yes, yeah, chef. chef! Where is the sage? It's in that deli cup to the right of the olive oil. Trev gets kicked out of the kitchen to go, I don't know, paint his nails. When I went over there, it's just a disaster area. God, he's got shit everywhere. Come on, guys, let's push this out. I'm going to slice my chicken. Slice it. Nona jumps on to the garnish, and we are rocking it out on those stations. That chicken is sexy. Sexy chicken coming to the window. Right behind you. With Trev gone, entrees are flying out of the red kitchen. Go, please, lobster. It's nice, that lobster. Go. It's delicious. Really nice. As for the blue team, two chicken, one Wellington, one lobster. The forgotten chicken. How long? Let's just say they are struggling to find their groove. I need four minutes on that, chef. Hey, look at me. They've got one ticket to send next. Time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tables. Because you forgot the chicken. Not this behind, because they're one chicken. Absolutely no Let's way. Let's go, Rob. Come on. How long? I'm good in one minute. How about I'll, you? I can come in one minute. Rob only had two dishes. I was literally at his mercy tonight. Just give me another two minutes. Fuck. You told me to go, bro. Uh, he's I didn't tell you to go. I told you just you said go. one minute. I can't give you two more minutes. There's no grace on a lobster tail. Vinny, where's the lobster? You have to give me accurate time. My hand, chef. Up to the best. Good cooked. Oh, it's cooked, all right. Half of it's mush on the outside, and then the center is well done. Uh -oh. On a night like tonight. You keep me dragging for the chicken. You keep me dragging for the appetizers. Then Vinny sends me this. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. We're going down in a heap like a California mudslide. Chicken. Going up with the chicken. It's pink. All of you, come here. Oh, oh it's fucking chicken, Rob. Pink, pink. Don't dare touch it. Pink, pink. All of you, what are we doing here? Get out! Get out of here! Hell's Kitchen celebrates its 100th dinner service. Leave it! What is that? What? Look at it, it's on fire! I don't know. She was lost. I don't know what's going on here. What's the matter with you? I can't cook meat, Chef! Get out! To 
two hours into the milestone 100th dinner service. Hey, come here, all of you. Chef Ramsay's high hopes for excellence are being crushed by the blue team's weak performance. Pink chicken. And Rob's undercooked chicken pushes Chef Ramsay over the edge. Get out! And now the men of the blue team are out of the kitchen, just like the lone man on the red team. Get back in there. He doesn't want to win. What am I going to do, just walk away and leave them sitting there by themselves? I don't have a fucking choice. It's either get over it or else just go home. Are you ready? Yes, Chef. You can be pissed off. Just wake up! Yes, Chef. That's all! Yes, chef, where are we at? The last table. We don't need any boys on our team. Let's do it. Walk into the window at the Wellington. By the time Trevor came back. Squash to the window. We are finished with service. Service, please. After the red team successfully completed their half of the dining room, Thank you. they went on to feed the remaining customers on the blue side. Okay. Buy one of those? Right. Salvaging the evening for Chef Ramsay. Jillian. Yes, Chef. Perfectly cooked. To do well while I have previous Hell's Kitchen winners in my kitchen, that just makes me so happy. I just wanted to say you guys are awesome and you're my inspiration. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Uh, ladies, clearly you won tonight. Uh, Trevor, absolute disaster. Ladies, great job. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Well done. Trev. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Kicking ass and taking names. We're loving this winning streak that we're on. Come on, quick, let's go. Let's go, guys, yeah? The minute one of your team members is standing staring at you, get them do something. Yes, yeah, Chef. Yes, chef. Let's go. Mourinho. See you, Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please, for family night. Sure we It's family night in Hell's Kitchen. I love family day. And Chef Ramsay has provided a variety of fun activities for the families. Hell's Kitchen! The beef Wellington, yeah. Kids aren't the man, no. And along with the classic menu, Chef Ramsay has added fish and chips, burgers, and chicken fingers for the young diners. He has also included a grilled cheese station run by Jackie and Ariel for the red side, and Jared and Chad for the blue side. Let's go, Marina, please. Here we go. Wake up, guys. Five cups of table eleven. One burger, one chicken. Two carbonara, one scallops. Yes, yes chef. chef. Drop a burger right now. Let's go. It's crunch time. You know, I've had a couple of hiccups. I'm going to have to go out there and prove myself to these guys and let them know that I'm here to stay. Scallop set in a couple of minutes to go with those apps. How long carbonara, Eddie? Give me five more on carbonara, all right? Sure. Dropping scallops. Hey, hey, all right, blue team. He's dropping the scallops to take 90 seconds. You're five minutes. He's just under five minutes. Why is he dropping the scallops? All you're doing is just fucking him and fucking him and fucking them. Yes, Chef. That's all you're doing. And it's our first table. We're going to get on pace right now. While Kevin tries to get on pace with the rest of his team, over in the red kitchen. On order, four covers, table 32, two pizza, two risotto. Yes, Chef. Hassan and the red team race to get out their first ticket. Just leave it there, spin it around on that part hurt. of the stone, OK? Hurt, hurt, hurt. This is my lionesses over here, OK? And I'm the fucking cheetah. And I'm fucking ready to fucking lead these women into victory. Hit it with that stock. You're ready to go. You need to speed it up, right? Oh. I'll fix that for you. Don't worry, don't worry. Pizza is coming right now. Perfect, perfect. Walking with pizza. Chef, pizza. Walking risotto on your right. Good, beautifully cooked. Let's go. Come on, ladies, let's kill these guys, OK? With Hassan clearly in the driver's seat. Keep talking, right? Excellent. That's the dialogue. That's what I want to hear all the time. The red team moves on to their next ticket. Three covers, table 50. One kid's fish and chips, two scallops. Yes, yes chef. chef! While the blue team is hoping to do the same. First burger, walking. Carbonara, scallops. Carbonara's walking. Let's go. Carbonara on your left, chef. Scallops. You guys ready? Come on! Yes, chef. Scallops, chef. Yeah, they're fucking overcooked. Come here, all of you. Look at them. It's pathetic and it's embarrassing. Get it together! Kevin's a fuck up. He didn't even know what the fuck was going on. These are those right I there. I got a refire right here. Out, right out, out of the way. Season from a fucking height. Let's go. Watch. In 12 o'clock. 1 o'clock. 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock. Four o'clock, yes? Yes, chef. Bang, that is it. You just leave them there. Yes, chef. Then you check in with your garnish. Ah, oh, what the fuck hot, are you hot, doing? Chef, I grabbed it oh, with my hand. I grabbed it with my God. hand. God. Oh, fucking hell. That's my mistake. My mistake. Get out. Fucking get out. Now you're making history. You're going to burn down the restaurants. Refarm scallop. Yes, chef. While Kevin and Joe have stalled the blue kitchen, the red team. Here you go, Chef. Walking with scallops. Continues to fire out appetizers. Like scallops right here, Chef. As well as grilled cheese made in the dining room by Jackie and Ariel. Hi! 
What's your name? Millie. Millie? Yes. Are you from England? How did you know? I'm a psychic. <laughs> <laughs> I love your accent. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> People from Britain just sound more proper. White cheddar, please. <laughs> she sounded smarter than me, and she was like 10. I would like a grilled cheese. <laughs> Give me your best American accent. Hi, my name is Millie Brown. I'm 10 years old, and oh I'm a kid. <laughs> you have a better American accent than I do. <laughs> While Jackie does her best to keep the diners entertained, back in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay finds nothing that is amusing. Where are the scallops? Right here, Chef. Right here, Chef. Hi, all of you. Fucking hell. Just touch them. Come on, just touch them. Just touch that. Touch it. Look at it, look. Ah! I've just done them with you. And they're all fucking overcooked, raw. This is not normal. All of you, come here. Get in there. Yes, Chef. Oh. Move, Chef. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not tonight. I'm all fucking nice. Not tonight. Get over there. Get over there. What in the fuck is going on here? What is going on? You, I am fucking up, do chef. me a big favour. Yes, chef. Yeah? Get your apron off, get packed, and fuck off out! First, get out! Get out! Yes, chef. Who's next? Get your shit together and salvage what's left. Yes, chef. For all of you, fucking wake up! Now! Kevin just went down. I don't know what the fuck happened. Go. Go. No more mistakes. We can't have a shit service. Gerard! Yes, chef. On the fish, yes, now! Chef. Let's rebound, guys. Let's rebound, guys, guys. I gotta refire scallops. I gotta refire scallops. Her refire scallops. As the blue team gets some much needed help from Jared. 90 seconds. Out in the dining room. Maybe leave some extra on the side for me. So. Hell's Kitchen maitre d' Marino has a special ticket for the red team. This is my family, chef. Your family, thank, thank you. you. V, V, VIP. Marino's family, daughter's birthday. Two tuna on New York Strip. Yes, chef. Right now. Let's go. I put my New York in the pan. You got that fall, right? For the tuna? You got two tunas going out, though, no? Doesn't he need two tunas or no? I got it. Oscar can talk to his blue in the face. I'm just going to continue to do what I need to do. One New York on your left. Where's the tuna? Right here, chef. Walk with tuna. Right here's for the one. It's two tuna. Danny. Yes, chef. Look at me. That's dying. There's the New York trip. Where's the other tuna? Bobby say, chef. Oh, my god. Danny, can you just listen for once? Danny, I haven't got all night. Yes, chef. Nobody's on the same page. While Danny refires her two tunas, the blue team Hot scallops. finally gets out their first ticket. Send that, please. Come on, John. Let's go. On order, three covers, table one. Fire rapidly. Two fish and chips, three risotto. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Bounce back. Just bounce back, guys. Risotto, how long? Three minutes, chef. Why is it so soupy? It's there to glaze it and to bind it together, not fucking swimming in it. Chef, I can Why fix that right now, chef. I got three in one pan, chef. You got that? Yep. I got it. You get one back too soupy, you can let it cook out, maybe add a sprinkle of cheese, but you're taking a handful of cheese and throwing it in. Go ahead, send that up. That's going to make you look bad, not me. How long on Rizzo's? Walk in and... Chef. It's not even together. Hey, look what I've got now. There's no lava, it's all individual. We've gone from soupy to congealed. Someone's just whacked in cheese in there to bring it back together. Fucking lazy. Who did this? Chef, that was me, chef. Yeah, that's fucking lazy. Lazy. Two minutes out on those Rizzo's, guys. Thanks to Alan, the blue team is gridlocked once again. Over in the red kitchen. Where's the fucking tuna with the New York strip? Where's that? I have that right here, chef. Danny's refired tuna is at the pass. Tuna's overcooked. Hey, red team. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Overcooked tuna. That's right, young lady. Awesome, Danny. Thanks for uh, having us go to the front of the fucking kitchen right now because you can't cook fish. Refire urgently. Let's go. Yes, chef. I want it in fucking five minutes. Fire it right now. We can Fire have it out right in five now. minutes, no? Yes. Let's get it. Fire another one. Danny can kiss my ass. You're going to say, you know, all high and mighty that you're the best chef here. But if you can't cook, then you're clearly not the strongest chef here. OK, we can do this, right? While the red team starts their third attempt on the same order. Dropping tuna. The blue team. 30 seconds on those risos. Is hoping Alan's new risotto hits the mark. Walking my risotos. 
Has that fish and chips gone yet? Fish and chips is one minute out, chef. We still have a shot, in spite of everything that has fucked up so far. Fish and chips. Walking. Right here, to your right. Fucking raw fish. All of you, stop! Look at this fucking mess. It's just disgusting. We've had every possible fucking mistake tonight. And now it's beyond a joke. Raw fish! All of you, get the fuck out of here. Yes, yes, chef. Get out! And I mean now! <sighs> it was embarrassing tonight. Get out! Over in the red kitchen. Tuna, New York strip. Coming to the pass in 15 seconds, chef. Hassan and Danny hope the third time's the charm with their refired New York strip and tuna. Coming out to the pass, one New York. Walking with tuna. There is no option to fail. We cannot fuck this up. If we do, another one of us is going home. Fucking steak's raw. Hey, hey, Red Team. Red Team! Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. It is contagious. There's just mistake after mistake after mistake. Do me a big favor, all together. Fuck off! Get out! Get out! What happened? What the fuck, man? Red Team, let's go. Blue Team, let's go. Line up, please. Let's go. Tonight is a very special night. For the first time ever, there will be a dog show happening in our dining room tonight. Tickets will come in, normal order, but we will fire the appetizers after the opening round of the dog show. Clear? Yes, Chef. Yeah. Once all the appetizers are served, that will be the cue for the dog show to continue. The winner of the dog show cannot be announced until all the entrees have been completed. Now, that is precision beyond belief, guys. Yes, yes chef. chef. Get on your stations. Yes, yes chef. chef. Marina, open house kitchen, please. Yes, Chef. One, two, three, boom! Yeah, man. Time to shine, baby. Tonight, Hell's Kitchen will open its doors to Los Angeles' most well-heeled guests. Getting close to time to go on. Timing and precision will be key, as after each round of this American Kennel Club competition, the chefs must be ready to send out the next course. On order. First stick of the night. Here we go. Red team. Two prawns, two Caesar, two risotto. Heard, Heard chef. chef. Two prawns, two Caesars. Heard. I'm doing this right here, and then chive sticks. Frank's a little confused. I'm definitely trying to keep an eye on him with this dog show. We got to time it out perfectly. Let's go, Red Team. Yes, chef. While chefs on the red side ready their stations, over in the blue kitchen. On order, and obviously not away. Two risotto, two scallops. Yes, yes, chef. chef. Scallops are not going to be a problem today. Fernando on the fish station. Why are you seeking scallops, young man? I got, I'm sorry, chef. Has jumped the gun. You fucking heard me. Why are you seasoning scallops? What a fucking idiot. And Chef Ramsay has something to say about that. All of you, come here. Oh, fuck. Here we go. I'm going to call out the orders. After the first show, we're going to start cooking. Your seasoning scallops. Why? Completely forgot about the, about the you seven minutes. You forgot. Minute. So we haven't even started anything, but you've just forgot. Just like that. Hey, blue team, fucking wake up, will you? Yes, Chef. Listen. I will, Chef. I, I just, I don't fucking get it. Well, Fernando. Fucking Muppet begins dinner service already in the doghouse. Out in the dining room. Welcome everyone to the first ever Hell's Kitchen Best in Show. The preliminary round of the dog show is commencing. We have the Rhodesian Ridgeback. The ridge of hair on the back is the hallmark of this breed. The yeah, Ridgeback is really a quality dog. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, they look so cute and cuddly. Let me go play with the dogs, rub some bellies. The smooth collar. The smooth collie originates in Scotland and Northern England and was bred to herd sheep. The top line's a little weak right behind yeah. the others. Yeah. This is the first Hell's Kitchen dog show. We can't fuck this up. So, Sade, don't give us dog food. The Portuguese water dog has a waterproof coat. They were bred to accompany fishermen on their boats. Chef, the final dog is coming out final right now. Final dog's coming out. Thank you. Thank you. From San Diego, California, this is Kane. Two minutes away, yes? Yes, Please give a round of applause to all of our amazing competitors. 
Our judges will certainly have a difficult time selecting our three finalists for the next round. See, this cavalier is bigger than the Lhasa. And that should be. No. No. Let's go, guys. We're live. A minute and a half. Let's go. After that, four risotto, two scallops. Move, guys. Yes, chef. Let's go. We're live. Yes, Frank. chef. Yes, chef. Wake up. Let's go. Right out of the gate, Frank's got the salads. I'm working the risotto and the prawns. This is going to be easy. Two and a half, Latasha. Yes, chef. Come on. Good. Come on. Let's go. Go, go, go. go. While Latasha leads the pack on the red side. You got the salads yes, ready, I right? Do. Second ticket. Two Caesar salad, two crab cake. Yes, chef. Over in the blue kitchen. Tell me when you're ready, Abba. Yeah, okay, no problem. Fernando's back in the spotlight with his scallops. Brian, how long are we sold, Baba? Ready, ready. Come on, these scallops. They're not ready. I'm not gonna put raw food on the plate. There's no fucking way. They're, They're not, not ready. ready. Too slow. Not ready. Not, I'm not gonna send them raw. Just let me fucking cook you also. Fuck. While Fernando is still searing his scallops. They're fucking raw. Back in the red kitchen. Walking two prawns, two risotto in the pasha. Very nice, that risotto. Latasha, on hot appetizers, is delivering food at a very consistent and rapid pace. Go, please. At this point, I'm just hoping Frank's able to keep up. Come on, you got to get in and out quick. In and out, you got it. Two Caesar salad, two crab cake. How long? Crab cake, chefs. Frank, how are you looking on Caesar? Come on, Frank, please. I heard you, chef. I'm working it. How long? I got everything Frank. going, chef. No problem. After being hounded for salads. Walk it, walk it, walk it. Service, please. Frank finally delivers on cold appetizers. While over in the blue kitchen. Two risotto, chef. Walking go. Go, 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 go. Fernando is ready with his much anticipated scallops. Service, please. Woo. I was close. <laughs> Who are you thinking with regards to the three? The golden, the Lhasa, and the Porta. And the Porta. We got it. Four risotto, two scallops. How long? In my hand, chef. All right, come on, keep it together, keep your composure. With Bryant and Fernando. Walking, walking. Service, please. Now in sync, the blue team has hit their stride on appetizers. I love the scallops. They are really great. Meanwhile, the red team. Two risotto, two Caesar salad, two crab cake. How long? 30 seconds. Is ready with their last order of appetizers. Crab cake, where is it? Crab cake, yes. Two risotto. Where's the Caesar? Well, almost ready. Come on, Frank. I got it, I got it, I got it. Jesus helps. Quick, fucking easiest thing. We are only moments away from revealing our three finalists. Caesar, Frank! I'm coming with the Caesar. Finish the Caesar, finish the Caesar. Jesus, come on, come on, two Caesars. Yeah, come, on, come on, guys. Yep, 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 chef. You got too much dressing, chef. Frank, if we're beating into the past with hot apps, that does not look good for Red Team. We just really want to move on to entrees. The only thing holding us back are some fucking Caesar salads. Hey, Red Team. Hey, all of you, come here. It goes so well. And look at the shit I just got. Look, just, just. Girls, that's my fault. I'll fix them right the now. Most famous salad in the world. Yes, chef. You can do it, Frank. While well, Frank's sloppy salads have stalled the red team. Come on, Frankie, pull it together, baby. Pull it together. Over in the blue kitchen. Three prawns, one risotto, two seasoned salad. The end of appetizers is in sight. Right here. Risotto. The prawn. Service, please. They're ready to start the second round. They're just waiting for the last appetizer. But the dog show can't continue until the red team is also finished. Come on, Frank. We're holding a dog show for your bloody Caesar salads. Bro, it's a Caesar salad. This should be no brainer. Come on, guys. It's just a Caesar salad. Frank, we're waiting for a Caesar salad. How long do you think this is going to take? Move, Frank. It's in my hands. move. And now everyone and their dog is waiting for Frank to get his act together. Walking. Thank you. Finally. The fuck just happened? Service, please. With the salads finally delivered. All right, now let's focus on helping yep. the team. Out in the dining room. Let's welcome tonight's top three dogs. The final round of the dog show is beginning. The Lhasa Opso, the, the Golden Retriever, and the Portuguese Water Dog. But back in the blue kitchen. Hey, stop, all of you, come in. Chef Ramsay seems like he has a bone to pick. I don't know what happened there, whether that was a freak accident. Oh, fuck. What do we do now? But that's the best 40 minutes we've ever done in any service. Oh, thank you. You communicated, and you worked for each other. Is this a fucking dream? Did Chef Ramsay just really compliment the blue team? Whatever it was, keep it up. Yes, yes chef. chef! How old are we? He's only 12 months. Keep it going. Two urns and two duck, two sea bass. Yes, yes chef. chef. While Steve on the meat station. You got all the garnishes going, right, brother? And Fernando on the fish station. I'm going to need at least five minutes work to keep up the blue team's positive momentum. Back in the red kitchen. 
Away. To sea bass, two wellington, two salmon. Four pork chops. Three minutes right. to the Let's show. go. Yes, Frank, yes. you help roll. Yeah. Uh, garnish. Latasha continues to be a strong leader on the red team. All your pork is in the oven now, right? I direct Frank to go over and help roll on garnish. Jennifer is good on fish station. I'm going to step over and help Sterling. You slice, yes, run to the pass. This is going to help us have a strong push. And you know they want to announce the winner after the entree. Uh, so yes, we've got to go, yes? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Is this a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Frank, is the season? You're going to go with the four garnish first for the yes. porks, OK? Uh, go to the four garnish for the porks duck. first. We're doing duck next. Yeah. Two of You're going two duck first, two Wellington. Sterling's like, OK, OK, yeah, I got it. Let me know when you're ready, OK? Two minutes, Sterling. Let's go. Yes, chef. Take a deep breath. Take yeah, a I'm deep breathing, breath. Babe. Breathe. Don't okay. slice your Wellington until that garnish is in the pan. Okay. I refuse to let Meat Station go down tonight. Keep it calm and cool. Yeah. Don't touch this pan. It's nice and hot. Santos. 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 Stop just yelling my name. Tell me what you need, and I'll be more than happy to cook it for you, bro. Santos. Yes. The communication between Steve and Santos right now is like a bulldog over here. Come on, Santos. And a chihuahua over here. Two minutes. The bulldog's going, rrr, 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 rrr. 30 seconds. All right, I got you, I got you. And the chihuahua's just like, rrr, rrr. I can't have you yell at me. How long? I'm ready in what, two minutes, chef? Good, drive him then. Santos, Santos. Yes, hey, today, Sorry. get with him. Go over there. I'm That's... putting her next to you. She's going to tell you what's going. What's next? Two bears. Two bears. Let her talk. Thank He's going to fucking rip it. While Sade. Two bears, two Wellington, two duck. Steps in to communicate for Steve. Santos. Yes. Ah. Santos. Over in the red kitchen. I'm going with my four pork. Latasha has taught Sterling a valuable lesson. I'm walking by behind. Wait, wait, wait. Let her get okay. the garnish up there first. How to stay in sync with the rest of the team. Yes. See, now he's slicing the pork. They're working the pork dishes first. We're pumping out that food. Not really sure who to thank. Sterling or Latasha. We're good. First pork, overcooked. Dry and overcooked. Sterling. What am I going to have to do? Go back and do it myself? Flashing another pork. I got you. While the red team waits for Sterling to refire the pork, on the blue side. Come on, guys. In spite of his communication challenges, two Wellington, two duck. Steve is delivering on the meat station. Fernanda, two sea bus. Walking. Everyone calm down. Don't fuck with me and my meats. Trust me, I know when they need to go out. Service, please. Yeah, the balance is all there. Straight after, two Wellington, two duck. Let's go, how long? I'm walking in 15 seconds. Oh, all what? Two Wellingtons, two ducks. We now have to choose best in show, which I think is going to be very hard, but I do have a specific favorite. Walking right now. Walking behind. Thanks to a strong team effort. Off you go, please. Let's go. Entrees are leaving the blue kitchen without any issues whatsoever. The spinach is awesome. But in the red kitchen, they're still waiting on Sterling's. Pork, please. Hot behind you, chef. Pork. Two sea bastard, two salmon. How long? They're coming right now, chef. A beautiful color on there. Yes, chef. Wow, a compliment from Chef Ramsay. Second of happiness and move along. Service, please. Entrees are now leaving both kitchens at a good pace. How much longer is this going to take? Because we have a winner now, and we've been here for a long time. But not good enough, because the plan called for all entrees to be delivered before the winner could be announced. Two pork, one salmon. How long? Two minutes. Yeah, two minutes on that. Judges, they reach their decisions. Yeah, How long two, for the main course? Listen, two minutes. Sorry. Come on, Blue okay. Team, speed up. Walk in the window right now, sir. High pants, chef. Come on with the fucking Wellingtons. Behind. Service, please. Let's go, guys. Last ticket. Yeah. Two sea bass, one duck, yes? Yes, yes. yes. How long? My last duck. Just please give me 20 seconds. Thank you. Everything's going great right now. Right behind you, chef. This is how it should be. Thank Two you. minutes? You heard Two the minutes. Man. Two minutes, thank okay. you. A garnish is shit. Yeah, it's grease everywhere. Mm, just, it's just so greasy. Santos, get another one fired. Come on, fucking finish this out. This taste of oil. Come on, man. You got it. Let's go. While Santos's garnish has put the brakes on the blue team's last table of entrees. I just looked at the plate. That's just grease. Chef Ramsay looks to the red team. Two pork, one salmon, yes? I can go on yes, that. Chef. Hoping they can finish strong. Salmon garnish, yes? Yes. Walking. We started off poorly, but we're going to finish strong. We are not going down tonight. Behind, salmon. Stop. Back to the super dry pork again. Sterling! So dry, it's wrinkly inside. I've seen pork jerky with more moisture. And it gets worse. Taste that. Oh, really? 
Damn it. Damn it. Touch that. Fuck you. I wouldn't even serve that to a dog. Bland fucking bland. Bland. What is going on? It's driving me mad. We're only moments away from announcing the winner. It's over an hour into the first ever Hell's Kitchen dog show. How much longer is this going to take? Because we have a winner now. But the judges are waiting for both kitchens to complete their entrees before announcing the winner. The winner. Why? Is that too long, Chef? We needed to be fired sooner. I have another one in the oven. You got another one working? Good. I can go, too. I got two for Chef. They're ready to go. Push in this garnish. While Ro races to refire her cauliflower. Let me know when your garnish is going to walk. All right, I'll, as soon as it's ready, I'll let you know. The Blue Kitchen. Service, please. Has delivered their final entrees. They have to announce the winner. Please welcome back our top three dogs. All we have to do is sell this ticket and we're home free. Shannon, yes. Service, please. Go. Come on, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and first ever Hell's Kitchen Best in Show, Quattro. The Portuguese water dog. Congratulations. Hey, play it down. Okay, right, uh, Ariel, two seconds, yes, please. Chef. Right, one kitchen. No red, no blue. One dynamic team with six strong individuals. I need to see that emerging. Yes, yes chef. chef. So, tonight we're going to be hosting couples' night. So it's going to be sort of, you know, romantic and to add a little bit of magic to the dining room. We're going to be serving the most amazing menu table side. Starting off with chopped salad for two. Then, as an entree, we'll be serving porterhouse steak for two. Kevin. Yes. You're in the dining room. Perfect. Thank you. Excellent. Remember one thing. There are no winning teams tonight. There's only winning chefs. Tonight, you seriously step up to the mark. Is that clear? Yes, yes. chef. Yes. We're opening up. Let's go. Game time, fellas. Let's do it. OK, where's the Belgian brown twat? OK, JP. Yeah. Open Hell's Kitchen, couples night. Tonight is couples night in Hell's Kitchen, and diners will have the option of ordering a special table-side menu, beginning with a chopped salad appetizer, followed by a porterhouse steak for two. You guys share that? OK. OK, here we go. Four couples table 20, yes? Two special menu, one tortellini, one risotto. Kevin. I don't want minuscule portions. I want nice portions of salad, yes? Nice portions, yeah? yes, chef. Let's go. I'm feeling really good about dinner service. And the hot apps is my station. It's great. I'm super stoked. Risotto's two minutes great. out. Off you go, Kevin. All of the appetizers must arrive at the table together. So timing is critical between Suzanne on hot appetizers and Kevin on tableside service. I believe, ma'am, you had a chopped salad and you, sir, had a chopped salad? Two tortellini. Where's my other tortellini? I've got two tortellini here. Where's my other tortellini? It's three tortellini per portion. I've got two. Oh, I thought it was two, chef. What? I dropped two tortelloni instead of three. I thought I heard two for some oh, reason. Oh, come on. Fucking hell. I know. I don't even know why that happened. And would you like me to go a little heavier on the, the sweet? Everyone loved me. I was out there hamming it up. All right, I like this. And trying to buy a lot of time for the kitchen because I kept staring over my shoulder and they weren't plating anything. Suzanne! It's coming up, 30 seconds. You told him two minutes ago, which is four and a half minutes ago. This is all natural, untouched, and it's just straight from the ground. You start to realize that two minutes is really a bullshit lie and Suzanne needs to communicate a hell of a lot better. All right, Suzanne! One and a half minutes, Chef, on risotto, tortelloni. Chef, I'm ready on 51, Chef. 51, yeah. Fucking shit. Kevin, minute and a half out. I got to make another one. Yeah, yes. fresh another one. Fire another one. Hey, madam. Yeah, she's firing another one now. Yes, Chef. Now, let's try this again. Hi, I'm Kevin. How are you this evening? You can't screw us like that, guys. I said the time is crucial. I messed up the entire flow of the restaurant. Perfect. But I can't imagine that you have to be so perfect to win this thing. You good. You good. Three tortellini per portion, yes, chef. With Suzanne finally delivering her appetizers to the pass. Let's go. Complete. She is now back in sync with Kevin at his tableside salad. Serve you, madame. I hope you enjoy everything, folks. Thank you very Take much. care now. <laughs> Uh, it's just going to kind of be another pain in the ass because not only do we have to focus on what we're doing, I'm going to have to keep an eye on Suzanne now. I order two cups of table 45, two cups of table 24. Two scallops, one risotto, one tortellini. Entree, one salmon, one turbot, one lamb, one sea bass. Four minutes ban on those scallops. I'm not down yet. Hold on. Tell me when you put them down, please. All right. I'm most concerned about making sure all my fish is properly cooked tonight. I'm not getting behind. 
So you started to seal that sea bass. Come here, quickly, leave it there. So you're searing the sea bass. It's the... Listen to me! Yes, sir. But we haven't even sent the appetizers. Here we go again. New fucking night. Hey, I'm watching you like a whore. I'm a fucking eagle over you. I understand. What's on ye? Let's go. Coming up, chef. Scallops. Coming right now, chef. Van. Coming, I'm Van. coming, chef. No, no, no. Stop! Come here. You're sweating in the food. It's yeah. hot, chef. I know it's fucking hot. You're sweating in the food. Man, I was sweating my ass off, man. But I don't know if it went in the food. What's you want me to do? Serve them. By the way, you got a little touch of van on that one. Look at me. Help me out here. I'm out there busting my ass, bro. I'm sweating my ass off. I'm working as hard as I can for you, chef. You're sweating in the food van. He makes me look like a bitch constantly. Send the whole fucking lot back, Scott. I can't go like this again. With Chef Ramsay putting the stop sign on Van's sweaty scallops. Tickets. Here we go. Now I've got fucking entrees. Orders continue to pile into the kitchen while very little food is leaving it. You just fucked me. Hey, hey Van. Yes, Two chef. seconds. You come here, you. Yes, Hannah. chef. So you fucked me on the appetizers and all the fucking entrees that come at the same time. I've got one pass. Now you're screwing the whole fucking restaurant. Yes, chef. Entree, two lamb, one porterhouse. Two lamb, one halibut, one sea bass. Yes, yes, chef. Please be careful, lamb medium. Yes, chef. The kitchen is now working on both appetizers and entrees. Hey, how long do you need for a sea bass? I need time to get this urgent order out. And Tennille on the meat station is leading the charge to get food to the pass. Two minutes? Two minutes. Two minutes. Hey, huh? Ariel, can you go up in two minutes? Yes. Good communication. Save it to the end of service, chef. You're making me blush. Two scallops, let's go. I'm going up. Two minutes, counting down. What's my name? Tanil. Tanil. Somebody's taking my fucking lead. The person I least expected to. Tanil has impressed Chef Ramsay with her communication. Coming out with two lamb and sauce right now, chef. Lamb on your side, chef. Now she hopes to impress him with her cooking. That lamb's perfectly cooked. The first time I hear chef say this lamb is perfectly cooked, I'm like, stay perfect. As soon as you slip, you know what he's gonna do? Shove that lamb up your ass! Good girl, Tanil. Somebody's woken up and smelled the coffee. After Tanil's success on the meat station, it's up to Van to keep up the momentum on the fish station. I'm sending now two halibut, one lamb, one turbot. Yeah, I've got one halibut. What do you need? Two halibut? I've got everything, but I'm dragging a fucking halibut. Oh, shit. Three minutes, chef. The pan's not even hot. It's not even sizzling. Van! Van! Ah! Uh, I'm going up, all right? Yeah. Fucking raw. Just stop. All of you, come here. You especially. There you go. Yeah, it's been a long fucking night. Fucking hell. This is too much. This is too much. It's too much. Give me a minute. This cannot be possible. Oh, no. And I keep letting him down. I mean, the man was in the fetal position. How do you think that makes me feel? It hurts me to see him be hurt by me trying to send out some little undercooked halibut. Fuck. Hey, you me. In the fucking back. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but you've got to get a grip. I'm trying. You have got to get a fucking grip. I can't send any more raw fucking halibut. Yes, it's killing me. I'm working hard, chef. Next time, you're out. I understand, Chef. Porterhouse is up first, Chef. Come on, let's just keep going. One turbo, one salmon, one sea bass. Just stop. Come here. Come here. All of you, come here! Yes, yeah, Chef. You. I'm sorry, Chef. I turned around for a minute. Look. That lettuce? I didn't even know that fucking burner was on. I'm sorry, what Chef. What the fuck are you doing? Obviously, I wasn't intentionally cooking the lettuce. It's in front of your fucking eyes! I just got this jacket. I told myself, when you get to that black jacket, you do not fuck that shit up. This is not possible. And this is what I did. It's not good enough, Ariel! Yes, Chef. Who the fuck's gonna eat that? Blackened, burnt salmon garnish. Lettuce needs about two more minutes. It doesn't get much worse than that. Scott, come here. Come here. Fuck off. Fuck me. Is that it? Oh, well, fuck that. Absolutely fuck that. Not worth it. Fuck them. What the hell is going on? Can't take it anymore. I cannot take it anymore. Unfucking real. 
Oh, fuck me. That's the first. They're gone. So they, are they coming back? I can't take it anymore. Oh, dear. Chef walks out of the kitchen, and I'm thinking, if he shuts it down, we're all going home. Let's go straight away. Order the house medium. What's after that? Sea bass. All right, five minutes. Somebody had to communicate for this team tonight. Somebody had to do it. Guys, we got to pick it up. Hurt. With Chef Ramsay out of the kitchen. Let's go. Tennille tries to take control. Sam and Hall of the Porterhouse. Ariel, how long do you need? Just wait so I can catch up. Tennille, let me fucking catch up, OK? We're going up in three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. I'm fucking over this shit. When you see a teammate fucking having trouble, Ariel, three minutes. Let them get their shit together. That's called having somebody's back. What are we doing? Sam and Halibut, Porterhouse Medium? Five minutes, guys. No, no, no. We said three minutes. We said three, three minutes. minutes. Turn. You got it? Ariel, we're struggling a little bit. If you need help, I'm here. Get me spinach going for a lamb. Ariel, two minutes. Asparagus on spinach on. I tried to help in any way I could, but she seemed defeated. Let's go straight away. On what, Tennille? Hey, tension runs real high in the kitchen. You can snap, you can cuss, just have my shit at the window all the time. You broccolini. Thanks to Dave, Ariel's garnish has finally made it to the pass. All right, so salmon halibut porterhouse. But before food can go out to the diners, there's one important detail left to take care of. We got to play this and get it out of here. Chef Scott and Chef Ramsay, they don't know where to be found. If they're not here, screw it. Let's just do it. One more porterhouse medium. You got the halibut sauce? Coming right now. I'm going to go up there and do the porterhouse. Finish this ticket right here. After getting things on track at the pass, Kevin heads back out to the dining room. All right, I'm back. <laughs> leaving Suzanne in charge. You said I don't know how to play this. Do the best you can. Suzanne, don't you already understand? You done fucked us tonight. The least you can do is stand your ass up here and try and play something. Dan. Huh? Play this. All right. Play it. I'm plate. Suzanne, let's get this out. It's up there. Who knew if that was a test when the chefs walked out, if they were like, oh, let's see if they're going to plate this and, like, send substandard food out. Better just not to do anything at all. I can't fucking put my name on this because I don't know if it's right. I'm not putting my name on this. I'm not putting this out. Bitch, move over. Let me put this fucking food out. Salmon, halibut. Sorry about your weight. In spite of Suzanne, food continues to make its way to the hungry diners. Really good. And the chefs. Porterhouse medium salmon halibut, yeah? Porterhouse salmon halibut. Porterhouse salmon halibut. Seem to be hitting their stride. How long, guys? Two minutes out. Two minutes all day. We're all good on two minutes? Except for. Man, two minutes? We going up in two minutes? Look at me when I'm talking to you, boy. Two minutes? Yes, two, two three salad. minutes, yes. Three minutes. Van, two, two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Busting my balls and I'm getting treated like a little girl, man. Van, don't lose your confidence, man. You know how to fucking cook. I know. I know I'm good. I just gotta keep fighting. Just gotta keep fighting. Lamb, sea bass, porterhouse. Two and a half. Lamb, sea bass, Two and a half minutes. minutes. The team is pulled together and continues to send food out of the kitchen. Behind high food. Meanwhile, Chef Ramsay is coming back in. I fucked up tonight. What the fuck are you doing? I know I can do this, and I really want to be able to prove that. I think Van... You're sweating in the food! Ariel and Suzanne... Now you're screwing the whole fucking restaurant! All did a horrible job tonight. Now we're going to get shut down. Stop. Kevin! Now. Oh, shit. Here we go. Urgently, Kevin, let's go. I've never done that. No one's ever pushed me that far to actually fucking just disappearing in my own fucking restaurant. Nobody. You, you, you. Fuck off, will ya? Get out of it. Just get out. All of you. While Tennille, Dave, and Kevin finish dinner service... It's right here. Ben, Suzanne, and Ariel are just finished. Fuck that shit. Done, bro. You got no time for this shit. I'm a fucking man. Don't fucking treat me like no little bitch. This shit ain't real. Fuck them. Why are you so pissed? Because he's riding my fucking dick 24-7 in here. I'm worried about Van. He's seriously, like, fucked in the head right now. I'm working my fucking dick in the dirt, and I'm getting screamed and yelled at from some psychotic British motherfucker all the time. I I'm losing it, man. I'm losing it. I don't give a fuck anymore, man. Fuck all y'all. Can't fucking take it. 
Done. Done. Fuck you. Fuck this. It's a total mind fuck right now. But uh, I'm not a quitter. I know I want to be here. I just got to keep fighting. While Van tries to calm himself down. No way are we giving up. No way, chef. We're not giving up. Let's go. Dave, Kevin, and Tennille hustle to complete dinner service. Come on, guys. Last table. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Last table. Guys, the telly's up, guys. You need anything? Two carrots. Two carrots. Sauce for halibut. Good. Yes, carrots. I got you, baby. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's go, Dave. Fish. I think that's going to do it. Is that it? That's it. Good. Well done. Thank you. Push the desserts, please, guys. Let's go. Tennille. Madam Chair, that's the best I've ever seen anybody cook meat. What? You didn't say that to me? Well done. Thank you. I held that kitchen down. We found the 18. Yeah, finish strong. Ladies, let's go. Let's go, guys. Uh, line up, please. Let's go. OK, tonight we're making history. Why? Because it's our first ever Mexican night. I'm so excited, aren't you guys? Yes, yes chef. Thank you. Get on your station. Let's go. Uh, James, what the fuck are you wearing? Chef. Honestly. I'd rather you give a wave than wear that. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Yes, Let's chef. go. Yes, chef. senor. Tonight's fine dining Mexican night, Chef Ramsay has created a special menu featuring an ahi tuna tostada, tequila cilantro mussels, and a New York strip with mojo verde. Order in, Chef. Ladies, let's go. Four cup of table 30. Two tuna, two mussels. Yes, yes, Chef. It's really important to start off strong. The apps have to come right out the gate and take the lead. I'm hoping Barbie can pull it out. How long for the mussels? Walking with mussels, Chef. Fuck me. One's full of flavor here, and one's totally abandoned and abused. Even the color's different. Bland, delicious. Yes, Unbelievable. Chef. Can somebody help Barbie, please? You got it? I'll back off if you got it. It's right here. I got it. I had some trouble starting off, but I'm going to fight back. I can do this. While the red team starts over on their first ticket. Come on, we can't get behind. Back in the blue kitchen. Let's go. Two tuna. Guy is ready to impress with his first appetizers. Walking with tuna. Walking with the tuna. I know my shit. I will not, under any circumstances, put out bad food. That's it. Oh, fuck me. Guy, yes, come sir. here. I've got one warm and one st touch that. Stone cold. It's good. It's good. You want to fucking argue? I want it at room temperature. Look at me. Just fucking do it. I don't want fucking tuna tasting of the fridge. Got it? Yes, Chef. Firing another two right now. The tuna, I mean, come on, you're pants here and a piece of tuna, guy. Get it right. Tuna. Coming up, Chef. Tuna. 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 Do the Where's best. The tuna. Finally. Service, please. Thank you. Guy's tuna has garnered Chef Ramsay's stamp of approval. Walking with the rats. Service, please. And appetizers are quickly leaving the blue kitchen. Sure's good. Very good. Now Barbie is ready. Walking with muscles, Chef. To get her vote of confidence from Chef Ramsay with her second attempt at the first appetizers. Service, please. A half hour into dinner service, Barbie has bounced back, and her muscles are making their way out to the dining room. Oh, they're perfect. Mm -hmm. Coming right back with the garnish. Service, please. With appetizers now steadily leaving the kitchen. Two snapper, two New York strip, two chicken, two pork. Danielle on meat. We're coming, chef, in about 30 seconds with the pork. And Dana and Kimmy are ready to move on to entrees. Are you putting this all on one thing? Yep. Oh, hey. No. Fish and meat on the same tray. Meat dripping into the fish. Fish dripping into the meat. I said to her, where do you want me to put this? Do you want it on this tray? And she's like, yeah, sure, put it on that tray. Who put that on there? That's that disgusting. Who done that? 
I'm waiting on Dana to say she did it because that bitch did it. How could you put that onto one fucking try? I think Kimmy needs to grow some balls. It's your station. Man up. Who put that on there? Was it a ghost? Somebody tell me what is happening. You fucking idiots. I did, Jeff. Dana fucking put that shit on there. I said I did it to Chef Ramsey because it was my station, but it was her fault. Go I ahead. got it, move. I got okay. it, I got it, move. Get off my station. So now we're dragging the New York Strip. I was fucking pissed that I'm getting in trouble for something somebody else did. You know I didn't put that shit on there, right? Yeah. All right, just check. Tina, did you put that on there? Nope, I asked her saw. specifically, do no, you want to put it on there? Who no, the fuck cares? Stop. It's finished the fucking food and shut oh the fuck up. I want to hear it. Stop. Stay over there and off my shit. Fucking nasty bitch, dude. Kimmy, like, for a big girl, is a big baby. That's what she is. You know, I don't need to deal with that shit if I'm trying to help you. That's bullshit. Dude, I was totally fucking straight because that bitch came All off. All right, we'll discuss it later. Let's bounce back. Boss to the wall. While Kimmy stews in the red kitchen, over in the blue kitchen. On track, one chicken, one pork, one New York strip. How long? One and a half minutes, chef. Patrick and Guy are ready with their first entrees. Chicken's I'm going to the pass with the chicken. the chicken. Do you have the New York strip? Going up to the pass, three strips. Unbelievable. Stop! One just slightly overcooked, and one that is dry. Come on, talk to me, Guy. Come on, guy, get it right. I know you can cook a steak. We've all done this a million fucking times before. Is that rocket science? Patrick! Yes, Chef. He's given up. He's, he's stopped. He's off. He's switched off. But you need to control it. You're going to start showing up now. Yes, Chef. I guess his expectation for me is a lot higher than everybody else, and that's fine. I'm always willing to step up and take the lead. All right, brother. Hold it tight. You got it. No problem. While Patrick gets Guy going on the grill, Back in the red kitchen, Danielle. Yo, my pork is like the bomb, yo. Who said Danny can't grill? Is confident that they're now ready with their first entrees. OK, I'm ready. Walking now, chef. I'm feeling confident the pork is perfect. You know, this is my time to shine. Chef, one pork. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Fuck me. Ah, oh, fuck. All of you. Yes, chef. Stop. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, come here. The ultimate insult. Raw pork, not pink, not slightly undercooked. Fucking God. shit. He was pissed. I felt really bad for the pig. The pig didn't do it. It was Danielle. Sorry, chef. Oh, Danielle. You got two more in the oven? Yeah. Two more in the oven and drop two more. Sear two okay. more. We got to do that whole check again. While Danielle starts over on her pork, in the blue kitchen. I'm starting to cut. You ready? Hey, yes, I am. Guy and Patrick are ready to have their entrees blessed by Chef Ramsay. Guys, I'm going to the pass. I'm walking do to it. the pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It... Shit, it's not. Well, almost ready. Two chicken, how long? I have a chicken in the oven. It'll be one more minute, uh, Chef. I'm very sorry. I'm working on it. Yeah, fuck off. Dude. Piss off. Sorry, Chef. Have you sliced the strip? Yeah, I did. You let him slice, and your chicken's one more minute. Piss off! What are you going to do? You shouldn't have sliced it. Patrick, you told me to cut the steak. You didn't give me the right time. You told me it's ready, and it wasn't ready. Fuck you, motherfucker. Come here, you two. The chef. Hey, piss off. I've never been thrown out of anything in my life, so it's a bad place to be, and um, it's a shitty feeling. So whatever. I fuck up a chicken, I fuck up the table. With Patrick and Guy banished to the dorms. Two pork, two chicken, guys. The remaining members of the blue team try to come together on the entrees. We can do this, baby. Let's just pull this off. And in the red kitchen. Where's the pork? Right here. Danielle is looking to redeem herself with her second attempt at the pork. I think it's good. If it's not, I'm going to freak out. Oh, shit. Daniel, he's cutting it, so get, just get another one going. Because that can't hop right now, it's Daniel. back. It's wrong. Danny, get another pork working now. Now. Hey, just stop. Raw pork again, pink and bloody in the middle. I give up. And one more thing. Get out. Danielle sent out raw pork, and she didn't send it out once, but twice. 
She sent up raw pork. Christina, flash that pork on that griddle pan urgently. Yes, chef. An hour and 15 minutes into dinner service, three chefs have been kicked out of the kitchen. You hungry, huh, baby? I know. No entrees have been served. One chicken, one pork, one New York strip. How long? And Chef Ramsay's patience is understandably wearing thin. New York is walking. I'm, I'm going up with pork, two chicken, guys. Where's the other pork? One more pork. How long? None of them are cooked. Two more minutes on the pork. Oh, what are you come about? on. This is ready right here. It's fucking ready. Just do it. Don't put out the fucking pork, though. Put out the pork. It's not cooked. It's fucking ready right here. Here. Sorry, Chef. I apologize. Sure that was done? Don't put out the pork, it's not cooked. Don't put out the pork, it's not cooked. Don't put out the pork, it's not cooked. Hey, both of you, come in. Set it wasn't done. That is it. Get out. Yes, chef. I said it wasn't done. Can I please? Get out. I just told you the pork's not cooked five motherfucking times. It's my fault, Mezzo. How dumb can you fucking be? The total number of chefs in the dorms is now up to five. And in the red kitchen, Barbie is taking special precautions to make sure she doesn't join them. Hey, you, come here, you. Yes, sir. The day we need, look at me, a thermometer. The day we need that to cook a breast of chicken. You, get out! I don't know why she can't cook chicken. I really don't. Cooking a breast of chicken is, is about as easy as taking a shit. Anybody can do it. Are you that dumb? Tiffany, yes, put chef. that down. Look at me. Yes, Seriously, chef. I've had enough. Shit burnt mash. Get out. Get out. I swear to God, I don't give a fuck if the whole team goes home tonight. I don't. Uh, Chef Ramsay is on like a kicking out spree tonight. I'm kind of scared shitless right now. I'm not going to lie. It's the four of us now. Let's get this done. Let's go. 90 minutes into dinner service, and tonight is on its way to being the worst dinner service since opening night. Got out one person that makes one more fuck up on that table. Where's the chicken? It's up. And Chef Ramsay is ready to snap. Hey, Chef. Shit talk, Chef. Come here. Burnt bits of crispy skin. Eat that. How did that taste? Terrible, chef. Get out! Hey, I'm done. You're over your head. Get out of here. All of a sudden, it's me and Roche. Holy shit! I don't give a fuck if I finish this table on my own with Scott. I don't care anymore. We are screwed big time. It's more than two hours into Mexican night. Hey. Piss off. And so far, Chef Ramsay has said adios to eight chefs. Get out of here. And the last two members of the blue team may be about to join them. Both of you, come in. I swear to God, on my children's life, you fuck that table. That's it. Yes, it's chef. history. Yes, chef. It's fucking history. I look at Brian. Brian looks at me. I said, come on, Brian. We'll push this out. How's it looking, Brian? Beautiful. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Sauce is up. Two chicken. Service, please. While Brian and Roshni. I'm walking with the garnish. Walking with the rats. Managed to rise from the Chef rubble right in the now. blue kitchen, the remaining okay. chefs on the red team. Come on, ladies, let's do this. Are also coming together to get their food out. Chicken walking to the window. Walking to the window on mushrooms. Service, please. And both teams complete dinner service. Good job, Roche. Brian, you too. Being one of the last two people in the kitchen tonight. Ooh, God, that feels good. Red team, good afternoon. Hi, chef. Yes, how are you? Red team, blue team, line up in front of the pass. Let's yes, go. Chef. Yes, sir. Yes, Quick, let's go. Right, first off, tonight it is steak night in Hell's Kitchen. I've chosen steak night as the final night that you will cook as two teams. Yes. Not only is it the final night you'll be cooking in two kitchens, but it's also the night that some of you will receive the black jacket. That is right. There it is. I love it. <laughs> Get one of these, and you are part of a unique club. Oh, I love it. So everyone's inspired, right? Yes, yes chef. chef. You ready to fight for the black jacket? Yes, yes chef. chef. 
Well, what are you waiting for? Get on your stations. We're opening in 10 minutes. Let's go. I'm putting that black jacket on because I'm going to pop out a perfect service. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're going to rock this shit out tonight. Perfection tonight. Amen. I love it. Mourinho. Yeah, chef. Let's open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Steak night. Absolutely. With Hell's Kitchen fully booked for steak night. Thank you. You want to sit with that one? Hey, Chef Ramsay has created a special menu featuring grilled filet mignon, pan-seared New York strip, and Michelle's challenge-winning flank steak with mango salsa. With filet mignon. I think I'm gonna have the same. For sure. With the added incentive of black jackets on their minds. Black, black jackets. Jacket black jackets Just have keep looking same. at it. The chefs appear to be more focused than ever. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. OK, blue team, first out the gate. Yes, four covers table 12. Two tuna, two salad. Tuna on, please. Let's go. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. I got your pan for tuna going. Millie, really, holler if you need me for anything. Heard it. Tonight's service could stand between myself and a black jacket, but I'm confident. I look great in black. I, everyone looks great in black. It's so slimming. We got two salads walking. Chef, I'm going to get going. Let's go. Heard it. Nick, how are you looking on the steaks? Tuna, please, Nick. Right now, chef. Tuna, let's go. Two tuna, chef. Nice to cook that tuna, yes? Serve it, please. A strong start for the blue team sends appetizers out to happy diners. Really good. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen. I can walk with the first ticket in one minute. Allison, you got the sliders working, right? Yep. The entire team is working together to produce their first appetizers. Fine. Chef, two Kathleen. Give me a Tom. Why is it all fucking stewed? Hey, all of you. Hey, all of you. It's like a fucking piss stew. I'm fucking damned if I'm serving that fucking dishwater. Yeah, chef. And I want to ask you a question, young lady. Is yeah, that chef. worthy of a black jacket? No, chef. I'll fix Swimming. it, chef. Swimming. I was trying to get us off to a good start, and now I'm looking like a fucking dumbass. It's like a war. It makes you want to fight harder. Come on, Michelle, yeah, please. Yeah, chef. While Michelle works on the consistency of her cappellini. Two cappellini, two tuna, yes? Two tuna, two cappellini right Bring now, chef. There is a consistent flow of appetizers leaving the blue kitchen. Very nice. And the team is charging ahead on entrees. Everybody good? Yes, sir. We gonna communicate and just get this fucking food out. You have the salmon garnish up there? Yeah. Okay. We ain't got time to talk about nothing else but getting the food out. Coming back with two fillets. What's he doing? Hi. Yes, chef. Hey, yes, come here. I got more color underneath the salmon than I have on top. Dry. Yes, chef. How about waking up first? I'll wake up, chef. Yes, chef. This is not happening tonight. Let's go. Fix it and let's go. Put it on there and sear it and let it ride. Well, Nick has left his team high and dry with his scorched salmon. Salmon in the oven. Over in the red kitchen, Michelle's refire on her cappellini appetizer. Here you go, Chef. Sorry about that. Very nice, Michelle. Well done. Has met Chef Ramsay's standards, and the red team has now shifted into a higher gear. Come on, guys. We can do this. Service, please. And with Allison in charge of both the fish and grill entrees, Chef Ramsay is looking to her for... Two salmon, two filet. Two and a half minutes, Chef. The two filet, two salmon. That's all you. OK, got gotcha. you. Hurry. I'm walking to garnish in 30 seconds. Allison, test them. All right, walking garnish. Two fillets aren't walking. I have no excuse but to rock the fish station tonight. I need to make sure that I step up as a leader for my team. Two salmon, guys, let's go. We can't afford to lose. Two salmon. Oh, fucking hell. Hey, 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 all of you, come here. All of you. Oh my God. This is so fucking embarrassing. It's an hour into steak night at Hell's Kitchen. What the fuck is going on? And it's Allison's raw filet. It's not even hot, it's raw. Has halted the red team on their first order of entrees. Black jacket right now, you don't deserve a red fucking jacket. Right now there's no excuses. Tonight is not the night to fail. Hey, don't come out until you figure it out. Yes, yes chef. chef. Here, what I really need help with. If someone what? wants to monitor these fillets so that they're done perfectly, okay, then I'll do that and work for it. I'll do that and work for it. Okay, okay. Got it. Okay. My station had a hiccup. 
a hiccup that will never happen again. I'm not gonna tank, I'm not gonna fall. Oh, man. Oh, I got raw salmon as well. Not pink, it's raw. Roll. Michelle, you run grill and yes, fry. Yes, yes, yes. Allison, you worry about salmon? While Michelle tries to help Allison overcome her struggles on the grill. Allison, I got it. We already did this up. Don't you have to get salmon down? Back in the blue kitchen. I got, I got garnish for two salmons. Got it. Heard. Walking salmon. Walking garnish. Nick is ready with his refired salmon. Behind you, chef. Go, 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 go. And the blue team has gotten over a speed bump and is back on track. Two chicken, two New York strip. Yes, yes chef. chef. Wowzers. I literally had like 14 steaks going at the same time. Two salmon, two New York, and then after that, it's gonna be two chicken and two filet. Heard. Wow. So, there's a lot of shit going on. Come on, Megan. Uh, walking too fast right now, chef. Right behind. Coming with two chicken right after that. What is that? Megan. Yes, chef. Come on, quick. Fuck me. Go, Megan. Of all the people, come on, look. Fucking raw New York strip. Yes, sir. Come on. I have never seen Megan mess up. I was genuinely surprised. Do you have another one? Yes, give me one second. That shows that she is a human being, not a robot. How long do you need? I need uh, four minutes, please. While Megan tries to rectify her mistake on the New York strip, back in the red kitchen. Come on, guys. Two fillets walking. Two fillets aren't walking. Michelle is ready with the steak refire. The fillet's fine. But Chef Ramsay is still waiting on... Salmon! All right, let's go. Josh. I need, I need two minutes, yeah? You need two more minutes? Yeah, I need two more minutes. So we can't go now because of the garnish. Yes, yeah, sure. I guess so. So now we're going to overcook the salmon because he needs two more minutes. Between Josh and Allison, it's hard to say who's worse. How long? Are you ready? Yes, Allison, yeah. are we ready? Did you hear that? They just gotta put their heads down and cook and execute, and it just doesn't seem like that's what's happening. It'll be one minute. Pathetic. With Michelle's fillets dying at the pass. Send it without it, please, Andy. Chef Ramsay, hoping that the salmon is not far behind, makes the decision to send out an incomplete order. Come back to the salmon, please. Which, unfortunately, leaves half the table without entrees. Chef Ramsay is apologizing, but they're not getting your salmon right, and if it's not done correctly, he's not gonna send it out. Meanwhile, back in the blue kitchen. Oh, yeah. A steak is my bitch. Megan is confident that her refire on the New York Strip is on point. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's now, yeah. And with Chef Ramsay's stamp of approval. All right, guys, good push. Yeah, come on, Sorry push. About that. The three chef blue kitchen is firing on all cylinders. You got New York's ready? I got New York's ready all day, baby. Heard it. I can't believe that I did that. I made a mistake, but I got it. Megan, you three to the window on those? I'll count. OK, heard. I like when he bossed me around. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen. Where are the salmon? 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I cannot go back on the floor if I don't have those food. I know. Chef, I need a few more seconds, please, yeah. Chef. Just look at the position you put him in. The other two people that fought on are finished now. Yes, Chef. They're finished. Chef Ramsay. I'm going to go. Garnish, Josh. Yes, Chef. Is still trying to complete the half-served table. Josh, do you have garnish right now? No, I need more time. So I'm cooking seven, seven okay, at a time. Hurry, hurry, Josh. Do we understand, though? You don't understand, man? Josh, I got you. Come on, Josh. Do you not know that you're in Hell's Kitchen? Secondly, do you not know that it's Gordon Ramsay at the pass? Third, do you not know that they're giving out black jackets tonight? How long? Josh, I need one more minute. OK, heard one more okay? minute. OK? I know what I'm doing. I heard you. And I'm not going to let you talk to me like I'm a child. I kid you not. Your timing is way out on every table. A battle. With Josh's garnish holding up the red team and leaving their diners unsatisfied. Can I walk to the pass with fillets? Uh, yes. Walking to the pass, steak. The blue team has continued to deliver entrees and is on their final ticket. Anything else? Set. Great. Let's go. <laughs> that was fantastic. Hey, blue team. Yes, yes sir. sir. Special dessert I want to show. Come here, Megan. Yes, Put that chef. down. First of all, that was a good service, but I want yes, you sir. to do something for me. Yes, yes chef. chef. Yeah, I want all of you to look after this. Woo! Congratulations, Megan. Thank you, Great chef. job. Hey, chef. congratulations. <laughs> well done. Thank you, chef. Uh, do oh, me a favor. Yes, yes, get in there, get them on quickly. Yes, Hurry up, let's go. What the fuck? Is this really happening right now? This is really surreal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! You already know. We part of an elite group now. 
We deserved it. Thank you, Chef Ramsey. Oh my God, I'm fucking shaking. I, I know, so I can't excited. even. While the blue team quickly puts on their new black jackets, back in the red kitchen. I'm walking with Garnish in one minute, okay? All Chef Ramsey needs now is Allison's. Salmon? 60 seconds on the salmon. To finally send out the rest of the long delayed entrees. It's ready. It's ready. Salmon? Walking salmon? Right behind? Look at that. Hi. Hi. Hi, all of you. Yes, yeah, Chef. Look oh. at that. This is like our 11th. 12th dinner service, and she still doesn't know how to cook salmon? What the fuck, Allison? Steak night, disaster night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tables. And it's like you've given up. No one's fighting back, no one's communicating. That dish resembles you. Fucked. All of you can take your jacket off now and fuck off home. T, can you get on fucking fish? Yes, chef. Can I have two fucking salmon? Yes, chef. Oh, my god. This is not happening. I just want to die right now. I am dying. Chef, four minutes just for two salmon, please, chef. Four minutes. When you're put in a situation where you got to adapt or die, trust me, death is never an option. Marino, please, one and a half minutes, please, OK? Josh. Can I get a uh, salmon garnish in 30 seconds? Hey, come on, like, let's get this shit rolling. I don't want to have to come over them fish to be the hero and then end up being a fucking zero. Hop behind, hop behind. Chef, hop behind. Chef, this is very hot. Yep. Thank you. Tea. Delicious. Very good. The salmon was hand-picked in Scotland. He just, he just caught it, yeah? He just, by hands, like that. <laughs> As the long-suffering red table finally receives their salmon entree, Chef Ramsay has a plan to finish the rest of dinner service. Guys, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I need you, you yes, sir. in the red kitchen. Get in there and get the fucking thing lifted, will you please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Just kick them off. Same station, John. Well, whatever you want. Just get in there, yes, will you please? Let's What's go the next to fillet to flank. Hey, right, red team. The black jackets have just arrived. Here's three talented cooks that have earned their black jackets. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes. I'm like, oh my god, they already have black jackets on, and we're still in these red jackets, and we're losing, and they have to come over and help us. I'm infuriated right now. I want to have a black jacket on. Right there, right there. Stop running around right me. No, you gotta cook. It's gotta cook. I'm right here. Great, congratulations. I appreciate it. But you know what? If I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down by myself. They were not happy to see us. The red team looked like they saw a ghost. They were like, fuck. Can I just work the fryer? Yeah. Heard it. Oh, yeah, sexy bitch. Go. Sauce. With support from the newest members of the Black Jacket Club, the Red Kitchen. Touchdown. Thank you, guys. Has finally completed dinner service. I tell you, steak is outstanding. Can we go back to our kitchen? I want to clean up. Ladies, yes, chef. let's go. Yes, chef. Let's go. Line up, guys. Please. Blue team. No longer guys anymore. We have a lady in there. OK, this competition right now is wide open. The most important thing is, with only four of you left, there is no place to hide. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good. Get on your sections. Get set up. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Move. Come on, man. We got this. Jean-Philippe. Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Step up and deliver. I want you to be talking to me today. Always. Heard? Cool. Hell's Kitchen reservations are always in high demand, and tonight is no different. I would like the lobster risotto. And I'm having scallops. Scallops to start. But with only eight chefs remaining from the original 20, Chef Ramsay's expectations are higher than ever. VIP, Kelly Hu, Chef. Here we go, ladies. Yes, Chef. On order. Uh, please, watch this table. Yeah. Kelly, who? Yeah, from Hawaii Five-0. Two risotto, two scallops. Yes, yes, Chef. In the red kitchen, it's up to Janelle on fish and Susan on appetizers to get their team off to a good start. Please, someone can, if someone wants to taste this, to give me a second opinion, please. Marcel, Marcel. I'm all over the app station because Susan has had mistakes, had mistakes, had mistakes. Scallops walking. Walk the risotto, please. Right. Thank you. Here are the two risottos. Four, yes? Two. Susan! Oh, shit. Come here, you, because I think you're going a little bit stupid. So, two risotto. 
Yeah? Yes, sir. There's two there. There's a whole fucking pan wasted. Yes, now, look sir. at me. Mm -hmm. At this stage of the competition, I don't expect to waste all that shit. Yes, you sir. do. I just, I don't get you making your life so much more difficult when it is just so simple. <laughs> Service, please. Here we are. Ooh, wow. A lobster risotto. It is gorgeous. Stop bullshitting yourself and literally get your head out of your ass. Sorry, chef. No matter what I do, I'm going to get yelled at. I have to just not let it drag me down. While Susan gets a handle on her portion control. Thanks for your help, Mary. We got this. No problem, yeah. All eyes are on Nedra to lead the charge on appetizers. Two scallops, one capellini, one risotto. How long? Two minutes on risotto. Two minutes on the risotto, I'm firing scallops. Let's go. Hey, I need just some sauce. Some right salt. there, right there. That's sugar. I need no, that's salt. salt. I'm looking at the box, Nedra. Don't panic, baby. Thank you. Coming to the pass with risotto. Scallops. I'm pulling the scallops now. Right here, chef. Go, 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 go. Let's go, go, go. Risotto. Yes, chef, I'm coming right now. Yeah, but it's not fast enough. Nedra's over there like she's fucking painting a picture. Like a fucking Picasso or something. Move your ass. Look at the fucking energy in here. Risotto. Is anyone listening? Yes, chef. Let's yes, go. Yes, chef. Keep it pushing. Coming to the pass. Right behind you, hot chef. All of you, come here. Quick, taste. And the first mouthful, what's the thing that hits you straight away? Salt, chef. Too salty. Yeah, dude, Nedra, come on, man. Pull, pull your shit together. And what happens now, Anthony? Because we can't get off to a great start, hey. the fish and me is going to get slammed. Right, right, absolutely. We'll get this fixed. I don't see Nedra bringing anything extra to the team right now. Nedra, you just work all the hots, all right? Yes, chef. We need a leader in the team. We need someone to step up. Zach, can you get over there to help Brown? Yes. Just cold, salads and scallop garnish. That's it. Walk into the pass with the scallop, chef. Very nice, John. Thank you, Chef. I'm walking up with risotto right now. Why are you walking? I'd rather you run. Hop right behind you. That risotto was delicious, Nedra. Thank you, Chef. I said, oh, Lord. Woo! Service, please. Go. Baby, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Keep the wheels on tight. We can do this. We can do this. Thanks to Anthony's leadership, Nedra has delivered on the risotto. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen... Two scallops, two cappellini. Yes, Chef! Chef Ramsay is looking to the women to work smarter and faster. Drive it, let's go. Two scallops, two cappellini. Two scallops, How two long, cappellini. girls? One minute. I haven't dropped these yet. You got to let me know. Let me know. Let's go, ladies. Janelle knows what she needs to do. I mean, apps are going out. She's going to get left in the dust if she doesn't step it up. I'm walking the cappellini. Okay. Yes, scallops walking. Let's go. Give me that salad. Are you okay? No, 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 no. Oh, shit, yeah, no. I did one side. Yep, we're moving, we got this. We're not fucking moving, and you, you haven't got anything. What is that shit? I'll do it again, Chef. I'm sorry, Chef. Look at them. Just touch them. Just touch them. That is disgusting. This is my worst nightmare. But... I cannot believe you've done that. What is happening in here? She's cooking four risottos, we need two, and you're bastardizing scallops. I reduce the menu, I pull down the appetizer, pull down the entrees for you to shine. Janelle is drowning at this point. You are dragging the team down. What the fuck is going on? I just want to slap her. Janelle, wake up. Come on, you're so much better than this. Get a grip. Yes, chef. You'll get it, chef. You'll get better, chef. Give me two minutes on those scallops. We got this. We're good. We got this. Fucking hell. She can't even cook a scallop. Let's go, Janelle. Don't worry, ladies. I'll get it. This refiring of the scallops has to be the most perfect dish I've ever cooked in my life. Speed up, Janelle. Let's go. Walking on scallops. Get it, girl. Behind you. Sorry about the scallop, chef. Go, please. Janelle's second attempt with scallops satisfies Chef Ramsay. Go. Let's keep it up, ladies. That's right. Keep moving forward. And the diners. It's delicious. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen, the newest member of the blue team. Watch out. Move out my way, Zach. Move out my way. I don't need nothing right now. Just move sure. out my way, okay. please. All right. Isn't exactly playing nice. Nedra. Yes, Chef. Why can't he do the cold? Why she kicked you off there? She said she don't need any help. My worry is the slowness. Chef, just watch out and let me fucking do this. I don't need no help. If I was in the blue team, I'd have her off the fucking appetizers, I'd put her on the garnish, and someone with a pair of balls would step up and take over that fucking mess. 
All of you, come here. Just look. Just look at the fucking mess in here. The shit, the disarray, the disorganization. And look, look, look. Look at the mess! Yes, Chef, I'm gonna get it together. Then let's fucking do it. Yeah, organize your shit. Yeah. Fuck, Zach, you fucking No, it's no Zach. It's no Zach. You had this shit like a fucking mess. I don't need nobody to fucking help me. Zach moved out the way. He is a stupid mother mother, OK? You gonna pull this yes, together? Yes, I'm gonna pull it fucking together. Fucking do it now. I'm taking over your station. Come on, Nick. You gotta be organized, baby. 30 seconds, we walk in. Scopes it out, then. I'm coming, Chef, right now. Then bring the shit for the scallops, please, so we can start playing. Zach is bringing it up Let's right go, now. go, Zach. You ready? You walking? Walk into the pass with risotto. Hi behind you, Chef. Service, please. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Despite Nedra's resistance, the blue team has come to her aid, and appetizers are leaving the kitchen. Delicious. Thank you. Meanwhile, the red kitchen. Susan! Yes, chef. Keep it working. Yes, chef. It's working, chef. The risotto walking. Tails behind you. Go, please. Push, push, push. Yes, yes, yes. Has hit its stride and is moving on to entrees. But over an hour into dinner service. John, scallops shouldn't be cooking on the side. They'll boil. What, they're wasted? The blue team is still fumbling their way through appetizers. Find me one more portion of fucking scallops, quickly. I got scallops you got the pan now. nice and hot? Yeah, it's fucking you know hot. It Dude, I know how to I know, scallops. sorry, I mean. Zach, stop trying to fucking help me. Just fucking get out of the way. I know what I'm doing. I've got this. Scallops. I'm ready to walk. Right here, chef, right behind. Scallops here, chef. This is a joke. Yeah, they're not serious. All of you, come here, quick. Are you serious? I'm mush, 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 mush. It's just a fucking joke. Yes, chef. God, are you kidding me? We can't even get past hot apps this late in the competition? God, it's humiliating. Yet again, we are fucking struggling. I'm putting in the gas, I'm turning the engine, I'm driving every fucking table. I'm done. Please don't let this be happening again. Listen, 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 listen. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Get out. Get out. Idiots. Way to go, blue team. Way to grab your boss. I'm furious. I'm super upset. I didn't get a fucking chance to cook shit. With the blue team out of the picture, <sighs> Chef Ramsay focuses his attention on the red team. For the VIP, two halibut, one bass from Wellington. How long? Three minutes, Chef. But his patience is clearly wearing thin. So when you hear these halibuts firing, you're going to work the pan. Yes, Chef. Work your stove. And stay in front of it, Janelle. Yes, Chef. After my mistake on the scallops, I'm under a huge magnifying glass. So I'm just going to keep my head down and keep working. All right, I'm going to slice the Wellingtons. You ready? I'm ready. Garnish. Good. Can I yeah. walk on garnish, girls? Yes. I'm pulling out the halibut now. Garnish walking. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Come on, I hope it's walking. Behind. Move, Janelle. Yes, Chef. That's raw. There's going to be an No, it's not minutes. four minutes. There's the, the, come here. It's sushi time. Just touch that. Just touch that. I don't know what you're doing now. Do you know who this is for? The VIP chef. The one VIP in the house, and I'm fucking ruining it. Sorry, chef. I hope this is a bad dream. I mean, someone pinch me, slap me, shake me out of this hellhole that I'm in right now. I'm done. You, 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 you. Fuck off out of fuck here. me. Get out. Hey, excuse me, madam. Yes, chef. Fuck me. How about fuck you? How are we making these stupid mistakes? I'm done. Fuck off. Out. Get out. Get out. Fuck, man. I was up on all my garnishes. Fucking useless. Hey, JP, deeply apologize, but this has been the worst service. Shut it down. Oh. Ladies, let's go. Line up, guys. Nothing burning, Holly. Maria, bring that lovely face of yours over here. Let's go. I was like, you think I'm pretty? And I was like, my god, nobody ever thinks I'm pretty. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I was like, something good is happening right now. Wonderful. OK, we're going to be entertaining some very special guests this evening. They're not going to be eating in the dining room. We're going to be setting up the most amazing chef tables. Nice. Having somebody sitting there in the kitchen, it shouldn't throw us a curveball. You're working in a kitchen with Chef Gordon Ramsay. Uh, you're just focused on what his expectations are. In the red kitchen on the chef table, we'll have the host of entertainment tonight, Kevin Fraser and his dear wife, 
Blue team, you are hosting a star who's in Entourage. Debbie Mazer. Beautiful. By the way, she's bringing a husband who's a chef. So on your toes in there tonight, guys, yeah? Yeah, chef, chef. chef. Get on your section, yes, check that out, and move your ass. Hey, everybody, get your game faces on. It's about to begin. Yep, got it. OK, uh, Jean-Philippe, open house kitchen, please. There are always VIPs who want to dine in Hell's Kitchen. I'll have the beef. The seared halibut. I will try the Alaskan king crab capellini. So you'll be in the kitchen tonight. Oh, great. Fantastic. Some action. But the celebrities aren't just in the dining room. Good to see you. Welcome. Yeah. How are my darling? They're sitting at chef's tables in the kitchen as well. There's Chef Gordon Ramsay right there. Okay, let's go, you, yeah? Right, gentlemen, stand by. Two capellini, two scallops, yes? Chef, chef, chef. chef. Let's go. Let's win this shit tonight, guys. Two scallops, two capellini. Two scallops, two capellini. I heard you, Scott. Keep them right there. They're not getting dark enough. You want to get a lot of color on them, so leave them there and let them cook. Don't put the butter in until you flip them, dude. It's too early. The worst cook in our kitchen right now is Jason, but I'm doing the best I can to kind of help him and mentor him and coach him a little bit. I'm used to being a leader, and I want to help out where I can help out. As soon as this pasta goes into the water, it's about three and a half minute pickup time. Yeah, so keep that in your mind, all right? Yeah. Don't overcook it, don't undercook it. You got all right. it. I got it. Scott acts like he's helping, but he calling out my name, trying to make me look bad. And, and Chef, he could see that. Put the pasta in, bro? Yeah. How long? Um, it's going to be four minutes, all right? But you want to get all the shit in? You want to get your white wine in there? Your lime? I got, no, I got it. Scott, I don't like the way he talks to people. He's condescending. No, 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 too much. That's too much. Think yeah, about sure. half of what you have there. If I saw Scott in a dark alley, I would probably beat him about the neck, chest, head, breast, and face. Don't it's fuck it up, all right? Let's go. Jason, we're a team, all right? I want I know. you to succeed here. He doesn't fucking listen. That's the problem, man. Come on, just listen, all right? If I'm suggesting something. Let's go, Jason. Two Capellini. Capellini is up. Jason, Capellini. Cook perfectly. Yes, chef. Yeah. Now that Jason has the blue team off and running with their appetizers, Siobhan has just delivered her first crab capellini to the pass. That was a lobster, doesn't it? Who's on the capellini? I did, chef! Jesus. There's fucking lobster in it. Oh, careful. Adam, that's a that's lobster. lobster. You're just cooking like a zombie. You have to think. It's a big difference, lobster and a crab. A huge difference. And it was just like, come on, Siobhan, get it together. I've sent the fucking risotto. Half the table's not eating. Yes, chef. It smells good. It looks great. While Siobhan keeps the Playboy models waiting for their food, back in the blue kitchen, Salvatore is ready to impress with his snapper appetizer. Let's go. Behind you, chef. Oh, fucking hell. I've got raw snapper, not pink. Not 30 seconds, roll. Fucking hell. Get two orders going. Get it back in the pan. Salvatore. Yes, chef. Stop fucking panicking. Yes, chef. Okay? Yes, chef. I have to focus when chef talk to me and not take too personal. Poor Salvatore it looks like he's about to have an aneurysm. Right. Very red. Bunch of fucking muppets, let's go. While Salvatore tries to regain his focus. You ready, Autumn, to go to the pass? Yeah. Here we go again. Let's go. Siobhan is ready with her second attempt at the crab cavallini. Hot pan. It's Thank lobster you. again. I've got lobster in the fucking cavallini. Chef, I pulled up right here. It says crab. Look. But it's not. It says crab. Look, come here. What are these? What, what, oh, what? yeah, that is lobster. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it says crab, yes. look at it. What is it? That looks like lobster, chef. That's the second time. Crab. Was not crab, it was lobster. Where's the crab? It was lobster. Oh. Here it is, Chef. I got it. How can we not spot it twice, Siobhan? It's my fault, Chef. It's okay. I can do it. While Siobhan tries to figure out which crustacean belongs on her station, Salvatore is hoping his next snapper will meet Chef Ramsay's standards. Four snapper? Yes, Chef. Go now, go now, go now. Behind you, Chef. Yeah, just put it down and yes, fuck chef. off, yeah? What do you want a photograph? Yes, Chef. What's that? Salvatore! Come here, you! Yes, Chef! Fucking hurry up. Come on, Sal. Salvatore! Snappers cooked perfectly. Thank you, Chef. Don't send me any more shit. I want, Chef. Thank God, you know. <laughs> I was like, woo! Salvatore and I have a, a pretty good working relationship together. 
He's my pet project. Don't forget the broccolini. With my technical abilities and my leadership abilities, he could definitely be an attribute to our team. Good job, Sally. Thank you. As both teams are sending out appetizers. Mm, so good. That's really good. Chef Ramsay is counting on Nilka to push out the red team's first entrees. Three beef, one halibut, all three beef, medium well. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I don't want to fuck up this meat. I want to have all my attempts right. So I got a lot of pressure on me. Woo. All right, keep talking, keep talking. All right, all I'm giving you is three beefs, correct? Three beefs. All right. Medium well. Yep, I'm on it. Yes, yes, good, good. Everybody's working. Keep talking. Finally, it sounds like a fucking kitchen. Keep it up, keep it up. Hey, let's go. Beef, please. Right here, chef. Behind you, behind you. Beef, please. Right here, chef. Both medium, yes? Yes, chef. Nelka. Yes, chef. That beef's cooked perfectly. Thank you, chef. Beautifully cooked. Now, fuck off, will you? I will do. Let's go. Yeah. I was so fucking nervous that I rocked that shit the fuck out. There's no stopping me now. Nilka has delivered on the meat station. And in the blue kitchen, Salvatore is hoping to do the same with his first entrees. Salvatore. Yes, chef. Salmon cooked perfectly. Thank you, chef. Good job, sir. Thank you. Salvatore not only recaptured himself, but hit the damn ball out of the fucking park with the fish. With Salvatore's salmon waiting at the pass, Chef Ramsay has a question for... Ed! Yes, Chef. I've got rock hard potatoes. Touch that. They're so fucking solid. Shit. Perfectly cooked salmon. Now the fucking potatoes are rock hard. If you need to blanch the potatoes in there, put them in. I'm not serving rock hard potatoes. Come on, dude. Like, you want me to hold your hand? Like, it's fucking mashed potatoes. The potatoes are bullets. Come on! I was a little bit disappointed in myself this evening, you know, with the garnishes. Don't you taste anything, Ed? Yeah, chef. Sorry, chef. Fucking hell. Despite the potato predicament, diners are enjoying their entrees. Very good. That's good. Back in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay is looking to Autumn on the fish station to continue the women's run of perfect entrees. Where's the salmon? Ready, Chef. Oh, Jesus Christ. Awesome. OK, I've got two here. Yeah, just put it down. Just put it down. Fucking hell. Autumn, you use a fish slice, you get under, and you pick it up. Like you can't it. pick bits of fucking shit up like that. Help me to understand where your respect for ingredients is. You handle fish like your fucking donkey. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, the princess. The princess got yelled at tonight. Autumn, just concentrate. I'm just frustrated, you know? All I did was not use a spatula. Show a little respect. Yes, chef. While Autumn tries to get a handle on the salmon, the customers are growing impatient, waiting on their entrees. Are you still hungry? <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting on my food. Meanwhile, back in the blue kitchen... Entree, three beef, one Wellington. All three beef, medium. Come in now, chef. Come in now, chef. Scott delivers his first fillets to the pass. Oh, dear. Scott! Yes, chef. All of you, come here! Just touch that beef. Just touch it. Hurry up. How's that temperature? Rare. Rare. Yeah. How's that temperature? Rare. That's fucking rare. I've requested it medium. Feels medium rare to me, chef. You're fucking miles off. And each and every one of your fucking team said it's undercooked. Just get it in the oven. Chef. My uh, temperatures are usually always correct. And tonight, you know, obviously I was a little bit off. I understand the chef expects perfection. And, and those of us that have a little bit more experience, he probably has a little bit higher expectations. Fine, Sal. Fine, fine. Go, 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 go. Go. <gasps> sorry, sorry, sorry. Go. What's going on? As Scott scrambles to fix his fillets, out in the dining room, Jean-Philippe does a little damage control. Please, should be anytime soon, but I think you should start, because otherwise it's going to be cold. It's, it's not a personal thing. Personal. <laughs> it's just salmon? Sure. Back in the red kitchen, Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier and his wife are waiting for their entrees. That's the chef's table there, yes? Yes, chef. Thank you. Nelka. Yes, chef. Unbelievable. Huh? Look at it. That Wellington's cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. Now serve your beef to the table, please. Yes, chef. I don't have much.
much experience cooking Wellingtons. And I'm just so proud of myself tonight. I'm just overjoyed. Enjoy, OK? You're killing it tonight, aren't you? Yep. Yes, I am. Great night. Milka did such an incredible job on me. She kicked ass, and she had it all under control. There go your beef, honey. Enjoy. You're doing phenomenal. Thank, Thank you. you. Amen. Line cook Milka has impressed with her solid performance on the meat station. Meanwhile, back in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsey is hoping executive chef Scott will have similar success. My right behind, Chef. Coming through. Fucking rule. Yeah, that's no good. Everybody, come here with it. You just touch that. I requested it rare. Raw. There's a big fucking difference between rare and raw. What are you doing, Scott? What the fuck are you on? Nothing, Chef. Scott fucked up twice. He destroyed us tonight. He should be gone. Scott tries to be the leader, the best, blah, 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 but that was still moving. This bright white fat is fucking wrong. Hello, Scott. Eddie, I need three minutes, please, OK? Fuck off, OK? While Chef Ramsay waits for Scott to refire his meat. Salvatore? Yes, Chef. Nicely cooked the halibut. Salvatore continues to shine on the fish station. Present it to the table, please. Yes, Chef. Grazie. When I went to the celebrity table, I was happy because I was communicating with both of them in Italian. The only problem is that we can't change. Thank you. Thank you. It was a kind of nice relief. The Randonner explained in English. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. As the Blue Kitchen's special guests enjoy their fish. I actually like it. It's light. Let's go. The Red Kitchen continues to turn out excellent entrees. Our beef is beautiful. Yeah, mine's very good. All right, I'm going up. Come on, ladies, keep the momentum going. Talk to each other. 41, let's go. It looks very good. And it tastes good as well. It's very it's good. fabulous. Meanwhile, back in the blue kitchen. Away now to Salmon to Wellington. Come in now, Chef. After a number of problems, Scott is desperate to impress Chef Ramsay. Uh, Scott, please cook perfectly. Thank you, Chef. That looks good. So good. Beef, please. Tonight was definitely a wake-up call for me. Uh, I have to really start paying a little bit more attention to my own station. Nice. Let's go. Two results. One Scott, one Capellini. Yes? Yes, sure. Nice, nice, nice. Last table, guys. Come on, I got one more ticket. Push, push. We're even, guys. We're even. Fran, put the desserts on the tray. OK. OK. Yes, Chef. Benjamin. Yes, Chef. Push out the desserts, please. It's two hours and 15 minutes into dinner service. That's really refreshing. You they guys want dry yeah, yeah. And both teams have completed serving all of their customers. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> all right, ladies. Good job. Switch off, yes? Yes, Chef. Yes. I thought the girls did damn good. I thought we kicked butt overall throughout all the little errors. I thought we was on point. The pleasure food to serve was you. phenomenal. You did a great job. Take care. Good luck. Girls, I'm proud of us tonight. Son of a gun, I'm proud of you too. Guys, job completed. Well done. Switch off. We had a little bumpy start, but I think dinner service for the blue team went relatively well. It was great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you for coming. OK, I'm going to keep this brief. I personally can't fucking believe it. I'm amazed. I'm amazed how good you were. Really? Yeah. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you sir. Thank you, sir. The chef's dinner service as one team was a disaster. Hey, guys, let's do this. And Chef Ramsay is looking to motivate them. Right, let's go, guys. For a successful second attempt. I want a great service. I really need for you guys to succeed. When we hit that end of the evening and that last ticket is gone, there's nothing like it in the world. Yes, Chef. Yes. Let's do stations. Appetizers. Absolute critical. Get off to a great start. Nona, that's you. Yes, Chef. With Russell. Two of you on there. Yes, yes chef. chef. Fish. Julian, it's you. OK, Chef. Own it. Yes, yes? Chef. I will. Chief Garnish, Chief for Gale, it's you. Yes, Chef. Trev, meat. You got yeah? it. Yeah? Make it count. Yes, Chef. Yeah? Let's get on the stations. Yes, yes, Chef. If none of us can do this dinner service tonight after everything we've been through, then none of us deserve to be here. You work in fish, Ma? Yeah. Are you comfortable cooking scallops, obviously? I've never cooked them, but I've watched them be done like 8,000 times. You want to bang some out to see practice? It, it, 
It's not that hard. I cook scallops, halibut, and salmon. That's it. I'm excited to work the fish station. I really hope to blow Chef Ramsay away tonight. James. Yes, Chef? Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Yes, Chef. The Walsher spaghetti. I think I'm going to be really original and have the clam chowder. Four top, chef. Four top, thank you. Here we go, guys, yeah? Nice, strong start to the service. You owe it to yourselves. I'm on order four covers, table 52. Two scallops, two spaghetti, entree, one salmon, one Wellington, two beef. Yes, yes chef. chef. Thank you. It sounds like a kitchen. Now cook like a kitchen. Seven minutes. Tell me when you're about three minutes out. I'm going to tell you every minute. Straight out there, three scallops, one spaghetti, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. The dinner service starts. We're all communicating, and it's a great feeling. We're getting off on the right foot. All the dead weight's gone. We should all just shine. Are you good with one minute on two scallops, Jillian? Flipping my scallops in about 30 seconds, so I need probably like one minute. One minute hard. Walking up on garnish. Two spaghetti, where is it? Walking. Right, scallops now, please. Those scallops went in ages ago. Come on. Jillian, are you ready on the last three scallops? They're not cooking evenly. Yeah, they're overcooked. Jillian, they're overcooked. I've never been on the fish station when I had to cook scallops. And I feel like a total asshole. Start the spaghetti again, then. Guys, it's our first table. While the kitchen starts over on their first order of appetizers, the dining room welcomes a dignified table of 12. Marines come in, the dining room applauds them. I'm really excited to cook food for them. I love men in uniform. With the dining room filling up. I'll start with the scallops. Beef ribeye, grilled salmon. And tickets pouring in. Thank you. The pressure is on to get food moving quickly out of the kitchen. It's the first table, guys. Coming right now, chef. How is this possible? 30 seconds, chef. Right, these are already close to overcooked. I have no idea what the fuck was going on with Jillian. Just make sure you get equal amounts of color on both sides. She doesn't have that fine dining experience. She's just not up to that level yet. Like in this pan, you can only do one or this pan, only two. Just take them out. But they're dead. They have no color on that side. It just gets more and more humiliating. What am I doing wrong? The pan's not hot enough, and you're overcrowding it, so it's, it's boiling it. The scallops, again. I, I got to get them going again. They're, they're yeah. overcrowded. Stop spaghetti again, then. Starting another spaghetti. Come on. My lobster spaghetti takes seven like minutes. So every time Jillian messes up on the scallops, we're seven minutes behind again. Chef is literally about to kill us. Oh. How long in the scallops? I'm going to the window right now. Going in the window, are you ready? Yep. Spaghetti. Walking up. Right, scallops cooked perfectly. Now get it, get it. Yes, Chef. Come back to me. I will, Chef. Pasta's wrong. All of you, this is bullshit. Dining room filling up, table of marines, overcooked scallops, and crunchy spaghetti. What are we doing here? Come on! Start the spaghetti again, then. Dropping spaghetti, seven minutes out. We have got to get this shit together, or we are all toast. These customers are coming for an experience. Up there. So far, we haven't even left the ground yet. I think they're good. Once Russell showed me, it only takes a minute and a half. I'm like, I'm going to count to 90 every time just so I can get perfect scallops. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five. I need scallops, I need spaghetti. Let's go. So do the better, chef? No, no, spaghetti, yes. now! Yes, chef! Service. 45 minutes into dinner service, and a steady flow of appetizers is finally leaving the kitchen. And the arrival of another VIP guest takes some of the focus off of the kitchen. She looks great. Yeah. She's beautiful. I'll do the salad and the fish. While Nona and Russell continue to work on appetizers, Let's go. Service. Chef Ramsay is counting on Trev on the meat. Three beef, one wedding, one salmon. I want to push this. And Jillian on the fish. Salmon in the oven. To get going on the entrees. The plan is to stand out as an individual tonight. Ramsey put me at meat for a reason. He wants to see what I can do. Jillian? Sam's got about two minutes, I'd say. You should be driving it. You're not waiting for her, are you? No. No, good. So no. you're telling her. All right. Five minutes to the window, two beef, two halibut. Yes, chef. Two beef, two halibut. Make it happen in five minutes. That's what I need to hear. Jillian was getting a little flustered over on the fish station. I needed to take control of it and help her out as much as I could, like always. Get the halibut rocking. Those are ready to go. Why isn't the halibut seared? I don't know, Chef. You're supposed to be pre-searing it and pre-bracing it. I mean, this is getting worse. I'll help her out. 
If you don't do it right, then get the fuck out of the way and let me do it. I'm not gonna let us go down that easy and that quick. It's like a joke, like you're just being punk, like you're being set up to look stupid. Jillian, when you spray something and you want to cook fast, put that bitch on the bottom. While Russell leaves his appetizer station to help out Jillian on fish, the kitchen is stuck in neutral, and no food is making it out to the dining room. Appetizer, appetizer, appetizer. The Kojo gets very cranky when he doesn't have food. Cutting meat, harness to the window. Sauce, sauce. Walking up right now. Going to the window with me. Salmon right now, chef. I would have been fucked if Russell wouldn't have came and helped me. Service, please. But after tonight, I believe Russell does have my back. Don't use tongs. You'll break it up. Halibut, please. 30 seconds. Nearly two hours into dinner service, Russell's tutorial on the fish station has paid off. Service. And the first set of entrees are making their way out to the dining room. It's delicious. Now, the chefs must communicate and work together to build momentum. Three beef on Wellington, five minutes to the window. Well, I just want it as fast as possible. Let's go. Yes, yes, chef. Sir. Garnish, how long? Garnish, come on. I need you to push it out. How long? Hey. Answer me. That's all I want is a fucking answer. It was like communication breakdown. I swear to God, that's become our theme song. The scallops are in the pan. Where's the scallop garnish? You got the garnish? Oops. Not ready yet. There's just so much going on. I only have two hands. Honestly, I about to walk out. I've had enough. This is not normal. We got off to a little bit of a rocky start, but our key is to keep rolling. Boom, bang. Gail really fucked up. Garnish, let's go. Gail's just completely non-communication. Yeah, I got it. Garnish, let's go. Gail is literally shutting down. She's just like, <laughs> come on, Gail. Snap out of it. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's go, Gail. Gail, one minute on Garnish. Give me what you've got, please. Get it in the window, Gail, because I'm walking up right now. Let's go. Out. This is Gail during service. <sighs> Please, let's go to the window. You want me to grab the garnish? No, 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 it's not ready yet. I'm trying to stay focused on garnish. I'm trying to make sure like, I have everything I need. Situation under control. I got it. Come on, Gail, you need to push it now. Three people, Wellingtons. Yes, yes, Chef. Yeah. Garnish up. Beef, let's go. Chef Ramsay expects a quality service from the final five. Go. So go. far tonight, all they've delivered is frustration. Hey, Bozo. Mm -hmm. Just all of you, look at me now. It's like you're doing it on purpose. Oh, chef's losing it. Hard, undercooked, and stone cold. Three beef, oh, hold on, hey. Just put your finger on that. Look at us. We deserve better than this. Where's your passion? I'm done. Standing here with a bunch of idiots. Fuck you all. Good luck, superstars. Fucking useless. Ay, ay, ay. We are fucked. Oh, man. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's left. This is over. Over. He was, <laughs> I know. He was mad. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. What the fuck just happened? Chef is pissed. Come on, recover. We as a team need to prove to Chef Ramsay that we're not quitters. We can still do this. Trap, what? do you have a beef yes. to go with that welly that's waiting? Yes, they're in. With Chef Ramsay out of the kitchen, Nona and Russell step up to try to get food out to the hungry diners. Four more beef on order. Hey, here come the beef. Beef and garnish, she's got your polenta fries. Wellington coming on the teals. Yo, bro, it's dead. It's dead. Look at it. It's brown. You can't want me to shave it. No, you can't see, sell that. What do you want me to do? Three more? I want you to go upstairs, pack your plaid shirt, take your skinny fucking brown tooth ass home. Well, what do you want me to do? I don't want you to cook any food because I don't feel like the food you cook is acceptable. I want you to get three more beef because it can't We got six and then we got an order for four. I don't have enough. Who put you on the wheel? Last time I checked, this was Ramsey's house, not House of Russell. They're all dead, dude. They're way, way over. Three fires are gonna take seven minutes. It's fucking me. Chef Russell has turned away Trev's meat. Trev, what are we doing? Refire in every steak I got. But Nona's appetizers. Table one. Have been deemed worthy. Very moist. Mm -hmm. Finally, I know. Back in the kitchen, Trev makes a second attempt on his meat. Come on, come on. I could have three beef in a minute and a half. Then I'm gonna need one Wellington also. Okay, Wellington resting. All three of those steaks that I brought up to Russell at the past were fine, so I flashed them off. I've been cooking now professionally for five years. It's gotta get done. I'm ready to get this food out. You have garnish? Garnish is walking. Y'all ready? Look at that. Look at that. This is dead. It's this dead. is dead. It's you dead. can't sell that. Yeah, right, dude. The meat was great. It was dead. 
There's no moisture left okay, in it. Okay, then I'm working with the ones that I got cooking in the oven. I was trying to make something work. I'm ready to kick him out. Trev refired this ribeye that had sat there for 15 minutes, then tried to bring it back up. Very few entrees are leaving the kitchen. Do we have anything we could sell? Read off the ticket. Three beef, one Wellington. But Chef Ramsay has cooled off and returned to give our finalists one last chance at redemption. Just all of you, look at me now. Take a look at the big table in the center of the dining room. Oh, you hear? Okay. They're Marines. They fight back for a living. Get your shit together, wake up, or fuck off out of it. You, get the fuck off me. Russ, on me, chuff an appetizer. Jillian, get to the garnish. Gail, get on the fish. fish Next out. mistake, get out. Chef Ramsay came back in the kitchen, then he was like, Gail, Jillian, switch. Yes, I'm I like, are that. you serious? I just got this whole fish station, like, set. Your halibut and salmon are seared off. OK. Hurry up, hurry up, let's go, Gail. Yes, Chef. I've been on the fish station, you know, twice already, and I fucked up. So I had better kick ass. If not, I deserve to go home. Trevor, he said not to crowd him. You got three on the same sizzle tray. What the fuck? You said you needed three flying. I got three flying. But they're dead already, bro. Trevor, I got two words for you. Go home. I don't think Trevor yeah. could cook toast, let alone cook a steak properly. Three people for Wellington. Urgently. Yes, Chef. Yeah. Let's go then. More than two hours into dinner service, and Chef Ramsay's station switch. 30 seconds, beef. Seems to have reinvigorated the chefs. Service, please. And entrees are once again making their way out to the dining room. Yes, Ooh. Mm. Wow. The steak's oh, good. good. But their biggest challenge. Now we're working the Marines table. Five beef, four Wellington, three salmon. Is still ahead of them. Let's go, Gail. Salmon's ready, yes. Go to salmon. Gail. Yes, Chef. Come in. Raw salmon, get out. Straight away, get out. That damn salmon. So disappointed in myself. I don't know why I can't cook fish. I thought I would be able to turn in this whole thing around. With Gail out of the kitchen, it's up to Russell, Nona, Trev, and Jillian to complete the final table, a 12 top of Marines. I can start plating the garnish now, yes? Let's go. Obviously, it's a 12 top. It all can't come at the same time. Let's go. Three salmon garnish. Let's hey, go. Chef. Going up to the window with Wellington. Service, please. Sorry, Jillian. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Jillian. The yes, chef. Come here. You just gave me that. Jillian just took that out of the oven and gave it to me. I know it's easy for you, stroppy little, stuck up little bitch. I care for those guys out there. Look, they're raw. Fuck off. How rude are you? The only thing's missing is the feathers. Now, it's up to Russell, Trev, and Nona to complete the 12 top of Marines and finish dinner service. OK, I need three more beef. Yes, everything else is ready to go, chef. Service, please. Apologize for the delay, will you? It's very good. Very good, very good. Enjoy your meal. Switch everything off. Let's go. Let's go. Wipe down. Sean Philippe. Chef. Open house kitchen, please. Oui, Let's chef. go. As usual, reservations are hard to come by at Hell's Kitchen. I'm to as well. Okay. And with only eight people left in the two kitchens, expectations are high for the diners. I am definitely prepared to eat. And Chef Ramsay as well. Don't hold anything back. Do you understand? Yes, 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 Chef. You're going to be fine tonight. We're going to rock it out. You got it. Excellent. Let's go, guys. Good luck, red team. Four cup assemble, 34. Two risotto, two cappellini. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. Scott, where are you at with the risotto? Uh, I'm about six minutes away. You want to get the capellini? Anton, go ahead and start these two capellini. Drop the pasta, please. Yes, Chef. Wow. I mean, I was shocked. Every time I try to help the kid, he tells me no. But he just asked for help. Maybe he's learning how good I am. You want me to walk it? Yeah, go ahead and walk that capellini. I'll it. follow you up with that risotto. Yeah, please walk it, Chef. Go, oh, Chef. The risotto right behind, Chef. Scott. Hey. Very nice, that risotto. Thank you, Chef. Now keep them all like that, yes? Yes, Chef. With Scott accepting the help of his teammates, perfectly made dishes are making their way out to the diners. Can you grab capellini? Thank you very much. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen. Do you have my tails up? Melanie, new to the blue team, is eager to get her team off to a good start on appetizers. Jason, tails, lobster tails? Oh, shit. Unfortunately, Jason, on the fish station, is already falling behind. I'm walking with my risotto. Follow behind me with those tails, Jason. I just put my lobster tails down. Oh, my god. I'm going to freak out. I haven't worked with Jason before. I trust that he knows what he's doing. Lobster! Yes, chef! I'm 
standing here, risotto's plated. Stay with me, Jason. I'm with you, Chef. Well, then answer me, then. Sorry, Chef. Jason. Yes, Chef. Cook beautifully. Thank you. With a minor hiccup behind them. Service, please. Let's go. The blue team's appetizers are flowing out of the kitchen. Here we are. All right. Thank you. Enjoy your risotto. That's delicious. Walking with three risotto. Keep it going. Keep it going. It's 45 minutes into dinner service. And with both teams off to a great start. Firing on all cylinders tonight, aren't they? Service. Most of the diners have received their appetizers. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Come on, Scott, you ready for me to drop those scallops? Yep. And the red team has just one appetizer order to complete before they can start their entrees. Three scallops, two salad away, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Walk away, scallop, chef. Here's your scallop, chef. I'm short one. Short of one, yeah. yeah. Fuck me. Keisha. Yes, chef. Three times five. Um. I'm having a brain freeze. Three fives. Three times five, 15, chef. I've got 14 scallops. I'm sorry about this, chef. I... Scott, get me a scallop off. Yes, chef, right now. Give me a minute and a half, chef. Hurry up. I got those scallops. I'll take care of them. Take care of your other stuff, OK? One fucking scallop. One scallop, not a whole order, just one scallop. Like, really? Do I have to do everything? Get the scallops off of there. Just one scallop. Oh, hey, Anton, Anton, I've got these scallops. Come on, I don't need y'all to argue. It's my station. So you don't have it yet? Yes, yes, God, just trust me. I do, I am trusting you. I got it. I didn't send up any rubber scalers. I had one to drop at the last minute. I don't need you coming over. I got this. That's not teamwork. Here's your scallop, Chef. Keisha, cook perfectly. Thank you, Chef. Now that Keisha has regained control of her fish station. Service, please. The red team sends out their last appetizers. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen, Rochelle is ready with her first entrees. Two chicken. Oh, fucking hell. That is pink. Well, almost ready. Rochelle. Yes, sir. Pink chicken. Come on, get it back in the oven, yes, in the sir. pan. Braise it. Let's go. Pink. You just do not fucking serve raw chicken. That's just 101. How long are your chicken refire? I need 30 seconds. That chicken was like. Borderline. Sorry, that was still, I should have. It was like right there. No, I don't know. I was like, I would probably eat it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That will not happen again. While Rochelle gives the chicken 30 more seconds in the oven, over in the red kitchen. Entree to Salmon to Wellington. Yes, yes chef. chef. Keisha is looking to continue the red team's momentum with her salmon. Here's your two salmon. Why is she braising the salmon there? I don't know. The fuck it. Hey, all of you, come here. Yes, sir. All of you! Just touch that. It's just, when are we braising salmon? I thought you wanted me to do all the fish like no. this. No, stop putting words in my fucking mouth. The salmon is crisp. I said nothing of the sort. Just cut the crap, will you? I didn't tell you, and nor did Andy. I don't know how she's cooked fish before, but tonight was not the right way. I'm getting tired of this shit. Oh, Keisha. Not a dog. Don't talk to me no any kind of way. What did you say? I just don't give a fuck. Keisha! Fucking hell, here we go. Enough's enough. Are you OK? Yes, Chef, I am. I'm catching my rhythm, and I'm going to bounce back. Let's go, then. You're good. You're good. I'm, I'm really tired again. You're good. You know? I, no, don't be, don't be tired of nothing. You're doing good, OK? This is very frustrating. And at that point, you have to just make it up in your mind. Am I going to continue to sink or bounce back? Keisha, let it go. Brush that off. As Keisha struggles to get her station and her attitude back on track, over in the other kitchen. What goes next? Um, chicken, two salmon. What's going on with Gabriel? The blue team is trying to stay on the rails. What are you saying with the chicken? You're confusing the crap with me. What's going on? I can't have a bad day today. I have to start leading more and start pushing more. Give me what's up right now. Two Wellington, one chicken, two salmon. Yes, yes chef. chef. Wellington, you should be walking. Walk here right now with the Wellington. Garnish. Garnish coming in 10 seconds, chef. Let's go then. Hurry up. Speed up. Walking with garnish. Nicely cooked, Gabriel. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. As Gabriel steps up and takes charge in the blue kitchen from his yes, garnish told station. You. It's two halibut followed by two salmon, two Wellington. Over in the red kitchen. Chicken. Anton seems to be struggling to get organized on the meat station. Where are we at with the chicken? Do you have a chicken? Yes. Chicken's right here. I got to cut it. I'll slice it right now. I'll slice it right Water, now. Give please, it to me. Please, please. 
Thank you. Anton is fucking all over the place like he always is, you know, chaotic and still not producing shit. Chicken! Yes, chef! He's cutting the chicken where's, right now, where's chef. my chicken sauce? How long, then? It's cutting right now, chef. Chicken, chef. Well, that is pink, right? Yeah. Hey, Scott, you slice the chicken, yes? Yes, yeah, chef. Look, pink there. That's what I'm showing you there. Yes, yeah, chef. Yeah, that's two minutes under. I wasn't really responsible for that. I was just trying to help and do whatever I could for the team. I sliced the chicken. That's it. You sliced it, right? Yes, I did, chef. Yes, and I, and I didn't see that part right there. Give me, uh, give me 20 seconds, oh, chef. Oh, fuck off. Scott, the little vindictive cockroach that he is, clearly sees it needs like another 30 seconds. So this is my time to really get Anton fucked. Chicken, Scott. Yes, chef. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. As Scott, who has been all over the kitchen tonight, tries to fix Anton's undercooked chicken. He keeps yelling at everybody that we're not eating. The red diners are getting restless. This is taking a little bit of time now. One salmon, y'all can walk with that well. And while Keisha hustles her salmon to the pass. Wellingtons, where are they? 10 minutes left on those two Wellingtons. 10 minutes? Yes, yeah, chef. Anton appears to be in no particular hurry. Is there any way you guys can talk to each other? She's running over the salmon. He's fucking 10 minutes away. What do you do when there's no protein? You stand there and you wait to get cursed out some more because that's all you can do. These two men, they suck. Hey, here's your salmon. You cooked them properly this time. Unfortunately, you're miles away. Thanks to Anton, Keisha must sacrifice her perfectly cooked salmon and cook another one. Meanwhile, back in the blue kitchen. Oh, I think I need the bread knife. Er. Wait, Rochelle. Rochelle's Wellingtons have caught Chef Ramsay's eye. Oh, crap. Please, please be perfectly cooked. Please be cooked at all. Do not be blue or purple on the inside. Perfect. OK. Absolutely perfect. Sauce, please. OK. You've never worked in a professional kitchen on the line never. before you come here? Never, ever. You cook like you've been working in a kitchen for five years. Oh, thank you, Chef. <laughs> to be complimented by Chef Ramsay. I mean, for him to take me seriously as a potential candidate for head chef. Walking with my Wellington sauce. That blows my mind. It really does. Rochelle, that's beefy cooked. Yes. Thank you, Chef. Good work, Chef. I can totally get along with Moni and Rochelle. So far, the blue team is the strongest it's ever been. I'm already a big fan of working with you guys. With Rochelle and Melanie lifting the blue team, back in the red kitchen, Keisha is ready once again with her salmon. Two salmon. Two salmon, two fucking Wellington. But is Anton ready with his beef Wellington? I need two Wellingtons cut. Wellingtons, are they ready to, are they ready to go? They're sitting right there. Cut them up for me, please. It's overcooked. Yeah. Fuck. Wellington, let's go. That's overcooked too, man. Oh, That's, those are all fuck. over. Hello. Those are my two newest. I got to replace them. Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm, hey, I'm, hey. I'm checking. There's some that are over, chef. I'm working on it right now. It was like a little Wellington Cemetery tonight, for sure. Like, you know how expensive those things are? Stop. All of you, stop. These are over. Anton, these are not a little over. That's way over, yes. Obviously, I screwed it up with the oven. Next door's oven, I got it down pat. This one, I screwed it up. Oh, fuck me. I just don't understand making excuses for an oven or whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. What is your process? Normally, for next door, it's 18 minutes and five minutes on the side. I let it rest for another five minutes. Stop yelling at me. I've told them it's 14 minutes. This oven, you said, is 14 minutes on the Wellington? 14, 400. Done. That's it. I understand That's that, it. Chef. Don't think I'm going to let some little girl get in my face, start ripping a new ass, because you got issues on being a woman in the kitchen. I was just saying that this it's way I was showing. Stop talking back. You will not break me. And I'm just going to piss you off more on purpose. Anton, fucking pull it together. I have it together, chef. Don't you fucking talk back to me. Don't you ever I'm not talk talking back to me. Back to yes, you are. Pull it together. You I'm not the talking back service. to anybody. Anton, cut it, yo. He crossed the line. She's in charge. Uh-uh. You don't do that. You don't even rot like that. Shut up and say yes, chef. Yes, chef. Anton, come here. Anton's out of control. He's going down in flames. Get in here. I don't see it ever getting any better for him here. What the fuck are you doing? 
You've got to keep it together. I do have it together. I have a clear head on it. But the Wellingtons are way out of control. You're not communicating. Your head's in the fucking stand. And at this moment now, I need you to rise and get it back together. Yes, chef. Let's go. Yes, chef. As Anton tries to gather himself. All right, you got chickens wrapped inside there I, for me, yep. please. Back in the blue kitchen, communication. Walking with Wellington Garners in 20 seconds. And teamwork are at an all-time high. Last table, guys. Salmon Wellington, yes? Yes, yes Chef. Wellington. Salmon walking behind. Walking with Garnish. Two Wellington. Two Wellington. Blue team. Yes, Chef. All of you, come here. Hey, hey, you guys, come up here. Ah, oh, fuck. What went wrong? Just look at the standard. Seriously. I've had some good services in my time in Hell's Kitchen, but nothing quite as good as tonight. That is immaculate. Sure. Great job. Sure. Sure. Well done. <sighs> Woo! Best service so far. Holy shit, I called it too. I mean, I could jump into the red team tomorrow and have a great service. I could jump back in the blue team mid-service and have a great service. Told you I'd make a difference on your team. You did. While Melanie toots her own horn. <laughs> back in the red kitchen, the chefs are struggling to get their final table together. All right, where are we at on that salmon and that Wellington? That's the last ticket. And it seems at long last. One minute on the last Wellington? You can take that. I'm following the, with the potatoes. Come behind you, hi. The final order of entrees is leaving the kitchen. Let's go, please. Dirty, fabulous. Salmon? With dinner service looming, the chefs are hard at work preparing. Keep your head on your shoulders. Don't freak out. We need to win, boys. While the blue team seems focused and united, in the red kitchen, Elise. That's all we have? Yeah, that was everything you gave that's, us. That's why I put eight okay. heads on here, because it cooks down. Like, Did you stop talking to me like I'm your fucking child? Has found someone else to agitate. Whatever. You need to calm down. I am calm. I'm just saying that. Yeah, you're, you're always talking back to me. You don't need to talk back to me. Seems to have a problem with authority. I'm here. You're here. Get it straight. Hello? I heard you. You're so fucking disrespectful. This is the first time I smiled all day. Let's go, let's go, let's go. James. Yes, chef. Let's go, please. Open Hell's Kitchen. Yes, chef. For tonight's dinner service, there will be extra pressure on the chefs, as both teams will have VIP guests sitting at the chef's tables. World champion volleyball players Misty May Trainer and Jen Kessie will be dining in the red kitchen. Ooh, I'm excited. While the blue kitchen will play host to multi-Olympic gold medalist swimmers Janet Evans and Mark Spitz. Oh, nice to see you both. Thank How you are you Nice Welcome. to meet you. That's a great. Hey. Oh, we're all girls on this side. All girls on the red team. Tonight we have special guests at the chef's table, which really puts on the pressure because the chef table is so close, they're watching you. I mean, it's different when they're watching you from the dining room. We've got two Olympic ladies cheering for us over there. Come on! So, fingers crossed, girl power. Nice to see you both. Krupa. Yes, chef. You can host the chef table. Yes, chef. Oh, my god, I love them. I saw them. Um, well, not live, but on TV. It was so awesome. Hi, Lee! Hi, how are you? I have to say congratulations, Thank and you. I think you're great. Come on. Red team, two scallops, one Trini, one Cards, one Lamb, one Wellington. Yes, Chef. Let's go, Elise. Come on. Yes, Chef. I'm feeling very confident about dinner service because Carrie won't be on meat. So tonight will go a lot better than last service. I need four minutes. OK, four minutes. While Elise gets the red team started on appetizers. OK, blue team, here we go. Chef Ramsay is ready with the blue team's first ticket. I know one risotto, one onion tart, one Caesar salad, one lobster spaghetti. Yes, yes Chef. Yeah. Welcome. Hello. How are you, my darling? Good to see you. Janet, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Mark Spitz, Mark. both my wife and I are big fans. Thank you. Please sit down. Hey, Jonathan, when you're on dessert, so it'd be easy for you to look after them, yes? I'm a Mark Spitz yeah. fan, Chef. Janet Evans and Mark Spitz at the chef table. It was fucking awesome. Gold medal service. Let's go. I'm a big fan. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing real good. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, could you? I get y'all anything right now? Sure, sure. sure. Back sure. in the red yeah. kitchen. Scallops, where are they? Walking with scallops. Elise is ready with her first appetizer. Fucking how? Elise. Yes, chef. I've got no color on that. They're rubbery. They're watery. Christ. Wake up, Elise. Yes, chef. You'll mix it with salt. Don't turn them till 
They're nice and golden. Chef Ramsay, when he teaches, it's easy to learn from him. But if he teaches you something, you better get it right. Scallops, please. Yes, chef. Elise. Yes, chef. They cook perfectly. Thank you, chef. I'm proud of myself. It started off rough, but I recovered, and that's what's important. With Elise delivering gold medal scallops. Come on, Tommy. Over in the blue kitchen. There's a child right behind you, chef. Tommy is hoping to score with his appetizer. Yes. Thank you, sir. Making Caesar salad, so easy. Like, you know, I knew she would like it. How is everything? Her dressing actually was a little bit too saturated. Jonathan. My salad was like soaking in dressing. How do you fuck up salad? How fucking hard is that shit? I'm just going to make a fresh salad. Okay. Oh, there's, there's no sense in this shit. Excuse my language. That's OK. Scallops, how long? I need another Caesar with a little less dressing. Hey, come here. I'm pissed off. Just throw it in the trash. So Ms. Evans said her Caesar salad was right. brown so in dressing. Who dressed the Caesar salad? Who dressed it? I did. Come here, you. You can't dress the salad. Okay. Can't Jeff and I will do it right now. While Tommy takes another run at dressing the Caesar salad, back in the red kitchen. How long are your scallops, Elise? Right now. Carrie is coordinating the times for her team's appetizers. Right now. Uh, I'm not, no, so what do you mean right now? She said she could bring it. Listen, don't okay. ask her. Ask are you me. ready? Just give me two minutes. I'm walking with scallops. No, no. Wow. Hold on. Carrie called in and said we were ready to go up. Be quiet, Elise. Elise and Carrie fight no matter what. It really brings the rest of us down. OK, Elise, you can go up now. No, we're not going up now, because I have to start my scallops over. Oh, come on. Start your scallops, let's go. Come on. It's an hour into dinner service, and thanks to Natalie. Come on, guys, keep talking to each Hurry other. Up. The blue team has delivered most of their appetizers. There you go. Mm. I like it. And now, Chef Ramsay is looking to Monterey to deliver the first entrees. Cod bass. Oh. Seabass is fucking falling apart. Seabass is what? Seabass fall apart. Oh, boy. Let's go. When you take the fish out of the pan, you yes, leave sir. it on the spatula. It fell apart. It's nothing I can do. It fell apart. You leave it on the fucking spatula. Is that what you did? No, it's not no, what No, you I did. Know. So it's the fish's fault again. No, it's not. It's, it fell apart. It's nothing I can do. It fell apart. There is something you can do, because you should be fucking responsible enough to care. You're going to fucking lie to my face and tell me there's nothing you can do. I understand what he's telling me, and I'm listening to him, but you ain't going to keep fucking cussing at me. I'm going to fuck who you are, Chef Ramsey, Chef Scott, Chef Andy. You ain't going to keep talking to me like that. So don't sit here and bullshit me and tell me that there's nothing you can do. Bullshit you give it up. I'm putting it on. I have it on there. Shut up. And Monterey has decided to go toe to toe with sous chef Scott. All you have to do is bring it up, I and you won't break. I understand. Do you? Then fucking do it. Then do it. Then it's done, then. Fuck you. Well, fuck you too, then. Fucking stupid. Doc, when you fucking got too much pride and you want to stand there and fucking cuss Chef Scott, that's the motherfucker that needs to go home. Pass me some um, goosenecks, please. And just shut him down and sit his ass home right now. That's a done deal. You want me to cut the Wellington? Yes, Chef. All right. Pass me a gooseneck. I can't do everything for everybody, goddammit. I'm helping everybody I can. Man up, man your station, man. Oh, man, you ain't got to talk man up, man your station. Fuck up with that dumb shit, man. Get the fuck out of here. Whatever, man. You the float, float. John was floating. If you're floating, you float and you can help everybody. That's what a fucking float does. Hey, if you're going to quit, then just quit now, Nobody man. How about that? Quit, but you ain't going to fuck me in type of way. I know that. Guys, stop. Get on your stations and serve the damn food. Serve the goddamn food and that's it. I'm doing everything I can fucking do. Dude, you work at desserts. You man the fuck up. Come on, man. We're time to yell at each other, but guys, not time guys, to cook. Guys, 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 stop. Personally, I'd love to watch them both beat the shit out of each other. However, we got Mark Spitz and Janet Evans in the kitchen. Two Olympic gold medalist swimmers. And people are going to argue? It's embarrassing. Two hours into dinner service. Hot, hot. Go, please, yeah? The red team has finally delivered all of their appetizers to their hungry diners. Finally here. Hey, bon appetit. And is in the process of sending out entrees. Oh, hold on. Hey, stop. Have you sliced the New York strip? Yeah, chef. Oh, my god. Gina. You don't slice it until when, Gina? Are you ready to walk? So is the bass ready? I'm nowhere near ready. Oh, my god. How long do you need on your bass, Elise? I need at least seven minutes. Well done. Well done. You think it's funny, Gina? I don't think it's funny at all, Chef. I was like, get me out of here. Like, I wish I could have just disappeared and been like sitting in a bubble bath somewhere drinking champagne. 
Come on, ladies, get it together. Yes, yes. While Gina has stalled the red kitchen. We gotta get our timing together, ladies, seriously. In the blue kitchen, Monterey has finally sent an acceptable sea bass. Let's go. Really good. OK, let's go. Chef table. One lamb, one Wellington. Yes, yeah. Chef. Now it's up to Chino on the meat station to get entrees out to the Olympians. Let's go, Chino. Yes, Chef. You got to let Will know when you're going to have all that up. One minute out. One minute. One minute out, walk and garnish. I was going over there to help Chino. I got it, I got it, I got it. You know, try to communicate to the kitchen what the times were for his meat. Chino, how long until it's ready? It's going to be three more minutes, Chef. So you need three minutes? Uh, give me a minute, give me a minute. You mean actual minute, like 60 seconds? Well, I need three minutes. So... I'm sorry. A minute, I mean... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's gonna be a minute, I'm sorry. Like one minute? Two... I thought, yeah, I thought it was gonna be a minute, like, but I was wrong. Yes, I understand that, but you have to call real time. Right, I, I was wrong. You don't need to preach to me, okay? So it doesn't help. It doesn't help, okay? Just go away. Wellington. I just want to pull up the food. What is that? Cold, too. Ice cold. Gino! Oliver, come here. Just touch that. Touch the meat. Touch the meat. It's raw. Raw! Come on, we got to get it together. Come on, guys. While Chino starts over on the special guest's entrees, in the red kitchen. Watch this table, VVIP chef table. Yes, yes chef. chef. Elise is ready to hand off her sea bass to Chef Ramsay. Behind you, hop. Coming through, coming through. Sea bass. What's she done to that? Elise. Yes, Chef. Come here. Come here. That's right. Come here. I got one bass right, yeah? And one bass raw. Raw. Raw! Get the bass back in the pan. Fuck. I at least had some problems on the fish station. I mean, I thought Chef was about to kick her out of the kitchen. I was kind of hoping for him to, but you know. Elise. Yes, Chef. I don't know what kind of frame of mind you're in, but it's not on a fucking championship performance, let me tell you. Elise will never admit that she's wrong. And she just stood there with her eyebrows up and just looking. Who are you going to blame now? Nobody, Chef. That time you looked at yourself in the mirror. Yes, Chef. And took some responsibility. Yes, Chef. While Elise makes another sea bass, over in the blue kitchen, Chino is ready with his second attempt at entrees for the Olympians. Look at that. Chewed up to fuck. And that, that's raw. Yep. It's pink. Blue team, stop. Come here, you. Look at that. That is raw. That is white fat. And what have you done to this? What, what, what is that? So now you just fucked. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. I feel like a dumbass, moron, idiot, because I can cook better than that. It's just, it's embarrassing. There you go. All of you, fuck off out of here. Get upstairs. So fucking pissed, it's not even funny. We suck. The way I look at it is anytime you get a service shut down, you suck. My apologies and the last service. They were good. That's what hurts. You got to fight for it. Exactly. After shutting down the blue kitchen. I want to serve the chef table. One lamb, one bass. Chef Ramsay looks to the red team to deliver entrees to both chef's tables. How long? You ready, Elise? Yep. Slicing, guys, slicing. Hurry up, Gina. Yes, chef. Oh, come on. Stop. All of you, come here. What is that? It's raw, chef. I just sliced into it. Oh, uh, really? I'd never have guessed. So in front of these ladies here, this is how we want to perform. Raw bass, overcooked bass. Raw lamb, what an embarrassment. Sorry, chef. Why are you doing this to me? It's like being in a volleyball match, and I'm the ball getting pounded. I was just like, oh my god, it was bad. But let me tell you something really important. Shut it down. After shutting down both kitchens, I'd rather send something. We, oui, Chef. Chef Ramsay has sous chef Scott and Andy make the entrees for the chef's tables. And after a disastrous dinner service, Chef Ramsay sums up the evening with one word. Pathetic. So therefore, the winning team tonight is... Nobody. Tonight, Hell's Kitchen opens for its second dinner service. And while the blue team is looking for redemption, I truly apologize. I really want to move forward. Sterling is looking for forgiveness. Appreciate it. I like seeing you smile, man. My voice is it's all good, man. Love you, dog. 
while the men have put the past behind them. Team, team, team. The women. We gotta keep on the communication, ladies. Are looking for a repeat performance of their outstanding opening night service. Yes, ladies, everyone's ready. Ladies, how are we? Hello, chef. Hello, chef. Hello, chef. Gentlemen, we can do this, man. All right? Marina, see chef, please, open house kitchen. Gently, shh, guys. It's a restaurant, not a fucking cage fight. Ready to need? For tonight's dinner service, in addition to the regular menu, I'll have the lobster risotto. Chef Ramsay has added a special tableside appetizer of gooey duck chowder. Appetizers: one chowder, tableside, two risotto, one scallop. Third chef. Third chef. Third chef. Which will be prepared by Aaron for the blue team, and Kaylin for the red team. Hi guys. Ladies, here we go. Here we go, yes, yes, chef. chef. Let's confirm it's not a flute. Four covers, table 22. One chowder, table side, one scallops, two risotto. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go, ladies. My biggest focus is making sure that I get our appetizers out. Janae, let, uh, just let me know when to drop them scales. All right. And lobster. And lobster. Come on, how long you got on that, too? Two minutes on the first risotto. I'm almost done. How are you on risotto? How long on risotto? How long? Bitch, I just told you. How long on that risotto? Janae, how long? I'm asking Janae for fucking times, and I'm not getting any answers. 45 seconds. Janae, you heard me? Dude, shut up. Scallops to risotto, how long? Heard. Right, right now, now chef. Risotto. Walking, chef. I got you right here. Walking? Come on, ladies. Mush. All of you. All of you! Yes, yes, chef. Chef. yes, Chef! Taste that! Quick! It's like baby food. It's mush. Janae is overcooked. Yes, Chef. Not by two minutes, but by ten minutes. Yes, Chef. Janae. Fuck, fuck, fuck is all I have to say. You're creating baby food. Yeah. It looks like shit coming out the fucking blender. It's OK. It's OK. Here we go. Sorry about that. While Janae starts over on her risotto, in the blue kitchen, it's up to Steve on fish and Bryant on appetizers. How you looking, brother? Four minutes. Four minutes, heard. To deliver the men's first order. Two risotto, one scallop. Yes, chef. Working, yes? One minute yes, away, chef. chef. One minute away. Really? Already? Well, that's fast. Good. This is our time to shine. We need to come back like there's no tomorrow. Now hot. Yeah, hi, chef. Customers are gonna freak. Hey, that risotto is delicious. Thank you, chef. It's not a celebration. I know it's not, chef. We're not going to church. Absolutely. It's chef. just you doing your job fucking correctly. That's right. Don't push your pants. I'm not going to, chef. Taste it again to remind yourself. Yes, chef. Hey, I will. You raise the bar. Don't drop it. I will not, chef. I'm like, like flipping out. Like, all right, dude, just calm down and. Keep going. Service. While the blue team keeps going on appetizers. Your gooey duck oh, chowder. Thanks. The red team is still stuck on. Risotto, come on, please. Janae. I'm ready, sir. Janae, ready, I'm walking. Lobster. Let's go. Behind with the lobster tails and Behind the risotto. Seven. I got you, I got you. You're going. Look how fat it is. Hey. Yes, chef. Come here. Oh, it's soup. It's just too much liquid. Right, it's too soupy. Thank and the lobster's raw. Raw. Ladies, on, please. Chef. Who cooked the lobster? I did, chef. Fuck. Like, I, I Why? 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 What's, hey, too much sunshine. What's the matter with you girls? While Janae and Danine refire their appetizers, Thank Chef Ramsay. Ladies, come on. And the diners continue to wait. Everybody's always waiting in Hell's Kitchen. Always. Don't eat any more bread. You'll fill up on bread. Meanwhile, in yeah, the blue thanks. kitchen. Four cups, table one. One chowder, table side, special three scallops. Yes, 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 chef. chef. It's up to Frank and Steve on fish. So I'll cook the scallops. Scallops, one chowder, you got that. Okay. To keep the appetizers moving at a steady pace. Steve! Steve! Yes, chef. What are you doing, young man? Hey, you, stop. Yes, chef. Come here, you. You have the scallops? Great. Just touch them. Over a cook, chef. Yeah. They're fucked and they're boiled. Great, you fucked them up. Awesome. Now, what is it with you that you can't ask for help? 
I can ask for help, sir. Okay, so fucking do it. Yes, sir. Get him by your side, and yes, you, chef. you, yes. pretty boy, get fucking involved. Yes, chef. Fuck me. Chef Ramsay made me feel about two inches big. Now start again. I am chef right now, chef. It's 35 minutes into dinner service, and while the blue team has stalled on appetizers, unbelievably, the red team has yet to send out a single appetizer. Bread and water. <laughs> but they're hoping the third attempt will be successful. How long are lobster tails, Denise? Dropping two lobster nail? Down, now. Nail. How now. long on that risotto because you've got scallops coming with it? Yeah, I'm, yes. I'm ready. You're ready on risotto? Yes. To walk? Yes. Janae, what is wrong with you? Why the fuck aren't you giving accurate times for the stuff that you're cooking? Like, that's ridiculous. I need to know when you're ready to walk with risotto because I have scallops. You have your scallops. I, they are not made. When you are ready to walk, give me two minutes out. I don't got time to be babysitting those little toddlers right now. At this point, we need a miracle. Scallops are walking now. Risotto, right behind you. you ready? Hot, hot. Chef, the sizzle pan is hot. Flash again. Lord, please. Stop. Time out! Time out! Marina, yes, get in here. You're Italian. Taste that fucking shit risotto. Mushy. Mushy. Overcooked lobster tail. Overcooked scallops and mush risotto. My hands are shaking right now. Holy shit. All of you, all, come here, all of you, all of you, all of you. Get the fuck out. Get in here. Get in. Yes, chef. That's not enough. <laughs> oh, my God. Have a fucking meeting and sort it out. But when you walk back in that kitchen, if anyone hasn't got their shit together, game over. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Everybody go to your station. Whatever you're fired on, that's priority. Whatever's dragon, risotto, go. This is it. You need this risotto has to happen now. OK? Let's go. 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 let us go Two of them. Let's go. Tighten up. Two of them. If you want to have any chance of staying in this kitchen and on this team, you need to put out these risottos. Scallops. Coming now, chef. Walking with the scallops right behind. Service, please. With appetizers finally leaving the red kitchen, really good. Chef Ramsay turns his attention to Frank. Take this off, boom, we got there. And Steve to rebound on the blue team's appetizers. Three scalps coming to the window, one minute, sir. If you want to be that guy, walk around with your big fucking cock and balls. I bet you, trust me, if it goes back, I'll get my ass shit out. I got this. Show the, and produce, perform. Let's walk, let's walk, let's walk. Yes, scallops right behind, sir. Now, that's the way to cook scallops. Hey, yes, sir. Go, push it, push it. Thank you and enjoy. With both the men. Here we go. Walking. Walking behind, Chef. And women finally finding the rhythm. Wow, that lobster is really good. How long on a risotto? Pizza ready. Ready. Both kitchens are finishing up appetizers. Oh, oh that's great. And are moving on to entrees. Jennifer. Yes, Chef. Natasha, can I get an entree? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Two Wellington, one lamb. Yes, yes sir. thank you. We're gonna really rock out meats tonight. What better station right, to show you, Chef Ramsay? I can cook protein, sir. All right, what are you walking garnish on? Garnish is up. Wellington. Two wellies walking. Lamb, I've got the garnish. Walking lamb. Who cooked those Wellingtons? I did, Chef. Yeah, perfect. The lamb. Who cooked the lamb? I did, Chef. We did, Chef. Perfect. Thank you, Thanks, Chef. Chef. Thanks to Jennifer and Latasha. Let's go. The women are off to a strong start on their entrees. And in the blue kitchen, 
Away now. Two hell of a two lamb. Five minutes to the window. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. The pressure is on Sterling and Fernando to deliver on their meat. How long on the lamb? Two oh, minutes on the lamb. Two hell of a... Man, it's finally my time to shine, man. I'm ready to prove myself. Show that I am fit for this job. How long? Your so done? Hell is ready. I'm ready. ready. Let's ready. go with it. Give me three minutes top, man. Three minutes. Fuck you now. I'm walking in one. Three minutes, man. I'm not closing. No, three minutes. Shut the fuck up. Three minutes. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen. Listen. Fucking whoa, pay hey, attention. Listen. Pay attention what's going on. Why would you send it up when my food ain't ready, man? Really, guys? Really, it's not a measure of how big your cock is. It's just to put your food out. Blue team, two halibut, two lamb. Walking with the halibut. Lamb, walking. Lamb, walking. Two halibut. Lamb. No answer. Lamb! Lamb is one minute off. That's too rare, sir. One minute out. Oh, my that God. That was too rare. But I got one. I got one red. By the time I cut this, I'll be ready. Oh. Come on. If it's not good, don't slice it. It's good. Okay, check, check yeah, first. Check good. first. It's raw. Don't slice it more. Just put it back. Oh, no. What are I doing now, man? Are you? Fuck it. Come here. Get me the fucking lamp. Get me the lamp. Oh. Ah. All of it. Come here. Hurry up, Fernando. Look how we are reverting to cooking. Hey, all of you, can you slow down and get your shit together? Yes, yes chef. Yes, chef. While Sterling and the blue team try to regroup. Hey, man, worry about your station. Let me handle this. Deep breath and let's cook. Over in the red kitchen. Salmon's ready. What are you doing? Lamb. Walk your chef. Go. Deneen and the red team are eager to push forward. Walking with salmon. Walking lamb. Salmon over here, please. Lamb, chef. I'm walking on eggshells right now, and I'm just waiting for him to just send it out. I'm praying he's sending it out. All of you, come here. I've warned you, I've helped you, and now he's got raw salmon. So fucking raw, it won't even fall apart. It's just stone cold and raw. Deneen can't cook a fish, so what do I get? I get fucking a face of raw fucking salmon. Get out! All of you, get out! Oh my god, he just kicked the whole red team out. They just kicked the whole red team out again. Get out! Fucking hell. Oh, I don't think anybody's getting their food tonight. It, it was my salmon. I don't know what else to say. Can't cook scallops. Fucking risottos. Jennifer's really the talk of shit. Stop playing the blame game. We lost communication. There was a panic in our kitchen tonight. It, it is what it is. I fucked up. I'm not putting the blame on anyone else. I'm not saying no, but. While the women ponder their predicament. OK, James, six stop. Blue team, two salmon, two wellings, and one pork, one lamb away. Yes, 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 yes. Back in the blue kitchen. Salmon, walking. Wellington. Chef, Wellington in the window. All Chef Ramsay needs is Sterling's pork and Fernando's lamb to send out the next order of entrees. How long on the pork? I'm finna slice now. I'm letting it rest. Can't go with that pork. Pork is too raw. Don't touch the salmon, please. Pork. I'm sweating bullets. I'm like, man, Lord God, please hear my prayer. Pork. My bag on that pork, man. Pork. My fault. Pork. Damn. Pork. How long? Damn. One minute. I'm gonna get one and give it to you one minute. Hey, just look at what the fuck you guys are doing. Here's the four entrees. I'm dragging the lamb. I'm dragging the pork. This lamb is too small, man. So if it's too small, what do you do? Add a normal. Give me the fucking lamb. So where's the pork, man? The other chef. How long for the pork? Pork's not ready for four minutes, chef. Four, four minutes? minutes? Dude, it's, it's fucking rare, dude. It's rare right now. We're going down in fucking flames. All of you, come here. Two salmon, two Wellington, one pork, one lamb. Shit, lamb. And the pork's where? It's 
rare chef. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fucking idiots. Fuck off. Get out. Pathetic. Out. Out. Fuck. There. I'm pissed. We couldn't even feed the last table. We were right there, guys. I'm really upset, like hurt, like somebody stole my bike.